Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen. I do believe you can all hear me, hopefully. Um, welcome, one and all, everyone watching today. I hope you're all having a brilliant time. Now, of course, I have to do a slightly slower intro uh, for those of you watching the VOD. The reasoning for this is very simple. When a YouTube live stream goes live, uh, YouTube decides to like play an ad for like 50% of the people watching. Apologies um, if any of you did get an advert. Don't worry. They only last five seconds, so you should all be back by now, so I can explain the concept for today's stream. Welcome, welcome one and all. Now, last week we did a six hour long stream, which was absolutely magnificent. Um, it was probably the most fun I've ever had live streaming, full stop. It was, it was just downright amazing. We played Skyrim for about six hours straight using a mod pack with about 1,000 mods in it. It was genuinely glorious, genuinely, truly wonderful. Now, um, it is incredibly difficult and very challenging, and we spent the six hours effectively dying over and over again. Now, dying in Skyrim is usually not an issue. We're not doing a one life run, but we are playing a 100 days challenge. Now, by the end of 100 days, the game ends, Alduin wins, Alduin devours the entire world and just kills everything, which is pretty bad indeed. However, if we can beat him, we win, hence 100 days. There is the one major limitation, which occurred several times last stream, which is that every time I die, the day in which Alduin kills the entire world is brought forwards by one, meaning if I die 20 times, on day 80, Alduin destroys the entire world. So not only is the day, so not only is the game more challenging, I am also effectively getting shafted by just giant dragons. Um, actually, I don't think I can, I don't think I can, no, no, the <laughs> fairy artists could do some very dangerous things there. So I take back my previous sentiment. It's almost like I'm, uh, I'm being challenged by the game in a brand new way, uh, which I really enjoy. Adam Oni, thank you very much for gifting 10 memberships. That's very generous of you, friend. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be very, very, very jazzy indeed. Now, today's stream is going to be a little bit more different. Of course, we're starting now at the origin point of normal Skyrim. If you didn't see the last session, don't worry. I'll introduce you to our character, our build, our goals. Completely fine. Uh, this stream is probably going to be about trying to speed level various skills. And I think the skill I want to focus on is blacksmithing. I think we'll do the first few quests of the main quest line, grab as much raw resources as possible, and power level our smithing skill so that we can go into the stratosphere and kind of like exploit the combat systems. Because if we are going to kill a dragon, I've done a few experiments and... Um, it, it's it's pretty rough. Um, I did a test trying to get like uh, some nice thumbnail shots for the uh, the stream here, and I just spawned in the lowest level dragon, a level ten dragon, um, the kind that you would fight after after completing Blue Falls Barrow, and it just one hit me. Um, so yeah, that's basically what we're dealing with. Uh, we've got to, uh, we've got to survive somehow. Now, of course, ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching, there are many ways you can, of course, support the stream. Many of you are very generously donating. Thank you very much. That's incredibly generous. But if you just want to help out, give the stream a like. It does massively, massively benefit us in the long run. Thank you to the 600 people already have. Um, Xavier Destales, uh... Destalis donated $5, say, Hola, Spiff, good to see you, sir. Remember to eat your cereal with a fork and to do your homework in the dark. That is good words to live by. And Mhack, thank you for gifting 10 memberships, you generous bugger. Anyway, chat, are you ready? I feel like uh, I feel like you're ready. So let's switch on over to our lovely game screen. And uh, this should be very jazzy indeed. Oh, let's go. Uh, Adam Oni donates five dollars. Say good day off off of work. I got my mug of tea and spiff in Skyrim. I know it's a wonderful, wonderful combination. Sergeant Boucheri, thank you for gifting ten memberships as well. Right, let us begin chat. This is going to be very jazzy. Uh, please, spiff, say hi to Mango from the chat room. Um, I don't think Mango's in the chat. She's currently in bed. She's not well, unfortunately. 
Um, she's kind of like under the weather, but these things happen. Lucas Flurry, thank you for gifting 20 memberships. Thanks for also hanging out in the stream chat before your life. That's very generous of you. Beoli, thank you very much for your donation, saying best of luck. And Emma Dilemma Fitness. Damn, that's actually a really cool name. Emma Dilemma. Jeez, that's a sick ass username. Donates five pounds to say you got this spiff. Now, the reason people are saying uh, you got this spiff is because I set a poll before the stream went live saying, do you think I can kill a dragon? And 46% of people said yes after many deaths, and like 20% of people said no. Um, they don't think that I can kill a dragon in this stream. That's my goal. Yes, they're nightmarish beasts. We're gonna do it. We're gonna we're gonna try it, and hopefully it will actually work. Um, Bio Reaper, by the way, thank you very much. Ten dollars. Hello, Spiff. Long time fan, first time chatter. Congrats on the wedding. What happened to the TPC? The TPC is getting repaired by Overclockers UK after Liner shipped it and effectively destroyed the water cooling unit. So all of that had to get swapped out, and it's just getting fixed up and free re 3D printed in certain parts. Yes, these things happen. Um, shipping stuff across the Atlantic does that. All right, and uh, Leila Dane, thank you for $5. LGI, thank you very much for $2. Let us begin. So, welcome into Skyrim. We are now actually um, back at the normal start of the game where Aldwin, of course, breaks in and... Oh my god, nice! Why can you hurt me here, Aldwin? You goddamn flamey bastard. What the hell, Aldwin? What the hell? What the heck is that? I'm on the stairs, Aldrin, and half my health just went away. Well, hey, at least I'm warm. Um, right, you want me to jump through the roof and keep going? Uh, do you have any idea how dangerous it is for me to jump to the other side? Right, I'm gonna eat some dog meat, and then we're gonna give it a go. Oh, Jesus Christ, look at Aldrin up there. Um, anyway, this is our character today, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is Chairman Meow. Chairman Meow is a Khajiit archer. Um, and he's pretty good with the bow and night vision. Uh, he is not ready to kill a dragon. Oh, we're also joined by Janassa. Uh, right, let's go. Swift, 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 swift. Ah, I'm on fire, I'm on fire, I'm on fire. Jesus Christ, right, I'm gonna need to use one of my very rare potions of healing. Give that a chug, there we go. Right, down we go, down we go. Oh, Jesus Christ, this is... Oh my God! Having get out of the way! <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Oh my god, Aldrin has 5,000 health? We can't even kill him. We literally have no way to kill him. This is a nightmare. Um, oh my god. Uh, come on, Chairman Meow, we've got this. We just continue our adventure. This man is not in a good state. Stay close to the wall. Yeah, you don't have to tell me twice, Hadvar. Bloody heck. Oh, there's Aldrin. Look at that poor man. Yeah, he's dead. Um... Jesus Christ. Once we survive this, I'll uh, I'll go for our loot um, and explain some of our equipment. But, oh my goodness, I didn't realize walking on a flaming body can set you on fire because Hadvar just lit himself. Okay, now we really do need to get wiggling because we don't want to get attacked. Oh, wait, beans, we actually need to work out. Chat, do we go Stormcloak or Imperial? Oh, this is an important choice. Chat, Stormcloak or Imperial? Um, do we follow Hadvar or do we follow the Stormcloaks? Now, 90% of the time, um, we do have to, uh, we do have to deal with, well, 90% of the time we play Skyrim, we go Imperial, but I'll leave it up to you, chat, Imperial or Stormcloak. Also, if someone has noticed, Alduin has 5,800 health at level 10. How much health will he have when you see him at Sovereign Guard? Uh, the answer is his level will be increased by 1.5 times whatever my level is. So if I'm, say, level 20, he'll be um, 30. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Yeah, he's 30. Um, and, yeah, as you can imagine, he'd probably have, like, 30,000 health at that point. So he'd be a bit buggered. Stormcloak, Stormcloak, Stormcloak. Imperials, Imperials. Someone says Pole. No, no, I think just spamming the chat with nonsense uh, does it. Imp. Imp okay, I would say, I would say, is this pretty tight? There's there's definitely a lot of Imperials. Yeah, I think Imperials take it. Yep, that's fine. Oh, Malarkey, thank you for 20 gifted memberships. And Stealth Gun for 10 euros to say, may there be many deaths and may the dragons be ever in your favour. Yes, that's how that quote goes. Uh, Professor Haytian, 
Thank you for five Canadian dollars. Next challenge, every deaf spiff drinks a cup of coffee. We will not be doing that. Um, right, we will go with the Imperials, as chat has requested. Go on, Hanvar. Take us into the keep. Come on, Swift. Oh my god, look at how we go. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> He's so dangerous. All right, inside we go. Inside we go. Um, yay, for the Empire. Uh, Saiji actually donates five dollars to say they're taking a break from Starfield. Welcome here, Starfield friend. Um, oh dear, right, I will activate my night vision here because, of course, otherwise it's going to be too dark to see what's happening on YouTube. Um, which is very useful. Hey, Hadvar, it's nice to meet you. One of these chests I still realize I can't actually ask you your name, but we can loot these chests for gubbins. Ultimately, they're not exactly needed for us um, because we already have, you know, weapons. But I'll take the key. That's fine. Um, I don't really think it's worth taking any of these because they're just additional weight. Uh, but yes, welcome. This is our lovely setup and equipment. We are Chairman Meow, a... A pretty interesting Khajiit. Uh, we're wearing mostly light armor. Uh, we have a nice hunter backpack so that we can do more damage with ranged weapons. We have a Imperial bow, which does um, on, 17 damage, which is really good, okay? Really good. Um, <laughs> it's fine. And we don't have any steel arrows because I don't have the knowledge to make them, so I ran out of them. Also, thank you very much to the person who donated to say that they've been watching for many years, but this is the first time you've caught me live. Welcome, I hope you enjoy it. Feel free to get comfortable, pop a like on the stream, grab a cup of tea. That's the best way to enjoy this, because we'll be here for quite a long while. Now, the other thing we've been experimenting with is potions, because we need to make potions if we're going to be able to kill anything, as genuinely, like, the, skeeving, the skeevers c were killing my character. Almost instantly. If bandits can murder me in like two shots. So poison is really important because it allows us to weaken our opponents before they close the gap on us. Which is why we want to make as much of this as possible. Healing potions, they're not as powerful as they were in Skyrim because the game doesn't pause when I'm in my menu. Meaning to actually chug a healing potion takes time. In that time I can get murdered. And of course we're playing on legendary difficulty so I do basically no damage. Um... We've got a bunch of food and wine. It's important that we actually drink uh, booze because it lowers our combat stress. So we'll actually drink some of that ale so that we don't feel stressed anymore. Uh, there's some of my collections of ingredients and then the rest of this is fine. We have a key to Feindel's house because Feindel was our first friend until he died in a tragic accident um, against bandits. And he has ever since been dead, which is indeed a shame. Anyway, onwards we go through the keep. Um, do 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 I can get some sneaking on. Um, there should be some storm cloaks up ahead. Um, Hadvar is going to suggest we negotiate with them. Now, um, the best thing we can do is actually just yeet them with an arrow. Now, because these guys are level one, I should be able to kill them. There we go, relatively easily. Oh, jeez, don't leave me alone. Ah, leave me alone. Back off, back off. Thank you. And you're dead. Oh, can I not punch you? Okay, I can't really punch you effectively. Right, anyway, you're dead. Farewell. Thank you very much. Now, one thing we are really, really good at, and I mean good to an absurd degree, is the ability to sneak. Now, our sneaking skill is absurdly good because of the way the lighting mechanics now work in the game. It's very easy for me to actually make an area pitch black. And then I'm wearing these woolly boots, which means I make 50% 50, 50 less noise when moving. I also have the... Um, what is it? Uh, do 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 do. Not is it Luna Blessing? No, that's for um, speed. Um, where's here? It is the Thief Stone. So I make uh, even. Oh wait, no. This just means I move faster. I swear, one of my abilities is I also make less noise when moving. Oh well, who knows? It doesn't matter. Let's keep moving. I hear you, Hadvar. Jesus Christ! Give me some time to loot the dead. Stop encouraging me. All right. Um, all of this is fine. We can continue. Do 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 do. Uh, all you need to do uh, is to shoot the arrow, uh, is to shoot the dragon around about 295 times in order to kill him. Thank you for that brilliant advice, uh, Clockwork Orbris. <laughs> Just 295 arrows. You've also got to bear in mind dragons naturally regenerate health, which means I can't out damage a dragon's natural health regeneration, which makes me useless. 
Anyway, thank you very much for the donation nonetheless. Thank you, Sanguine Red, for gifting some memberships. Uptime. I've literally only been live for 15 minutes. Okay, we've got some enemies over there. Do 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 do. Just draw back. Oh my goodness. See, look at how little damage I'm doing. Oh dear, don't come for me. Don't come for me. Don't come for me. Don't come for me. Oh, thank you. That's right. Yeah, you lock on to Hadvar. Go fight Hadvar instead. Not me. Splendid. There we go. We're doing minor quantities of damage. There we go. That's one dead. Just draw and yeet. We did it, Hadvar. Splendid. Right, let's... Uh, We actually do want some potions. Potions are so goddamn useful. Mostly just because I can use their empty bottles for um, mixing my own gubbins. Ooh, a fork. Such a powerful weapon left lying around here. Yes, so dangerous indeed. Um, anyway, let me quickly... Oh, jeez. Yep, gotta watch out for the physics. We are still playing an Elder Scrolls game made by Bethesda. Up into the barrel we go. Potions of healing. Thank you very much. Magicka is useless, but stamina is okay. Oh, and on here, what do we got? More potions of healing. And salt pile is good for cooking, uh, which we do need to do. Although we do have to be careful when we're cooking because there's a small chance we get food poisoning if we're not careful and we don't want that. Remember to buy the new bow. This is one of my goals is to buy the new bow. What's your opinions on fruit teas and mint teas? Look, iced tea kind of counts, but not the, like, American weird syrup iced tea that is just effectively sugar. Like, not even nice sugar, just goopy cane sugar. Oh. Right, there we go. We got some storm cloaks up ahead. Yeet. There we go. That was a good shot into their leg. And that one just hit the ceiling instead. Oh, and the storm cloak is now initiating combat wiggle. Very powerful attack move. Oh, can I get a shot in this corner? Yes, I can! Whoa. Can anyone actually kill a dragon aside from Rianu Keefs? With this mod pack, allegedly it is possible. I'm yet to see it. Do I want this? It's valuable. I could sell it. Uh, no. No. Uh, steel sword is fine. Mm. No, I don't think it's valuable enough. But I do want to loot that little chest because that... Well, the little thing, because that could be useful. Do, 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 do. Let me open it up. Wabam. Lovely. Combat wiggle. Yeah, it's a it's a professional term. Oh, so many potions. So many septims. And I'll take the hood, because this is worth money and it's really light. Term of sparks is probably worth some cash. Magicka potions and some septims. Nice. Thank you very much, Torturer Man. I might as well also open up this because it will give me some lock picking experience. And honestly, just the more experience I can get, the better. See, that leveled me up. That was worth it. This is what we've got to do. Oh, opinion on bubble tea spiff? Sacrilege or a blessing from the Lord? Honestly, whatever. Look, as long as you're happy drinking your perfect cup of tea, then that's that's what matters, chat. That's what matters. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Can I open this? Of course I can. Yes, there we go. Yeet. More experience, chat. You've got to think about the experience gains. Oh, I can open this. Come on. There we go. Yes, here we go. You've Look, I know you're used to the normal way people play Skyrim, but you've got to be min-maxing in this mod pack. We've, everything's a danger. You know what else is a danger? Not liking this stream. Yes. Did you restart your game? No, no, no. Um, The last stream ended with us catching up to the beginning of Skyrim. So, this is actually our level 9 character. Oh, personal letter. What the heck is this? Um, my love, our son is growing up quickly, but it needs some advice, guidance from you. Could you please write back on why he shouldn't join the Stormcloaks instead? <laughs> Become an apprentice to a tailor lever worker or something. <laughs> yeah, just write him a letter saying he should join the Stormcloaks. Oh, dear. Too late. Too late for him. I take the bone meal. That's useful. Oh dear. So yeah, we are already a little bit of our way into the game, but um, of course our character is still very weak. Uh, we're definitely not at the level where we can complete Bleak Falls Barrow. I think we tried getting a little bit closer last time, but it wasn't successful. Anyway, what do we got around here? Some storm cloaks, I imagine? Do 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 do. Hadvar, you appear to just be running in. Oh, there we go. We've got some archers over there. Right, when the archers stay still, we should be able to get them. Oh dear, I, I just completely missed that. Go on. Yeet. There we go. Good damage. 
I'm helping Hadron. Look at me, I'm helping. There we go, I've killed one. Splendid. Wait, we've got some archers over there. Yeet. That was just a complete miss. Yeet. That one hit. There we go. Yeet. Good hit. And... Oh, they're trying to run away. Yeah, of course, with this mod pack, our enemies um, drink potions. Uh, they can do power attacks. They have perks and abilities. Still, I do believe we are doing good damage. Okay. I, I mean, I say that. I feel like the torture is doing most of the work here. And I'm just missing half of my shot. So, time to just get on with the looting. Jesus Christ, Zachary King, thank you very much for $25. Hello, Spiff, much love from America. Thank you so much for the hours of perfectly balanced gameplay. Well, thank you for your donation. That was very kind of you. Ooh, do I want that? Nope. Um, no to this as well. Thank you, that's a very kind donation. And Feline Agility, um, I've been watching your videos since I was like 16 and now I'm 25. Thank you for all your great videos, Spiff. Jesus Christ, I don't actually believe that. But thanks for £10. I refuse to believe that's real. <laughs> for my own mental well-being. I refuse to acknowledge that. <laughs> Thank you for the donation. Dastoge, thanks for $5. Say, hey, you've been playing for the, uh, playing the same mod pack for a while. It's perfectly balanced. Yeah, it was really, it's a really good mod pack. What's the torch doing there? Um, yeah, it's a great mod pack. And uh, the mod maker himself was even hanging out in the chat last stream and in the comment section of the vault. He's a really, really incredible creator. Really, really ingenious man. Anyway, onwards with our adventure. Um, the next section will feature spiders, for those of you afraid of spiders. Um, however, that's okay. Um, because we need them for the wonderful gubbins that is uh, frostbite spider poison. Now, of course, this is very dangerous to me a non-spider however if we can kill the spiders from a distance in stealth then we're in a really good position there we go hello yeah you don't quite know where your friend got killed from yes right come on careful careful ah oh cha 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 he's only got seven health so these guys are really weak um i'm hoping the big one that drops down isn't dangerous but look at this look at this Poison, this is good. Damage to health and stamina, which is what we like to see. Right, let's just prepare an arrow. Hello, I know you're in here. Spidey friend. Spidey friend. Ah ha ha! Yeah, I see you, I see you. 30 health. Hadvar, kill him. Hadvar! Hadvar! You've got to be distracting better, Hadvar! These bad boys could, like, kill me in one shot. Hadvar! You useless bastard! Oh my god. Right, they're dead. Thank you for the venom, though. Jesus Christ, Bio Reaper. Um, thanks for the donation of $100. Um, take Mango out uh, for a nice night on me. P.S. Get, uh, get you revenge on the Necromancer. I will do. That Necromancer last stream absolutely <laughs> just <laughs> murdered me so, so brutally. What a nightmare. But thank you so much. That is an insanely generous donation. Fortunately, Mango's a little under the weather at the moment, but um, we we are going away to get married literally this coming week. So, yeah, that pays for one of our meals out. Thank you so much. That's incredibly generous. Um, uh, oh, apparently Clockwork Orbis told their housemate about the uh, arrow damage to the uh, dragon. Um, and she says 296 arrows just to be sure. Yeah, this makes sense. All right, we're going to try and kill the bear from stealth because, yeah, even with sneak damage... We actually managed that. Jeez. Whoa, we did it. We did it. Um, now, there is a coin person there. Yoink. I need that. Let's just run on over. Do, 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 do. Cave bear. Animal meat is useful. I'll take the pelt, though. Pelt is very valuable. Bear claws are good as well. Oh, wait. An hour and a half passes whilst I retrieve the pelt. Damn it. I forget. Yes, time passes. Time passes when I do these actions. And I've only got 86 days until the world ends. Getting married? Yeah, I know. It's awesome. Very cool. Um, Mo W uh, donates $10. Say cheers from us, Yanks in America. Rihanna Keeves versus Chairman Meow. I mean, Rihanna Keeves definitely wins. But like Rihanna Keeves is also effectively like playing a different down. game. As the version we're playing is 7,000 times more challenging. Um, Mary Blue says, Hi Spiff, are you going for the Gladys follower included in this pack? Um, no, we don't go for the Gladys follower, though. I think Janassa is a good current follower. But, oh, 
There goes Aldwin. Yeah, it's night time now, so if I turn off the lights, this is what the game looks like. It is incredibly dark, uh, which is why we can stealth so easily. But looks like he's gone. we did it, Hadvar. We survived. But I don't think we should stick around. You know, actually, we should go to Riverwood because if we do, we might get some free supplies, and then we can use those free supplies to do some smithing. Closest town from here is oh. Riverwood. It's probably better. It's yeah. Okay. This is good, right? Oh, jeez! I think I accidentally just shot Hadvar. I wouldn't have made it without Oops. your help today. Sorry, Hadvar. Um, but this was good. Hadvar, we can now use Hadvar's kind of like connection with his uncle to say, well, to probably bribe his uncle and just say, hey, give me uh, give me your iron ingots, which should work. And if it does, that's great. That's less resources we need to find on our quest to level up our smithing. Now, of course, from here on out, we are then meant to go over to uh, Whiterun to um, speak to the Jarl um, and then go on a little bit of our... Next adventure. Okay, I'll probably turn on night vision, otherwise this is going to be too dark for you guys. The only one who can stop them. Um, yeah, this is going to be very jazzy. Uh, do you know if you'll have the Rianu Keeve shirt again? I'm afraid, Matthew Carrico, I don't think we'll have the uh, Rianu Keeve shirt again. Um, uh, yeah, we're not really doing much merchandise anymore because it's it's very challenging to say the least. Merchandise. Um, it's a stupendous amount of work. Oh, spider eggs fortify archery. Thank you, Layla Dane. That's incredibly useful information. Oh my god. Sp okay, maybe we do want to go spider hunting then. Because we could potentially use a lot of resources from spiders. Because they give poison. They give now potentially fortified archery. Can I deal with that rabbit? Yes, I can. Sweet. Thank you, rabbit. What have you got on you? Hair pelt? I mean, I'm pretty sure I can get a little bit of... Um, a little bit of, like, leather from that, which is worthwhile, just simply because it helps with the smithing. Oh, there we go. Uh, go to Embershard Mine after you hit up uh, Advor. There's loads of iron and ore in there. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure Embershard Mine, um, that's the one that's guarded, if I remember correctly, uh, just behind Riverwood. That is definitely worth hitting up because huge amounts of iron to be found there. And then we can, of course, give the iron to our follower who can carry it out of the mine for us, which is very useful. We also did clear out all of the bandits. Um, yeah, we cleared out all of the bandits earlier, which was really, really good. We didn't finish Skybound Underhand Camp. We had, like, a mission to retrieve an artifact from that bandit group. And the bandit group was just doing so much damage to me, and I died. I think I died twice over there. Um, that it, yeah, it just wasn't possible. So we literally just ran in, grabbed the item, and ran away. You can pick up entire carcasses with Shifty. E. I am aware of this. Um, however, I don't intend to carry the carcasses because it kind of slows me down a bit on my adventure. It's less of a problem if we're running around with um, uh, running around with uh, say like a horse, but we just don't have a horse yet. When we do, that would be super useful. And there's the uh, witch's shack over there where we went. At the beginning of the last stream, and I completely forgot about the fact that, that it's a super dangerous place. What is this? Oh, this is the other mine. This is like, um, yeah, there's a there's a mine in here. I can't remember which one this is. Which one's this? Uh, this one, I think we can also mine in and get resources from. Uh, it's part of the Falkyrie Fold. You, yeah, it is Embershard Mine. Those werewolf tales are true. I guess he just hangs out here now after I cleared out the mine, which is nice. It means we've got a new potential guard to run to in the case that we get attacked by a wild beastie. Can you save the world? I mean, that's my plan. If I can if I can kill Aldwin, I do save the world. Um, so that's the goal. Anyway, I'm going to let Hadvar explain the situation to his uncle and we can just kind of like hang, hang by and watch. Oh dear, it's always a shame coming back here. Come on, there's my uncle. Because, I mean, Feindel died. It's always sad, returning to Riverwood. Just remembering Feindel and his glorious Uncle beauty. Hello. Hello, Uncle Alvor. Hello. What happened to him? He got an 8k upscale in the mod pack. <laughs> oh, dear. Can we get a day counter? Um, I think we're on... What day are we on? Probably this is day six or seven now. Come on, I'll explain. I think we're end of day six, heading into day seven, if I remember correctly. Okay, okay, come inside. Sigrid will get you something to eat. 
Um, but yeah, there isn't a day marker to tell what day we're on. Instead, there's the countdown saying how many days we have until the end of the world, which appears every in one in-game hour. Um, because that's the count that matters, not how many days we've survived. Um, because we started with 100 days and we're down to like 86, I think, or something. Anyway, um, I'm going to see if I can do some forging uh, already. I can't, right. Let me um, get some leather strips from the tanning rack. So, what's an explanation as to what we're doing? Okay, we're playing um, an incredibly heavily modded version of Skyrim, which we streamed for six hours last um, last week. And effectively, what we're doing is... Oh my goodness, we get four leather from this. Nice. Um, is we're effectively trying to survive in the nicest way possible and make our way through Skyrim. And after 100 days, Alduin wins and the world is over. Uh, so my job is to make sure that doesn't happen. And the way in which we're doing that is by not dying. Because every time I die, Alduin gains a day on me, basically. And the countdown improves even further. Animal pack. Ooh. I guess this allows me to pop a backpack on a pet so they can carry stuff for me. Very useful indeed. There's also some really nice light armor in here, but we don't really... We don't really want to invest in any of that until we're more experienced. I think the main thing I want is to start making weapons. So what do I need for, say, like an iron? Iron battle knife? I need iron ingots. Okay, right. Um, I'm pretty sure have... Where is... Where is... Where is my assistant? Hello. Janassa, are you carrying my iron ingots? I'm pretty sure you are. What do you, need? you best be. No, you just got firewood on you. <sighs> do I have any iron ore on me? Because if I do, I can make you carry it. Um, yeah, I've got eight iron ore. Okay, well, there's no smelter here, so you might as well hold on to this. You might as well also take this bucket. I don't know why I'm carrying that. Um, linen wraps, you can also take those. Uh, yeah, I don't mind carrying the rest. Okay, all right. Um, yeah, we need some iron. We need more iron. So... Do, 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 do. Did you miss posting the mod list? It's in the description of this stream and the last stream. You can find it. Don't worry. Um, thank you very much also for the 1,700 people who dropped a like on the stream. That's very generous of you. Anyway, I'm going to speak to Alvor now. And I'm going to say, do you have any supplies that I could take? And there we go. Fantastic. We can get some potions of minor healing. Ring of disease resistance. That's good. Necklace, that's also really good. Mead's good. Lockpick's good. Ingot. More mead. Cheese wheel, less needed. Carrots as well, but the amethyst is good. Thank you so much, Alvor. A dragon attacked Helgen and destroyed it. Hadvar and I escaped Helgen? together. I know. Explain it's very I spicy. Ooh, you could south. get the transmute spell for it's easy money with spiffing. Well, well, the issue is we're not, we're not really doing any um, magic, I think, for this entire build. Um, well, that was something my watching was interrupted by a solar eclipse. Managed to get some okay pictures uh, using my welding goggles as lenses. I hope I hope you guys enjoyed the solar eclipse. We didn't have... Uh, I don't think we had it over here um, in the UK. I could be wrong, but if I if you did, or if we did, I completely missed it. Uh, it was a dragon, Hadvar. It's pretty crazy. So, yeah, he's given me the mission to go to Yarl, Yarl Balgraf and uh, get the uh, mission. We'll get the soldiers for here. And then, of course, that continues the main quest. I haven't seen oh, your face hello, Imperial Troopers. Always looking for strong hello, Legate. If you think you've got what it takes, our headquarters is in solitude. Oh, it's nice that there's uh, some Imperial forces wandering around. I guess you guys are probably on your way to um to Helgen to see to what the hell happens. Anyway, uh, I think now that we're friends, yeah, I can take these iron ingots. So I'll take all of those and the steel ingots. Brilliant stuff. Um... All right, let's see if I can use the blacksmith forge now to make Must anything. Oh. Right. Let me grab... What can I make? So I've got four iron ingots, which would allow me to make one bastard sword. But realistically, I think we just want to make as much as possible. So I think iron battle knife is probably better than battle axe. Like, we just want the, the the cheapest thing to be made, basically. it is As far as I'm aware, that's the best thing we can do. So the Iron Dagger is is how we do it. Now, yeah, let's do it. Right, Iron Dagger 1. Iron Dagger 2. Iron Dagger 3. 
and Iron Dagger 4. We did not even level up. Jesus Christ. Oh, dear. Okay, well, that was still something. That was still some progress. I could maybe make some hide equipment here, because I've got lots of leather strips and leather. Which of these is probably the best in terms of value? Value 25 for the hide helmets. I can make this. All right, there we go. That's a little bit of extra smithing experience for me. Wait, Jesus bloody Christ! Um, oh, and of course they've locked their house now because it's night time. Great. Oh dear, right, off to uh, White Run we go. But bloody heck, um, O3K64 Firefly donates 300 US dollars. Jesus bloody heck. Um, I hope a new oil in your court via Patreon helps you defeat Aldrin, my Lord Spiffington the Great. Uh, thank you so much. That's an incredibly generous donation. Thank you. That is what you wish. Whoa. Jesus. Um, Geminazzi, thank you very much for your donation of five pounds as well. Um, Clockwork Orbris as well. Thank you for yet another generous donation. Jeez, you guys are incredibly... You don't need to be this nice to me, but thank you so much. Thank you. Um, right, Geminazzi, you're going to have to carry all of these shitty iron daggers I made. So this is Battle Axe. Um... Anyway, let's go. Are you ready? Let's go to the mine and start making some money. Oh, oh Brendan, <laughs> Brendan sends a message in chat saying, I'd send a donation to celebrate your wedding, but my own corgi broke a tooth. And uh, there went my money. Yep, I know that feeling. Goodness, the amount of times where you're just like, oh, yes, money is doing good this month. And then just like Georgie will eat something completely toxic to dogs. And it's like, great, well, now we're going to the vets. <laughs> oh, God. I love dogs. But, yep, they do some of the silliest things. All right. Uh, I think the message popped up saying we have 86 days left, which is okay. Did you ever eat Feindl? If not, devour him. So... We can go and check on his corpse because he's nearby, but I'm pretty certain um, his body has now wasted away into bones because there's now a mechanic of, like, corpse degradation in the game. Yeah. All right, let's continue on in our adventure uh, into the mines. Look at this. Oh, hello, Ember Shard Miner. How are you doing? Wow, it looks so much better now that we improved it. Look at this place. Jeez, they're actually properly mining it out now. Nice. All right, let's see if we can find a nice spot to get some mining done. Hello, disrespect mine guard. You um, has this actually refreshed all all of the loot in here? Because there was a bunch of loot in it. No, it's not like added back the amethysts. Um, I mean, we can check on the chest down there to see how that's that's doing. Do 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 do. Hidden Demon Soul, thank you very much for your twenty dollars. Say, Ace Biff been playing Skyrim with a a Dawn God axe enchanted with fiery soul trap and chaos damage. Your dad named it the Trickster's Lollipop. Oh my goodness, yeah, axe soul trap is such a goddamn useful ability. It's so good, I love it. Very very jazzy, because it's just so useful. Oh, we've got the smelter here. We can actually use this. In fact, we could do our smithing down here. There's a full forge set up. We probably should. Let's grab that iron ore. Right, let's get to work finding some ore to mine. And then we'll get our smelting done in here. It's a brilliant spot for it. There's venison everywhere. There's even a cooking pot. This place is brilliant. Ah, oh, there's a blacksmith in here now. Oh, and a venison stew, which I can take. That's such a good bit of food. There's a mine guard. I don't need to worry about you. Don't need to worry about the poo bucket. All right, let's go down this way. And see if we can find some iron ore. You kind of look like iron ore, but you're not. Uh, you look like useful stuff, but you weren't. It's been a week since I played, so I've got to remember what iron ore looks like again. Wait, can I turn off my brightness? Ah, here we go. Here it is. I knew that would be a good idea. Right, let's get mining. Here we go. Give the wall a bonk. Ooh, eight iron ore in this bad boy. Very nice. Very, very nice indeed. More steel ingots. I <laughs> see what you did there, lag monster. Very great pun in chat. <laughs> It's so bad. What's your cut for promoting these mods? Uh, nothing. Um, I just... I really like Skyrim, and this mod pack has very much uh, given me a re reinvigorated love of the game. I really enjoy the challenge I've set for myself. I've really been enjoying the challenges of it and trying to get around it. Um, so, yeah, very happy with it. I wish Biff was my dad. Well, 
If that was the case, your dad would be, like, trying to min-max your statistics. Um, if you've ever seen, like, CK3, where you get those events where it's like, do you, do you congratulate your child for being, for being correct on a, on a thing, or do you push them to get even better at a massive debuff to their stress? And it's like, yes, push the child further. That would just be me. <laughs> Okay, it actually wouldn't, but I, I like to think that it would be. Uh, no iron here. Okay, we can continue on. I don't think there's any iron down there. I'm just pretty sure that's like just water. I don't think there's any iron over there on that wall, so back out the way we came. Do 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 do. Ah. Oh, do we go? No, we don't go up that way. Alright, back up we go. Do 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 Alright, around the corner we go. Now there was a bunch of iron, like I know against this these walls over here, but I think that probably is dried up. Um yeah, I think there's like a vein here. Unless you're back. No, you're back! Yes! Yes, this is good! This is very good. Uh Congrats on your A today. Uh, now you just need a, pl a plus to live, Timmy. Yep, yeah, this is uh, this is accurate information of what I would be like as a dad. Um, there we go. That's some good mining there. Is there any iron in that the wall? Has been snooping I'm so am I? God. Well, is, I require a key here. Wait, can I open this? No, I can't pick the lock. Um, I don't think there's anything in there. Oh, you're mining something. Okay, I can't mine it. You're just hitting a wall. Can I speak to you? Oh, coin purse. I can take that. Can I speak to you, fancy businessman? You look great. You look really important. You look like you could sell me iron ore, but no. No, you can't. You're just standing away from where I can reach you. That's okay. I see how it is. Let's have a wander through here. Um, is there iron against this wall? Nope. Is there iron against here? Yes, there is. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Speak quickly. Excuse me. I know you're using this, but I would like to use this. Mum said it's my turn on the iron ore vein. Oh, God damn it. I just have to wait for you to bugger off. Uh, uh, Benjamin Bruno donates $5. Say, so use this to buy the bride a cup of coffee. I'm not buying Mango a cup of coffee. Even if you donate me money. That's not that's that's not how it works. I would, I will burn, I'd rather burn money than spend it to buy coffee. There you go. I said it. Um, now there was definitely iron down here. Here we go. Splendid. Thank you very much, ZZ Hades, for the two dollars. Koi Empress for fifteen dollars, saying congratulations. I hope the pups uh, dress in Sunday best. I mean, it would be really cute if Georgie Pop like put on a suit and tie, but unfortunately she's not coming with us for the wedding because we're leaving the country to get married. Yeah. <laughs> Also, thank you very much to the 2,000 people who have already liked the stream. That's really generous of you guys. All right, we've got so much iron ore now. How much have we got in our inventory? Because we have been harvesting. Plus, also, uh, I think we've picked up a few amethysts, which is really, really good. We have got 21 iron ore. Nice. And, yeah, we did pick up an amethyst. Oh, here's a bandit outlaw we killed earlier. Sweet. And here's an iron ore vein. Use this to buy your wife a cup of tea. There we go, Benjamin Norsworthy. That's more like it. Thank you very much. And present 99. Thank you for 20 euros to say, first of all, good things for the many married years to come. Secondly, what's your position on Starfield? Good game, bad game. My position on Starfield is that if you're the kind of person like me, it's probably a good game. I enjoyed it. Is it the best Bethesda game? No. Is it the best game I've played this year? No. Was it worth the, um, like, £60 I spent on it, or maybe £80? Yeah, for me it was. I had a blast exploring planets and looking at aliens, but I can also completely see why a lot of people hated the game, and I think it's completely fair. I do think it's the kind of thing where, in, like, you know, six years' time, modders are going to go absolutely mental with it, and hopefully we end up with something brilliant that like exceeds all of our wildest expectations but until that point i don't think it's a mainstream game i think it's a game for big old space nerds like uh, like myself who just enjoy really slow boring space exploration um there we go that was all successful 
pretty sure there is a vein of iron up here as you like enter. Um, nope, there is not. Right, back down we go. Do 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 do. Oh, hello, guard. Need something. Nice to meet you, Cord. Hey, that's his name. I'm sure it struck a chord with him when I <gasps> It's open! There's a free spot on the iron ore! Yes, it's my turn! Yes, there we go, you left some iron, you fool, you sucker! Mine! Mm, yummy, yummy iron. Eight iron in this bad boy! Oh, dear. Uh, speaking of being a dad, have you and Mango ever thought of children? I mean, yeah, it's certainly something for the future, Batman the Spiffing Knight. Thanks for the kind message. But, um, yeah, for the moment, neither of us are really at that point because we just have so many wonderful life adventures we want to do. And we don't want to really, you know, we want to make sure we're in a very stable and comfortable spot before we think about children. Um, I mean, we're already, you know, we're, we're pretty comfortable, like, financially. Um, I just... I, I like being, you know, safe before I make any big life commitments. Um, I mean, yeah, that's generally how it is. I mean, we've got a big company now behind us. We've got, geez, like, um, hey, we've got four employees. So we've got Connor, we've got um, Mango, we've got uh, Marcus, and we've got Harry, all of whom are a brilliant team, three editors, one community manager. And they're all jazzy. Supremely jazz supremely jazzy indeed. Okay, no iron ore there. I'll check up here, but I don't think there is anything up here. But even so Ooh, fur boots. Boots with the fur. With the fur. Got the whole town to looking at her. Like mead! Oh my god, that's so much mead. One of you got a hunting bow? Oh, that's useless. Iron arrows is useful though. Venison stew cheese! And I can just take it? That's so nice of you. That's so nice of you. Ah, oh, this is amazing. Right. We can now exit um, with our bountiful supply of resources that I have now legally procured from the mine that I freed. I really want to talk to that dude, because I feel like he might have knowledge. Hello? Ah! Ah! Ah, he's gone back over there! You bastard! I want to talk to you! Hello? Something. Oh, I've iron ore to sell. Okay, he mm. I can sell it to him. Well, I don't do that. Oh, but I can take this. Thank you. Very generous of you to give me more iron ore. All right, we can now leave out of here. Oh, dear. Adam Oni says, did you know if you equip a pickaxe and attack an ore vein, it will mine it? That is actually something I didn't know. That's a fun fact. Thanks for, thanks for the fun fact. Very cool fact. Uh, Calamity Bob donates ten dollars. Say all the Todds, all the Howards. It all just works, Spiff. Thank you very much. It does indeed. God, why are you using this? You're not meant to use the smelter, you silly sausage. Right? I can now make Jesus Christ, like forty iron ingots. Yes, let's go. Yes, here we go. Lovely jubbly, we did it. Splendid indeed. Goodness, look at all of these different ingots we can make. Oh my goodness, we can make steel ingots using broken weapons. Damn, that's pretty cool. I guess we could, like, smelt down steel weapons we find. Anyway, that was successful. Um, now if I were to use the workbench... I think workbench, yeah, is used to improve equipment. Uh, where's Janassa? There's... Yes, no. Nope. Janassa, where the hell are you? Janassa, you have my leather strips on you, woman. Janassa, are you bloody stirring the soup pot? No, you're not. Where the hell are you? Okay, well, I've lost Janassa, and she's carrying all of the leather strips, so... I guess that means no smithing for me here. That's fine, I see how it is, Janassa. I see how it is. That means I now have to travel... Well, we had to travel over to Whiterun anyway, so... We might as well do it now. Do 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 do. Over to White Run we go. Hang on a second. I wonder if that chest is restocked. And another venison stew. This is good. This is good stew. Thank you. Chest, are you empty? Oh, you are empty. Oh well, that's fine. Do 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 do. Excuse me. Come calm. I haven't got all day. Thank you. Where the hell is Janassa? She, like, sometimes it's really useful having a companion because they can carry your gubbins for you. Other times, 
bloody pain in the ass. Oh, iron ore. Lovely. JB Spooky Review donates two Canadian dollars. Say hello, sir. Love the videos. Wish I could support more. Don't worry. Never feel like you have to support. Honestly, just watching stuff, giving it a like, it's it's a massive help. Like, we wouldn't be here without thousands of you guys doing that, basically. Um, yeah, it's been very, very wonderful. Brandishing your weapon usually calls companions to your side. Oh, that's a fun fact, Tim Focus, and I didn't actually know. Am I getting anything from this? Am I... Am I getting anything at all? I don't feel like I am. Um, level up available? No. Okay. <gasps> yes, I am. Okay, I got some iron ore there. I got some iron ore. Fantastic. Okay, continue. Four. Oh, yes, thank you very much for the generous donation. Uh, Tyrant of Ruin says, If you name the child Yorkshire Gold, you might finally get that sponsorship. We did get the sponsorship. We did. Twice. It's been quite wonderful. Um, I mean... It's not like an actual sponsorship. They don't actually expect anything in return. It's much more just like the uh, Yorkshire Tea being like, hey, wouldn't it be fun if we, we gave Spiff some money to do something he's already doing for free? And they just do, um, which is great. Oh. All right, Janassa, hello. It's nice that you finally decided to join us, Slowpoke. Ah, oh, dear, oh, dear. All right, over to White Run we go, I think. Oh, what a lovely day it is. Uh, the other thing we want to try and grab on our way there is potentially any hides because we're going to go through a lot of leather. So, um, yeah, we're going to want to find some some maybe little wildlife, maybe a hare or two, a rabbit, that kind of thing. As we make our way across the lands on our merry adventure. Chickens do not count. You can't skin a chicken. Um, that's just very dangerous. Hey, Spiff, did you know you can use your thrusters in Starfield to strafe enemy ships and even fly backwards without reversing? I did not, but there's also a bunch of other stupid yes. exploits in Starfield at the moment that um, I, I can't even, like, express how broken the game is. Um, we currently found an exploit that no one else appears to have found, which allows you to disable the enemy AI. Like, you just... You can, you can do something... And the enemy AI can no longer respond to you as a player. It just gives up and stops. Which is so mind-bogglingly absurd, I have no idea how it is in the game. Uh, but it basically just means you can win the entire game at level 1 because enemies can't fight you. Which is very, very silly. Jesus bloody heck. Emerald Koi, thank you so much for a hundred US dollars. Congrats on your wedding. Never heard of a woman who keeps a secret tea cash for tough times. Uh, she's golden. <laughs> also, will you be joining the Dawn Guard? I think we probably will, because fighting vampires is a good idea. And the Dawn Guard also can give us really good ranged weapons. Um, but yeah, honestly, Mango, the amount of times I've been like, no, we're out of tea, or I desperately need a cup of tea, and she's just coming clutch. Or I'm just sat merrily working away on a project, and I'm like, goodness, I'm, I'm terribly thirsty right now. I could go for a cup of tea, and then wha-bam, a cup of tea just materializes. It's like she knows when I just desire one. So impressive. Anyway, onwards we go. Do 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 do. Making our way through Skyrim. What an adventure. Oh, is this a Khajiit? An arrested Khajiit? I mean, that makes sense. Yeah. Oh, do I free the prisoner? Nope. No. Uh, I don't free prisoners. Khajiits are dangerous creatures. I would know. I am one. <laughs> We're mostly thieves. <laughs> I mean, I say that because. That's basically 90% of what I've done. Uh, I've just been stealing stuff. And, I mean, there was also the time we attacked a blind man. Um, yeah. Bloody heck. Uh, Alessandro Corai. Thank you for 20 gifted memberships. Giving the love of... Spreading the love of gifts. That's very generous. And Fluffy Giggles McCool Kid. Jeez, oh, that's one of the one of the greatest names of all time. Truly magnificent. Hello, Spiff. Love your content. I need some help. I have a wonderful wife... But they took her in the divorce. <laughs> what do I do to stop them from taking her again? Do you also have any ideas for how I could get her back? Honestly, just being a being a genuinely enjoyable human being, focusing on yourself and um, finding meaning within your own life, I think is is often one of the most attractive and wonderful things that can exist. Um, and finding especially meaning in a way that can be shared with others is great. Be that like a hobby or a passion or just generally kind of like getting a better vibe with the uh, with the universe 
And for me, I find often going out on walks with my dog is a great way to do that. I spent like just a few hours today wandering through like the local town um, just with, with my dog um, and took her to, a, to like a play park through the, for a tennis ball around. And it was just, just really chill. And it's great for like mindfulness um, to just do that on a day off, to just go hang out and um, enjoy the world. And often that's where you have some of your greatest thoughts, greatest ideas. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's my advice. I hope that hope that encourages you. Just like you know, life's great. It's wonderful, and finding the best way to maximize your your amount of fun in it is a brilliant way to live. Do 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 do. All right, we haven't found any wolves at all, which is annoying. I reckon there'd probably be a bunch over here. Although there is a small chance the Khajiit would sell fur pelts. Who are you? Are you a stranger? Oh, you're a bard. Hello, bard woman. You haven't got a voice. You're just staring at me with your mouth open. This is terrifying. Jeez, you're really terrifying. Yeah, we're just going to leave you be. We're going to leave you be. Um, <laughs> funny heck. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, let's have a chat with the Khajiits, because they might have some really good loot for me. Take a look. What have you got for sale? Do you have that really powerful bow? No, nope, that's not a powerful bow. Imperial bow of panic is not useful. Jeez, we've got 2,000 gold. That's nice. Um, you would probably like my Amethyst, so take those bad boys, please. Um, you can also take my Spell Tome of Sparks, because I'm not going to be a mage, so that might as well go. Uh, what else have we got? None of these potions, I think, we need to get rid of. We could get rid of the potions of Magicka, but I kind of just want to chug them for the gl empty glass bottles that we could use for our own potion making. Oh, here we go. The fur helmets can go, and... Um, novice hood? Yeah, I'm not going to be using that. Yeah, it seems good. Cool, fantastic, lovely. Um, Take a look. What have you got for sale, friend? What have you got? Have you got any weird pelts? Cave bear pelt? Oh, it's 250 gold, though. So, nope, we cannot take that. That is way too expensive. Wolf pelt is only 42. Ice wolf pelt. Mm. I think we can splash 42 on a, on a wolf pelt. It's going to give us a bit of extra leather, and I think that's that's worthwhile. Oh, Lars the Gunslinger, thank you for your generous donation as well. Um, thank you for the inspiration. Hey, it's it's nice to nice to inspire people to do some gubbins. <laughs> PT, PTO as well. Thank you for um, donating tw twenty gifted memberships. Very generous of you. Right, inside of White Run we go. Um, is it locked? No, it's not locked, of course, because it would be silly if it was locked, because we've already been in here. Uh, and it doesn't make sense to close the city because of rumours of dragons being about. Silly white run guards. Silly buggers. Anyway, in we go. Fantastic. You lost... <laughs> Honestly. Sometimes. Anyway, uh... Can I help Adri you? Adriani, um, uh, have you got something for sale? Um... Oh no, I don't need horse armor. I don't need horse armor. Have you met my father? Um, He's a steward up at Dragon's Reach. Do, 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 do. I swear you sometimes have stuff to sell, or are you going somewhere else? Yeah, it looks like you're going somewhere else. Okay, fine, I see how it is. Um, let me go in here and see if the War Maiden has a, a bow for me. Can you get to the uh, Skyforge chest? No, no, we can't. That's. Uh, where the heck is. Oh, here you are. Thank you, Ulf Welcome Bear. Mm. What have you got for sale? Needs, um, pretty much anything to suit your needs. You have an orcish bow. Jeez, I'll do twenty-five damage for the low, low cost of all of my money. I really think that's necessary, though. I really, really, really think this is necessary because if we're going into Bleak Falls Barrow, we have to have a dangerous weapon. Like, chat, do you think this is worthwhile? Because I really think that's probably worthwhile. At the same time, I'll buy your leather or uh, your iron ore and your some of your leather. There we go, lovely. Right, let's get to work. Good doing business with you. I'll let you. I'll let you deliberate on that chat. Uh, right, Janassa. I'm gonna need some of that loot off of you. Um, it's the least I can do. Could I please have all of the iron ore, all of the leather strips, and all of the leather? Thank you very much. And actually, I think I need some of the firewood as well, because some weapons use firewood. Fantastic. Right. Let's get ready? to work. 
Are you ready? Of course I'm ready. I'm ready to get to work. Yes, yes, not at all. Buy the bow. Yes. Use the money to make more money. What kind of capitalist sentiment is that? <laughs> Use the money to make more money. As if we even have any money. 3,000 isn't enough to survive in this goddamn world. Why am I... What am I doing to the tanning rack? What is up with my character? Oh dear. Have I got... I've been glitched, haven't I? Yep, I've been glitched. Right, let me use the grindstone. That should fix it. Yep, that did fix it. Right, off the grindstone. What we could improve our woodcutter's axe. <laughs> That's a terrible idea. Well, let's use the tally rack properly now. Aiden, 1989. Thank you very much for 100 Canadian Doolaroos. Smith, you are one of my favorite YouTubers and actually managed to convince me to try and love Yorkshire Tea Gold. Oh, I'm glad you enjoyed. Congrats on the wedding. With all that being said, can I become the official leader of Canada when England inevitably reacquires us? Of course. <laughs> Who else would we put in charge? Oh, dear. Now let's make some leather. Let's make some more leather strips. There we go. These bad boys are super useful. All right, now let's get to work. Thank you very much for the generous donation, though. And Chief Beer Poot. VL, thank you for your 20 euro donation. Best of luck with tying the knot. Thank you. Thank you very much. Right, chat. I'm pretty sure smithing has now been changed so that it's going to scale off of the value as opposed to the quantity of goods I'm making. So I'm going to try making... Um, oh, leather armor. No, that's too expensive. Let's try this iron armor. Or... Iron... Oh, jeez, you seem quite good. Heavy long X. Nice high value. Actually, you're, you're really good value, considering you're two iron ingots and two firewood. Right, let's me, let me... I'll make you... Yeah, this gave way more experience than daggers. Okay, value's the way to go. So we'll just make some of those bad boys. Now let us make some... Let's make some Nord Vagabond gloves. Very jazzy. I'm pretty sure I, these are the gloves I'm wearing. Um, it's not really too sure if that improves anything. All right, let's make... Um, Bastard Sword is still four ingots. If we had more... If we had more firewood, I reckon we could make more of that. Iron plate armor. 150 value. Or the leather scout armor, which I'm... Pretty sure is vaguely what I'm wearing. Okay, let's try this. Um... Iron plate armor. Yep, that was almost enough to fully level me up instantly. And again. And again. Come on, yes, let's go. There we go. This is good value. Whoa, this is good value. Right, good... Good stuff. Um, I'm now going to move really, really slow. But I can have Janassa carry all can of my gubbins. You? Can I help you? Yeah, I need you to you hold sure? on to all of my crud. Um... Here's all of the rubbish I made. Five iron plate armors I need you to hold on to. And this one here. Oh, you can't hold on to it. It's too heavy. Can you hold on to some of my weapons? I'm still carrying too much to be able to run. Yeah, okay. If you hold on to those, I can now move. Fantastic, right? Let's go and sell some of this stuff into the War Maiden. Whew. Thank you very much, Josh Wagner, for gifting 20 memberships, and Ali Smith for gifting 20 more. That's very kind of you. Right, uh, Wolf Bear, what have you got for sale? Blades, helmets. Please, can you buy these needs. iron war axes I made? Someone needs to. And then, can you also buy this iron plate armor? There we go. This is also increasing my speech, which Good is brilliant. Where the hell is Janassa? Janassa, you've got the rest of the goddamn- Oh, you're up here having a drink! Woman, what can I do for you, please. Of course. <laughs> I need you to like be near me so I can sell these items, not standing off in the distance. You melon, right? Let's take these. Um, what else have you got? I'm pretty sure that is all of the gubbins. Yeah. Um, iron sword, steel ingots. Yeah, I mean we can't do anything with steel ingots, but that's fine. Yeah, okay. We don't need to take anything else Let's from you. Go. Right, down we go. Oh, can you come up to me? Please, come up to me. Please. Please walk to me. No, don't walk away from me. Please. Ah, Most hello. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Moving so slowly. <laughs> right, here we go. Four iron plates. Buy them all. 
I can now move again. Yay! Uh, please buy this battle axe. Please buy these iron daggers I made. They're terrible, I know. But someone has to have them. Brilliant. Right. And with that, um, I should now be able to buy... Actually, have you got anything that improves archery? No. No, you don't. This is useless. Um, here, right. Right. Onwards with the Orcish Bow. 2,272 gold. Actually, wait. Am I clean? Right, am I clean? Am I clean? Do, 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 do. Slightly dirty. Slightly dirty. Right. You know what we have to do when that's the case. Strip off all your clothes in the merchant's shop. Rub yourself with soap in the uh, merchant shop. Get yourself nice and clean. It improves your speech stat. Don't judge them for giving you better prices when you get naked in front of them. It's completely fine. Don't worry, it's fine. Everything's good, it's okay. Yeah, sell the damn bucket already. But what if we need that bucket? John Smith, I can't sell the bucket. We might need it for a quest or something. Right, there we go. Now, I've washed mm. myself. Blades, Would helmets, you now like to give me a better price on that orcish bow? Needs. Yes, you would. 200 gold saved. Oh, gift of charity plus luck. Good doing business. Yes. Have I got the gift of charity? Um, I'm pretty sure I still don't, so I've got to find a, a poor person. Um, cheater's luck, no. No, we don't have the gift of charity. Right. Where's a poor person? Peasants. Peasants, come to me. Are you a poor child? What are you looking at? No. I'm not afraid of you. Oh. No. Even if you are my elder. Where's the where's the yes? Where's the homeless man? Where's the homeless man? Is, is he up here? Homeless man? Here we go, I think he's over here. Ah, ah, hello. What are you staring at? Oh, here have a drink on me. There you go, have some red wine. Does that count as gift of charity? Was that gift of charity? I don't think that was. God damn it. Um, are you a poor man? Tell me. No, you're not. God damn it! Where's the poor man when you need him? It's a shame. No, not you. Oh my god. Keep walking. Hello, are you? No, no, you're Servio. Yes. What is? It? I don't need you, Servio. You should buy some produce from Carlotta's stall. Yes. Hello, Gerda. Um, what do you do around here? Dragon's Reach. And it's my task to see it looks fit for a yarl, night and day. Okay, you're useless. Where the hell is this poor man? This house is perfect it's not you. Is it not you? Okay, it's not you. Is it you? Quintus? No, it's not you, Quintus. Where the hell is this man? It's definitely not you. You look like you actually have money. I so good. Um, the best I swear, there's normally a drunk man. Is he inside the tavern? He's probably inside the tavern, isn't he? There's a drunk man, I swear, who you can give money to. You ran past the poor child. Oh, is there a pet? Is there a peasant child? That's my bad. Don't worry, there's probably a. a oh, there's a vampire here. That means there'll be a mission to kill a vampire. Gray mane or oh, not you. Not you. Are you drunk? Uh, no. Another curious mind. What about you? Oh, you're the crazy lady. Um, poor person, are you up here? No, you guys all look like normal strangers. What is it? Wait, hang on. Is one of you a vampire? Nope, you're not vampires. Okay, dear. Well, there's a vampire infestation quest which we now have to deal with. The flower girl. The flower girl. Okay, thank you, chat. Okay, let's find the flower girl. She's the one who's like, do you want to buy a flower? Is it you? Are you new around here? Yes, I am. Fun most days. I work with my mother. Is she drinking life. bread out of a cup? You'd be surprised how she's drunk. She's so drinking so bread out of a cup. It's not all standing around and chatting. Right, where's the... Where's flower child? I know one of you said, oh, you ran past her, but I'm going to need a specific location chat. Do, do, 
do 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 do. Hello. Hi there. You look rather Who pale, friend. That? How are you out walking about in the daytime, you bloody vampire? Drinkable bread? Yeah, she loves she loves drinking bread. Lucia in the green dress. Green dress child. Is she up here? She could be up here. Why are you scooping up water, you melon? Do 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 do. It's not you. Yes. Impton. No. Oh, hello, stranger. Definitely not you. Jesus Christ. Near the companion's house. Okay. The big dead tree. Here you are! I'm so hungry. Oh, fantastic. Lucia, here, have some gold. Oh, thank you. Divines. Ten That's septims. Bless my kind sight. Yes, bless me. Gift of charity. Thank you, child. Take your ten bloody coins so I can buy the best fucking bow I can find. Also, before I do that, let me quickly nip into Bella for just in case he has a better one. Welcome thank you, chat. Lord, <clears throat> thank you. Welcome indeed. Bella for have you got a bow? Take a look. What have you got? No, you've got orcish arrows that are useless. Have you got any things that would improve archery? Minor health? Thief? No. So this is all useless. Useless indeed. Potions? Nothing useful. Ingredients? Nothing useful either. Hides? Loads of hides. Iron ore? One. That's useless. Okay. Thank you, Bellafor. Do come back. Shut up, Bellafor. Well, oh, we got this. Gift of charity plus lick yourself is going to be the greatest speech-based skill I've ever used. My speech must improve. We must sell. Yes, this is it. Funny how immediately after finding the child you rush past the beggar. That's just how it works. Welcome Hello, Ulfberth. Protect yourself. Or do um, some Orcish bow. How much is it now down to? One thousand nine hundred eighty-one gold. Chat. We've just saved ourselves like. 350 gold. Yoink. Right, and I think we can now sell our old bow. It's only for 24 gold, but we might as well. And it leveled up my speech. Brilliant. Good doing business with you. Good doing business with you too, dude. Heiko, thank you for gifting 20 gifted memberships. And Aswin, thank you for generous donation. Um, to say congratulations on my wedding. Thank you very much. Right, let me equip my new bow and favorite it as the greatest bow that ever existed. And then I think we should probably go out into Skyrim and try and do some hunting because we really need uh, some more animal hides and then we are going to need some more iron as well as we got to get this smithing skill up, okay? Okay. I'm also going to drop down a save. Um, do, 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 do. Drop down a save. And I think we could also do with having a chomp of food. Luckily, of course, we can eat raw food because we're just some kind of lunatic. Um... Uh, let's also eat a salmon steak. Yummy, yummy salmon steak. There we go. Our character is a little bit tired, but that's okay. We can manage. Lovely. Improve what you have. I think I need... Um, I don't know if I have the ability to improve orcish um, like metals. I'm pretty sure I have to be a higher a higher like tier in smithing to improve um, and refine that but i could be wrong all right let's see if we can find um geez why is this just oh empty water bottle um i think if we go off this direction behind white run we're quite likely to run into animals I'm generally expecting on these open plains we can find things like wolves bandits that kind of stuff let's see what we can get i mean of course there are definitely you know dangerous stuff but there's also some deer so, logically, there we go. Crouch on down. Good job. That was a one-hit kill. I don't think we'll get the second one. No, the second one's gone. But that was good. That was a really good shot. This is good. I don't like that grey cloud storm off in the distance. Is there any other beasties around that I have to worry about? No. Can I get that deer? No, I missed that. There's no way I'm going to get that. Right, let's skin this deer. Right, venison, I don't think is going to be worth it, but the deer hide will be. This takes an hour and a half. There we go. 
The time has passed by. Wait, is that deer just still standing there? Yes. Thank you, dear. Thank you so much. They say Guinness is liquid bread. Someone drinking literal bread, though, is new. I mean, honestly, that child could have been having a pint of Guinness. We don't know. All right. Ooh, large antlers and deer hide. Thank you very much. What time is it up to now? 4 p.m. Seriously, I skin like two hides and it's it's already 4 p.m. <gasps> is that iron ore out in the wilderness? I think that is. At the very least, it's some kind of ore in the wilderness. Oh, and there's, I think, a saber cat over there, which we'll have to keep an eye on, because that could be dangerous. Oh, it's Coron Corundum, Corundum or Vein. Oh, we can, we can join that. Multigen Gamer, thank you very much for your generous 20 gifted memberships. Oh, someone's coming in. Hello, Mango. Hello. Mango's not well, chat. Hello. Say hello to Mango in chat. <laughs> Um, don't actually say hello to Mango, that doesn't make any sense, but, um, okay. well, because, no, they, they might just say the words, hello Mango, rather than, hi Mango, but actually, I guess, that doesn't actually make a single difference, does it? No, that only makes a difference when it's you directly as an individual saying that. Anyway, it doesn't matter, um, there's a saber cat. I might drop down a quick save, because this one could be dangerous. Holy shit, this is going to be dangerous. That was only 50 damage. Fucking run, <laughs> Janassa! Uh, 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 Janassa, you're going to do great. You're going to do great, Janassa. Yeah, we got this. We've got this. We've got this. Okay. I stand safely behind the rock and shoot it with arrows, and you do all of the damage. There we go. There we go, Janassa. Great team effort. Great team effort. Come on, get the finishing blow, Janassa. It's, it's down on the ground. Okay, you can't hit it when it's evidently crouching down on the ground. Four... People have been very generous, by the way, Mango. They've donated insane, Why? insane amounts of money just, <laughs> just for wedding, Thank just for you. wedding. It's very, very nice of them. Very um, nice. Very nice indeed. We'll tell you what we do when we get back. Yeah. So that you don't follow us. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's an elk. Oh, hello, Crouch. Little do you oh, know that's that. Good. Oh, doesn't matter. I was going to say that was going to be the strongest elk of all time. Oh shit! My game crashed. <laughs> it the elk. goddamn strongest elk of all time <laughs> oh dear oh well right gotta reload the game knew it was a good idea i dropped down a quick save jeez will you play the new cyberpunk 2.0 probably not um i've got to um I, I mean i'm going away so yeah i literally don't have time this is the last this is the last bit of content i am doing effectively until i go away um, yeah. Anyway, right, I'm going to quickly load up the game again. This is going to take a second, and whilst it does, I'm going to mute myself, have a quick chat with Mango, and because um, I need the loo. Uh. Um, so I'll be back in a second, chat. Um, entertain yourselves with the riveting intro music of Skyrim. Bye, I'm going to give you. Thank you, Bio Reaper, for another hundred dollars. Woo! Woo! Thank you. That's incredibly generous of you. Um, Jesus Christ, some of you people. Lun lunatics. Lunatics, I tell you.
Alright, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Right, continue our adventure. Oh, welcome back, chat. Um, oh, yeah, sometimes the game crashes, these things happen. Luckily, we won't have lost any time. Um, Fluffy McGiggles, the cool kid, says, I'll give another $75 if Mango plays for a few minutes. I'm not allowing that to happen. I genuinely can't. Um, it's it's too... N no, get out of it. I'm not actually allowing it to happen. I'm sorry, Mango. Can I do no! It? No, there'll be... End. No, there'll be another time for something like this, but... Just save it. No, no, I can't do that. It's too dangerous. If you want to do this, we can do a different stream. Let's go together, okay? Why do this? Not now. <laughs> yes. Not gonna happen. Oh wait, the emotion is over. Yeah, sorry, I've got to um, got to switch my scene back over. But, yeah, uh, thank you very much, everyone who's been joining us so far. That's incredibly generous of uh, of all of you for stopping by. <clears throat> all right, let us continue our adventure. Um, I do still want to kill that saber cat, and our quick save is from just before that saber cat um, attacked us. Is that saber cat okay? Oh. Okay, there we go. We got one stealth hit on it. Okay, now we want to run, and Janassa now does the fighting. There we go. Oh, wait, I just shot Janassa. Well, that's, you know, pretty much the same as helping. But yeah, our new bow is so much better. Previously, we would have been doing, like, 10 damage a shot. But look at that. That was only, like, five hours. Sorry, five hours? Five arrows to kill that saber cat. Very powerful stuff. Very, very powerful stuff indeed. Um, Emerald Koi, thank you for donating $100 to say let her play. There'll be another time for her to play. We don't... We can't do that all... We can't let her play all the time. Also, watching Mango play Skyrim is... It's, it's a unique experience. She is, she doesn't play like anyone else. All right, let's just get a shot in. There we go. We did it. All right, drop down a new quick save. Splendid. Um, Mango Mango generally plays exclusively like two-handed barbarian. Um, it's very fun. We're playing through Baldur's Gate 3 together at the moment in co-op, just like casually, and it's really, really enjoyable. Really, really, really enjoyable. Right, anyway, I'm just going to loot these hides. Um, and now it is literal... It's it's night time now. Um, Lady Ma Lady Mango Brit would have done that in three shots. I mean, potentially. I mean, she'd have probably just charged at the deer with a great axe, if I'm being honest. Um, right, back into White Run we go. Hopefully there's an inn for us tonight. If not, we might have a predicament. Is that a fox? It is. We didn't even kill it. Oh, well, a bit of damage is a bit of damage. I think we should probably go back over to our... Our camp, the other side of Whiterun. Although, no, I think we've... we've. I can treat myself. We can afford a night in the tavern. Hope the wedding goes well. Enjoy Skegness. Thanks! It's definitely where we're getting married. Oh, dear. Also, geez, 3,000 likes on the stream. Thank you very much, everyone who donates. Well, who's liked the stream. That's really generous of you guys. Really, really, really generous. Anyway, right, into um, White Run we go. Nice and dark now. Supremely dark. Oh, hello. Are you the Huntress Lady? There you are, Ayla the Not Huntress. Not on the wind today. Not Good on the wind. Good hunt. Brilliant. Um, can I go hunting with you? No, I think that's only something I can do. Mm -hmm. um, actually, I think that is something I can do. I think that's part of the hunting mod is that I could, like, join her on a hunt. But I don't really want to do that because I don't have to like share my hides with her, which seems like a terrible idea. Cat vision, yes. Welcome to cat vision. I mean, turn off cat vision for a little bit. It's just a bit dark for the stream. <clears throat> Mango played a necromancy, uh, necromancies before. Uh, Mango, I think, has not. She doesn't really do magic classes normally in video games. She's currently playing an archer in Baldur's Gate Three. You know what? Can I also find the uh, vampire quest on here? Yeah, here we go. Hunt for vampire in Whiterun. Now, of course, we know exactly where that bloody vampire is. It, we saw it in the tavern earlier. So if we can kill the vampire, we can loot it. And we can then hand in the quest. And killing vampires are like 500 gold a pop. So I think we can get like a stealth hit off on it. Let me know if you need anything. Where's, where's a weird little vampire? You're a stranger, you're not a vampire. Are they up here? 
age of aggression is just about do, do, do. Oh. What is it? Oh no, you look like a vampire, but you're not a vampire. Okay. Okay, I don't think the vampire's here. The vampire's probably over at the other tavern. Um, which means I guess we could get them tomorrow. No, should we get them today? Let me read what the mission actually says. Uh, vampire in White Run. Um, it's often to visit the Bannered Mare. If anyone is able to kill the monster, seek out one of our vigil for healing and curing. Okay, um, so they should be somewhere around here. Somewhere. Go and pick some fights. Hello, stranger. Okay, let's uh, grab a room for the night and hopefully they'll turn up in the morning. Hello there. Um, I'd like to rent a room. 100 gold! Jesus Christ, that's expensive. A Mango should start streaming Skyrim herself and everyone should go there, leaving Spitfall by himself. Mango did stream Skyrim um, once, uh, a few times, back when she was a Twitch streamer. I'm sorry. Um, that can't be oh, it can't be done. Damn it, they don't even have any rooms. Oh, that's annoying. Else, that's annoying. Else. Very, very annoying. But oh well, these things happen. Um, your vampire's not back here, are they? No, that's Quintus. Hello, Quintus. Um, it's not so good. What about down here? Is the vampire down here? Nope, this is just... Hello, Why Alfred Battleborn. Just chilling out down here by himself in the bath. Okay. And we could wait for an hour to pass and see if the vampire relocates. So there's a small chance that happens. Alright, let's just wait an hour. Do 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 do. World will end in 85 days. You lost. Hello, Gloff. Alright then. Keep your nose clean while you're mm. outsider. Nope, still don't see that vampy. Oh, oh. Unless. No, nope, no, nope, you're holder. Okay, you're completely fine. You're years older. All right, outside we go. Oh. Vampire probably rented the room. Ah, killing them would free up a spot then. Make it quick. Hello, Igna. Yes. Stranger, Ronja, Stranger, Carsten. You're all completely fine. Don't There's an oven. I'll be fine. Hmm. No vampire. No vampire at all. Unless they're up there on the balcony. Which seems unlikely, yeah. They're not up there on the balcony. My cato vision has not revealed them. They're not over here? No, you're not a vampire. Hello, Arcadia. Mm. Curious. This cheeky little... What if they're asleep? I mean, normally vampires do their... Their aggressive action at night time, so sleeping makes less sense. Uh, gotta look after Georgian, to be honest, my voice is dying. Yeah, I know, Mango can't really yeah, stream at the moment. But yeah, sure, maybe when we're back. Well, back from our wedding, we can do something silly. Make it, you really look you like to, you should no, be a vampire, but you're not. There's this invention called wine that requires my immediate attention. Oh, who's in the bed? Okay, Holder's in the bed. If it's... If Hello, Seda. Drink, speak to now, please, no more Where the hell is this vampire? Let me check the rooms. Door, door, empty. Door, empty. Door, empty. This takes us back out to White Run. Where is this goddamn vampire at? They're meant to be potentially in this general vicinity. Hmm. I don't think the vampire's here today. Let me check the other side of the house. It's unlikely, but there is a chance they're like sleeping in one of the beds over here. Nope, okay, right. I think the vampire must be out at night then. Okay, well if that's the case, let us um, make our way over to, um, over to our campfire. Oh, right. I'm still here. Janassa, I'm still going to need you to accompany me. And we'll keep an eye out for any evil beasties on our way. 
Let's go to our campfire. Although first, actually, I realise I probably am gonna need a little bit more, a little bit more wood for the fire. So I'll just chop that quickly. Vampire is the bard. The vampire is not the bard. There is no way the vampire is the bard. Jesus Christ, Lambo two one forty six fifty gifted memberships. That's incredibly generous of you. Make twilight jokes and it will come running. <laughs> I'm looking for an incredibly shiny individual who's attracted to children. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. I mean, come on, you can't tell me Twilight isn't weird. Like, the Ed Ed Edward, he's like several hundred years old. And he's going after like a 15 year old. That's fucked up. Is <laughs> the vampire here? This is where Janassa was found. What? No, not what you. Going to do? What are you going to do? I don't know. Find your own home. Jesus Christ, not everything's my f problem. No, I could steal from the chest. Uh, there's nothing in here. Ellen Drill. Uh, hello. Bows and arrows for have you got actually a, a, a bow? I swear, if you have a better bow than what I have, I'm going to be pissed. No, thankfully you don't. Steel arrows, though, are useful. But now is not the Thank time. You very much for your business. Now is not the time. Battle for champions. Hmm. Maybe when we're better, we can come back for that. Oh dear. He's only one hundred. Oh, sorry, chat. That makes that makes so much more. That's okay. If there's only a eighty-seven year age gap or whatever, that's fine in my books. But it's not even eighty-seven. No, it is eighty-seven. Mm, Eighty-five year age gap. Yeah, because she's fifteen. He's. 100. 85 year age gap. It's fine. That's okay. Apparently. Um, is that a mud crab with a top hat and a monocle? No, that's just me looking in the mirror. Thank you, free bussy bitter. That's one hell of a terrifying name. <laughs> oh dear. Right. Over to our campfire we go. Uh, I think the campfire is going to be useful because I think I have some perk points to spend as well. Can I go down here? I've gone completely the wrong way. I've gone such, such the wrong way. Okay, you know what? Let me just climb over this wall. There we go. Much better. Oof. There we go. Right, over to the campsite we go. Um, not the Khajiit campsite. My campsite, which I built last stream. It's very beautiful, okay? I hope it's still there, because if it's not, we might have some problems. But I think it is. Do do do. You jump. Jump. Run around, white run we go. Hey, I happen to like older men, Spiff. Well, you know, it's it, there's older men, and then there's men who will literally turn to dust at the sight of garlic. Which I guess could be, you know, could just be your average average man from Yorkshire. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, my wayfaring skills have improved. New perk available. Nice. That's good. I think some of these could actually boost like our ability to do mining, which really is going to be useful. But some extra iron ore will never hurt. Yeah, but she's like 105 in dog ears. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's going to hold up in court. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I'll have you know, uh, the defendant is actually a... Uh, is actually uh, Shiba Inu, uh, legally speaking, so... So technically it's a different crime entirely, so god. Oh, Jesus Christ. Thanks, chat. You always, always make me laugh. Oh, dear. Alright, round, white run we go. Oh, dear. Is that, is that just a bone? Evidently a animal died there. Make paralysis poisons. Canis root, human flesh, imp stool, and swamp fungal pod. I mean, here's the thing. We tried cork bulb arrows, which are effectively paralysis arrows, but they just weren't generally that effective. We Like, so many enemies were just able to out, like, just resist them. Speaking of resistance, actually, we have that disease resistance band, which I really need to use because this bad boy is going to stop us from dying of disease which is such a likely event you have no idea anyway right up here we go is my campfire still here yeah i think that's my campfire over there 
Or is that actually a, an ore vein? Or is that just a ruined building? Ah, it's just a ruined building. Is that one down there? No, that's just a bit of stone. Around here we go. Is this my campfire? This is where I made my bed. Yeah, this is where I made the bed. Okay, so the campfire's gone, but the bed's still here. That's okay. There's the wood chopping block, which was very useful. Okay, right. We can rebuild our campfire. That's no problem. Because we still need our bed anyway. Um, so let us build a campfire. Oh, yeah. Here's our conjure skeleton skill that we can't use because I don't have enough magic. Right. Place that down. Place down my campfire. Let's use this bad boy. Light a fire. Using my firewood that I collected. Very jazzy indeed. Jesus, how far to your campsite? I mean, hey, we made it. It's a little bit of a trek outside of Whiterun. You don't want to camp near Whiterun because the issue is um, you you risk breaking the law. Because um, you're not allowed to, like, actually camp in the city or near to the city. Anyway, let me, um, actually, let me use the skills. Right, so skills, what do we got? Do 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 do. We have um, our various fire skills here. So resourcefulness here means would make our gathering abilities better. This allows us to, to detect creatures that are further away. Um, skill bonuses from large campfires last longer. It's kind of useful. Increased stamina. That's not really useful. And light campfires faster. In all weather. Oh, I guess in certain weathers it takes ages to light a campfire. Um, this could be useful for actually gathering stuff, but I think we'll leave that be. I think we could do with like a damage ability. We got handcrafting. Um, cycle of life. You can now bury your fallen com fallen friends. Alternatively, you can harvest the corpses of humanoid races at the cost of a big speech debuff. Oh. Or there's wind. Oh no, we did pick up wind impulse. Uh, that allows us to track animals. Um, you learn to fight creatures effectively. First you focus on small animals, then... Okay, this will allow me to hunt better. And then there's trapping, which allows me to do bear, bear stuff. Okay, chat, do we, go for, do we go for the ability to harvest our fallen friends? I feel like... I feel like it's still a good idea. I feel like it's... Yeah, okay, fine. We need to grab it. Perks to increase. Oh, apparently I still have zero. Oh! Did say my wayfaring skills is... Um... Yeah, I think... Okay, my skills in wayfaring are... Yeah, ready to increase, but not those. Okay, so I can grab... Not trailblazer. Is it high spirits? It says perks to increase one, but not... I can't select any of these. Oh, I can select Firecraft. Well, Firecraft's bloody useless. What am I meant to do with that? I right, accidentally so closed down the entire thing. Um, okay, what if I go not Firecraft? Can I do any of these? Lumberjack, here we go. Allow you to search for firewood in your surroundings. This one's really good. We'll grab that. Um, Wayfarer. Well, outside of combat, your stamina regenerates faster. Is great. Expert Packer is also really good. So let's grab Wayfarer and then we'll make our way over to Expert Packer. And then previous skills. Oh, this is the uh, food menu. Okay, I've got one perk to increase here. Uh, I think it starts with low heat. After cooking a meal, you feel invigorated. Provide a small stamina regeneration. Okay, sure, yeah, we can grab that. Nothing too crazy, but it's still a perk. And then here's like all of the animal abilities. I don't have any perk abilities yet that I can sink into beast handling. All right, well, I think that is our skill tree sorted. So let us chomp some food and then settle down for the night. A nice bit of beef stew, I think. Splendid idea. Yum, 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 yum. Speaking of food, Mango's actually used this opportunity to turn up with a cup of tea and some food. I notice there's no fork. Are we out of forks? We're out of forks! God damn it. I don't want to touch them. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. Don't worry. Oh dear. I'm now eating dinner with a spoon. Um, dinner is noodles, which is 
Historically, not the easiest food to eat with a spoon. Um, but life is going to find a way. Oh, dear. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, uh, we actually might be able to level up a few times from this. Hmm. Okay, health is now up to 181, which is very good. We have two perks to increase. Um, let's see how old lock picking's doing. Quick hands is not useful. Rare gems is what I want. And then Dungeon Delver is really good. Yeah. Lock picking is actually really useful. Um, speech might be useful. I don't really know, actually. Um, hmm. Okay, we can sell stolen items, invest. I don't really know if that's useful. I don't really know if uh, our speech stats are going to be the greatest. Okay, smithing, though. Can I sink stuff into this? We can temper all items by an additional tier. Okay, we'll grab that. And then we need... Yeah, we still need some more until we get basic smithing. And I think I'll save my perk point for that. Unless there's something in archery we can grab. 10% chance to deal additional damage. Okay, no, we want to probably save a perk point for power shot. There we go. We've rested. It's a nice, bright, new, beautiful morning. Outside of Whiterun. Lovely spot to be. I think there might be some iron veins around here. Just have a quick check up here. Do, 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 do. There's also a chest, which is empty because we looted it, of course. Um, is there anything else up here? No. Not at all. Right, well, back we go. <clears throat> do, 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 do. Custom homes in this. Kind of. We can, like, set up a home using the campfire. Like, we can build beds and stuff and a tent. Um, yes. Right, back into White Run we go. Actually, wait, I think that is some there is definitely some ore veins around the homestead house so let me quickly check that so we could get some resources there and we might be able to temper all of our equipment which if we do could be supremely useful there we go paul matthews thank you very much for the five pound donation that's very generous of you very very generous indeed all right what do we got here is this iron ore no this is corundum well I don't really know what we can even use Corundum for. Like, chat, is it useful for anything? Smith, what's your view on green tea? I think it's nice. It's quite tasty. It's not my, like, day-to-day -day tea, though. I think, like, when I'm feeling a bit herbally, I'm feeling a bit herbally. But it's not all the time. Oh, my goodness. Angelo in chat says, Brit, I've been watching you for years and I can proudly say as an American I now drink Yorkshire tea because it's the only tea worth drinking. Fantastic. We've convinced an Amer- <coughs> Oh, bless my hiccups. We've convinced an American. That's- That's winning. Chat, that's progress. It starts with one American. Next thing you know, we reinvade. That's- That's the plan. That is the plan. Everyone knew it was the plan. It had to be this way. Is there another vein around here? I feel like there's an iron vein somewhere around this house, but I could be wrong. Iron and uh, corridor make steel. Okay. Okay, so it'll be useful when we want to do steel stuff, but for the moment, not very. Um, can I loot this place? Oh, there's a deer hide on the floor. Elk hide. Nice. That's actually really useful. Um, iron ore in a bucket. Thank you. Is there anything in that bucket? Nope, nothing. Other than Janassa knocking it over like a lunatic. <gasps> Ingots in here, thank you very much. Okay, no, can we do we could we could try and grindstone our weapons, maybe. There's a chance we can improve with our bow. Okay, we need an orc ingot for this. We might be able to um Actually, Janassa, do you have one in I'm your inventory? Here. I feel like you might. Um there we go. I need what to trade something with you. No, you just got this ingot. Yeah, it's not quite as good. Go. Not quite as good. Um, all right, I can use the tanning rack and get some leather out of that elk hide. Jeez, I'm the saber cap pelts. 
Bloody heck. That's a lot of gubbins we just got from that. I'm peckish. Jeez, my character is so damn hungry. Um, right, we can improve the Vegabond armor using leather. So let's do that. This makes it superior, so we can craft that bad boy. Craft. Bam, there we go. Fur helmet requires leather, so we can craft that bad boy. Extra armor. Fur braces. Uh, it's not much better, but I do think the boots being improved with a wolf pelt is a good idea. We can do that. And, okay, fine, we might as well. There we go. We've improved everything. Okay, back to Whiterun we go. Should we could do some blacksmithing here, surely? What the? Anvil, what can I make from you? Cooking pot. Iron war axe. Okay, yeah, sort by value. I can make hunter's backpack. Jeez, I should have done this instead of making my own. Oh, well, instead of buying one, that would have been so much better. But oh well, you live and you learn. Um, let's make some iron big weapons here using some firewood. Very nice. Okay, I think I need... If I can grab some more firewood, then I can make some more. Um, is there a wood chopping stand? There's not a wood chopping stand at this house. I know that for sure. Yeah. All right, back to white room we go. What does the cat eat? Feed the cat? Okay. Cat eats Meow Mix. Everyone knows that. Let's eat some pog fish. Chat? Best be some pogs in chat. Was I pog on this pog fish? Hmm. Alright, back to the city we go. Wait, is that... Is that a vein there? It kind of looks like a silver vein. I swear we mined this last time. Oh, it's a stone quarry. What the heck is in a stone quarry? What the hell is in this? I could use a drink. Oh, look at all those pogs in chat. It's beautiful. It's what you love to see. Quarried 8 out of 4,000 stone. Okay, stone is useless, isn't it? Stone is going to be completely useless. <laughs> I mean, we could wait for the entirety of the end of the world. Is it even in here? Quarried stone. Yeah, it just weighs useless quantities of rubbish, right? On the floor you go. Oh, is that the courier? You after me? Hello, courier. I've been looking for you. Oh, you got something for me. Looks like oh, that's it. Thank you. Got to go. Warriors challenge and harvests end flyer. Okay, harvest ends flyer sounds interesting. What is this? The year has turned its circle. The seasons come and go. The harvest is all gathered in and chilly north winds blow. Taverns will be busy throughout the day, but free food and drinks will be available for all outside after 5 p.m. Ah, oh, okay. Where's the harvest end? That sounds like a brilliant place to go. That sounds like a wonderful... Where's the harvest end on this goddamn map? Which, by the way, we can't use because we don't technically know where even we're located. Which is quite fun. Antony, uh, Antoine, thank you very much for your generous gift of five memberships. That's very kind of you. We... Quarried stone is used in the half fire DLC. Yeah, but... Who even uses the half fire DLC? Building a house? Pfft, boring. Capitalism has taught me just to purchase land. Yes, land ownership. Yes, the future, I tell you. Alright. Onwards we go. Jump. Jump around. Aswin, thank you very much. Ten gifted memberships. That's very kind of you. Welcome new members as well. Very generous. Do, 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 do. Round we go, up and up, climbing around, running into White Run because there's no fast travel as we're on survival mode. Can't have fast travel, that would be too much fun. Todd wouldn't want that now, would he? Alright, let's have a big jump. Who are you? Oh, what you're Lilith. I do for you, friend? Cool scarf. Alright, up into White Run. Let's get a bit more firewood, make some more steel, sorry, I mean, or more iron great weapons, and then sell said iron great weapons. The world will end in 85 days. This matters little. This matters little. When will you start the Marriage is Perfectly Balanced series? <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't think Mango would enjoy me making that series. I think she might get quite annoyed. Air is chilly here. Oh, I see. So the seasons have changed to be winter. 
well, to at least be autumn. So we're heading more towards the colder times. Which is fine, it just means we've got to keep an eye out on our temperature a bit more. As that is not something we want to mess with. Oh wait, the vampire! Vampire should be around. Let's find him. Shiny trinkets. Shiny trinkets. Shiny trinkets. <laughs> I want a drink. No. He's so weird. Huh? Right, where's this vampire? Yes. Not you. Oh, it's Brinuin. This is the guy we can give money to for the gift of charity. Vampire lady. Vampire lady. You in the bath? No. Yes, Janassa. Do you want the? We do want the weapons out, but I also want you to not be in my bloody way. Around we go. They could be anywhere. They could be not even here. They could also just be not here. Bloody heck, that's a good drum beat though. Jeez, keep that up, friend. All right, doesn't look like they're here. This vampire. From scryer to squire. Yeah, I don't think the vampire is around. Nope, the vampire is not here. Great! How useful. Fuck it, hell, it's raining now. Oh, it's chilly. And it's wet. Which, um, is actually important because certain weapons do less damage in the rain. Hello there, stranger. Oh, you're, you're the grey main lady. Where the heck is this vampire? Hello, Valetia. Not you. Alright, let's just chop some wood and hopefully they'll materialise. Bloody heck, it is stormy. I'm now carrying too much to be able to run. Oh dear. That's not a good sign. Someone says, isn't the vampire the one in the main hall? Are you telling me I seriously just walked past the vampire? We've stopped. What God is damn it. it. Of course. <laughs> this happens every time. Um, can you hold on to my big heavy weapons I just made? Yes, you can. Thank you very much. How about all of this random ore I found? There you go. Take all of that. And the kindling. Yeah, take that. Cool. Jeez, I've also still got a lot of iron ore. So we can make way more weapons. Right, chat, you said they were just in the main hall here. What's wrong with your cape? It's windy. Very windy outside, okay? Right, you said in the main hall. The main answers comes knowledge, but with knowledge. Janessa, where is this fucking vampire? Excuse the French, of course. I don't see them here. I don't see them here, chat. Maybe she's in Dragon's Reach. Why would the vampire go all the way to Dragon's Reach? There's a blockage on the staircase. Oh, thank you. The game's just fixing that. She's not in there. Right, let me make my way. It's not. No, it's not that woman. I don't think it is. What can I do for you? No. All right, down this we go. Smear out my way. The Jump. Oh, once was a hero Jump. The Jump. Let me through. Let me through. Left of the door. Okay. They are not left of the door. But then he went quiet. Oh, my goodness. It's not you. It's no, it's me. definitely not you. How about chopping up some wood it's definitely not you. Need anything else? Jesus Christ. Finding a vampire. Finding a vampire is so challenging. She's in the tub. She's not in the tub. Right, that's a chat. I've given up on you. I've given up on you. Goddamn fake advice. Fake advice. How are you, how are you meant to even play Skyrim with fake advice? Being hurled at you from nonsense people. Evil nonsense people. 
Forgotten Lore. Jeez, thank you very much for the 100 US dollars. Congratulations again on your wedding. How was your honeymoon? I haven't been on my honeymoon or my wedding yet. I set, set off on uh, Wednesday. So there'll be an upload on Thursday, a normal video, but I won't be there for it. Um, I do believe it should be the Balloons TD6 video I recorded, which is quite fun indeed. And then the video after that should be City Skylines 2. She's on the ceiling. Janassa is the vampire. Okay, chat, some of you have given terrible advice, and then just... John Smith has just said, bitch moved. Which could be correct. It could be correct indeed. The chat is the vampire. Oh my god, I knew it. I knew it all along. Alright, there we go. I'm carrying enough fire, too much firewood to be able to run. So we're just going to walk our way over there. I swear to god I thought I saw her over there in the left, but no. No, that can't be the case. I refuse to believe it is the case. Come on. We can make it. We can make it. Look at that, how we're moving. The vampire is definitely somewhere. Yes, correct. The vampire is definitely somewhere. In a location. I swear, if I see the vampire now, I, I'm not even able to fight them because... I've made myself too over-encumbered to be able to draw a bow. Uh, but that's okay. It's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. All right, let's use the smelter. Thank you, smelter. God, you might want to stand out the way. There we go. Good smelting. Lovely. Splendid stuff. Right, now we walk on over to the actual forge. Now, what can I make? Highest value. Yeah, I think it's these iron weapons here. Um, they sell for 98, and they don't require too many resources, so let's just pump them out. Fantastic. Um, and then I can also make, make a hat, I guess, of decent value. No, this doesn't seem worth it. This war axe isn't bad. 45 value. Um... No, I think I want to keep the lever. I'll keep the lever. In fact, I'll make Janassa hold on to my, my hides. What can we do for you? Um, I need to I trade stuff with you. Take use. this. Do, 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 do. Take my hides. And... I think I should be okay. I should be okay to walk into the trader and sell it. I don't think I'd die by being this over-encumbered. The vampire was inside all of us all along. God damn it, it's like that Twilight bit again. <laughs> Beware of vampires f uh, finding you, but they only find people under the age of 103 dog years to be well attractive. Like Looking to protect yourself. Hello, Wolf Bert. Um, let me sell you these gubbins I made. 175 gold is not the best, but we get the experience for making it, and that's all that matters. Now, do you sell... Um, what was it? It was like... Orcish ingots or something like that. I don't think you do. No, you, it doesn't seem like you do. Hmm, that's fine. I was going to see if it was possible to um. Good doing business. Actually, most of our no, weapons no, no. Were crafted I could pay Patreon to have him temper my weapons, but there's no point. There's no point. Did you pick up the transmute spell? No, I'm not transmuting. I'm not a wizard. Do I look like a wizard to you? I don't feel like a wizard. Let me search the missive board. Um, deliver potion to Riften. Deliver letter. Hunt for a fugitive. Retrieve an heirloom. Okay, none of those are necessary. Where is this vampire? They're around somewhere. I can sense it. I've got my vampy senses. Somewhere, I tell you. Alright. I swear, if I go all the way up to, like, Whiterun... The actual, like, if I go up to the Jarl's Palace, and then the vampire is just, like, there, I'm going to lose my mind. I'm going to genuinely be so very annoyed. All right, in we go. Oh. 
All right. What can I do for you? In we go. Who are you? Hey, no. Yo, you're a cleaner. Can Hello. I help you? What can Don't I say to you? you? Go Out of my way, peasant. That's so mean. We can't say that. Chairman Meow is pretty much a peasant as well, so... Waiting. Oh, hello. Fate drives you, but you follow your own path. All right, um, let's have a chat with Janassa. Hello, Janassa. Oh, sorry, I mean Irolef, not Janassa. That's... Uh, he's not receiving visitors. I have news of dragon attack. Yes, that is why I got let in. Come on, then. All right, I'll speak to him personally. Yes, 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 I know. Wait, hang a second. Hang a second. Are you the are you the vampire? Make it quick. Oh, thank God! No, you're not. You're not. <sighs> oh my God! Right, I'll have a chat with um. I'll have a chat with this individual. Let's go. Nick Verbreeze donates ten Canadian dollars. Say, been forever since I caught a live stream. Just wanted to say that your comedy is a huge help to my mental health. Thank you so much for the great content. Well, thank you for the very generous donation. Hey, yo, Belgriff! Jesus Christ! You look like you've got beautiful blue eyes. Are you married? You married? Do you want to? Do you want to be married? Um, the dragon destroyed Helgen, and last I saw it, it was heading this way. Irileth was right. Irileth was right. What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls mm. against the dragon? My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood. We should Come. send troops to Riverwood. In the most immediate it is in the most immediate danger. Plus, I could do with more guards over there. That'd be useful. The Yarl is the vampire. We're not killing the Yarl. Khajiit has quest for reward if you're a vampire. <laughs> Where is vampire, goddammit? Burns my hold and slaughters my people. Irileth, send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my Yarl. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. That would be best. Right, Yarl. Have I got a prize? Have you got a gifty for me? Well done. Please give me a gifty. Me out. I swear, if this is a piece of heavy armor or a melee you weapon, I'm going to be so pissed. I won't forget it. What is it? Take Nordic leather armor. Of my mm, um, chat is odds is on it being hot garbage. Odds on, starting now, I'll give you two to one. Two to one odds on it being hot garbage. Particular Faringar, my court. He's probably puttering around in his lab. He can be... If you want to help, give him time. Okay, right. In a few nights and go talk to him. I'll reward you. Okay, so um, Safe journeys, the mission now is we have to wait a few nights and then Farangard should have a mission for us because he's working out about these dragon attacks. So if we wait a few nights, we can come back and we can then do the Bleak Falls Barrow quest line. Oh, right, back out into White Run we go. Garbo, 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 Garbo. It's okay. Okay, I'm saying hot garbage. Do 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 do. Ladies and gentlemen, hot garbage. Do 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 do. do. <laughs> I mean, actually, actually, I think it's better. It is better because if we temper this armor, I reckon we'll go above forty-nine. Yeah, it's better. God damn it, chat. It's actually fine. God damn it. Yo, Bulgriff, why do you have to upstage me like that? Child, are you okay? The chair's there. God, that child is scary. Are you the vampire? No, you're not there. You're not. Oh. Is the vampire out here? Nope. Okay, we'll have a quick, we'll have a very small look inside, just in case the vampire's in there. Do 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 do. Welcome. Let me know if you want anything. <laughs> I think I got a clean mug around here somewhere. Do 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 do. Keep your eyes straight ahead, and your mind back. No, I don't actually think there's a single vampire here. If it's work you're looking for, God damn it. All right, well, back up we go. Oh, with us and you'll have to tell. Jesus Christ! I thought this person's textures failed, but no, they're just bold. <laughs> Sorry, bold friends. Oh Can dear. I help you? Have you got anything to sell? Oh no, you can't sell us Stay anything short. unless you're over by your shop. Right. Um. I think let's. Uh, 
Let's do our. Let's try and see if we can improve this piece of armor. Jesus Christ, it's so stormy. Oh, and these guys are being sent off to um, go reinforce Riverwood. Which is nice. Alright, um. Let me use the tanning rack. Oh, okay, uh, what do I want? Oh, wait, I gave you all of my leather, didn't I? Unless I have some on me. Let me double check. Yeah, I need leather. Wait, no, you require Quicksilver Ingot. What? Quicksilver? Where's Aero left? Aero left, have you got, have we got Quicksilver on us? Jesus. Uh, of course. I, what's the odds of us having that? No, we just got steel. Yeah. Yeah, we don't have anything like that. Annoying. That's very annoying. Um, I mean, I guess he has Quicksilver in here that we can buy. But that could be expensive. It might just be better for us to go mine some instead. Shop has Quicksilver. I know it does, but like money. We've got small the money. weapons and armor. <laughs> money, money, money. Um Quicksilver. 267 gold? Get in the bloody bin. No Good thank you. you. No thank you. Right. Outside we go. For the moment, we're just going to enjoy our slightly worse armor. Quicksilver mine in Dawnstar. I'd have to go to Dawnstar for that. Do you have any idea how far away Dawnstar is? I also can't travel back from Dawnstar. Dawnstar doesn't have a caravan and I can't fast travel, which means if we go to Dawnstar, we cannot come back from Dawnstar. Jeez, Dawnstar isn't even on the map. There's Windhelm, Mar Solitude, Markov, and Riften. Falkreef isn't even eligible. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Double check your quest log, it might be bugged. Uh, there's a chance, Mitchell, it has bugged, but I think it should be okay. Search for the stranger self. Oh, yeah, that was from the last time. Alright. I'm going to. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Drop on down. The vampire is right of the tavern. Okay, chat. I'm giving you one more chance here. One chance. You say the vampire is right of the tavern. We will give it one go. Oh, there's a boat that takes you from Windhelm or Solitude. Okay, right. Okay, yeah, true. We can actually fast travel out there. Okay. Maybe we go for... um. Maybe we do give it a try. You found a quicksilver vein in the mine close to the river bridge by the brewery. Oh, yes. Yeah, we did. The, like, little bandit mine system. Okay, you said the vampire is to the right of the tavern. Well, that's not the vampire. They're not up there. We'll take a look at this side. They're not over here either. There's just a woman. Hello. You're not a vampire. Um, at someone's house. What about you? Have anything you wish to sell? Ellen. I pay fair prices. You are definitely a vampire, but you're not the vampire I'm looking for because you're not the quest vampire, are you? You do sell some stuff, though. That's probably worth keeping an eye on. I don't think they're just looking for any random vampire that I find and slay, so I don't think you're the one. Um, right, back this way we go. That's left. Oh, I, you're right. You're right. <laughs> Wait, no, I did go right. I did go right of the tavern. This is right of the tavern. Uh, what about you? Alum, no, you're not the vampire. What about yeah, you? It's a lady you're looking for. You best no. elsewhere. Not you. Once Mikhail gets them. Some not you, Ivas. Not you. Not sure you belong here. You're not a vampire. Not sure you belong here, Khajiit. 
Bloody racists! Cat racists! Jesus Christ! Oh my god. Right, last check inside the bandit map. Get the un... Get the detect undead spell. Oh, sure, that just makes sense. That just makes complete sense. No. No, I refuse to believe the vampire is real. The vampire is a figment of bloody imagination. Ah, <sighs> you went right, not stage right. Oh, of course, of course, chat, of course. Hey, child, are you a vampire? Hello. No. Hi. You? What can I do for you, friend? No, you're not a vampire. You're looking lovely today. Jeez, that's just goddamn horrible. Oh, I see. You're the uh, you're the hus you're the wife of Nazim. You can't just hit on people in the streets. How rude. You're not a vampire. Are you a vampire? No. You're just a grumpy woman. Easy, easily mistaken to be a vampire. Erelef, are you okay? Yes. Do you ever get a chance to rest? No, nope, you don't. Let me have another quick... Let me have a chat with Farangard to see if I can kickstart the quest line. So it might make it easier than us leaving and coming back. So what does that say over here? What is this? A reward in gold. To all any and all citizens of Whiterun, you who catches the white stallion roaming the fields of Whiterun will be rewarded with its weight in gold. Ah, oh, interesting. So there's a there's a wild horse that if we catch could net us some money. Stranger. I like money. Why is he looking for a vampire? It's a quest! It's a quest, goddammit! I was given other tavern, Spiff! I, we looked in the other tavern once before, and they weren't in the other tavern. God damn it! What do you want, cat? What do I want? I want to find the this bloody vampire. Oh dear. The gods watch over your battles, friend. Hey, um, yo, I'll leave you be. Thank you for saying keep safe, as opposed to I don't think you belong here, cat. Come to dragons, reach to these. Um, right, hello, go, Farangar. Have you learned anything about the dragons? Do you need any help? Yes. Oh, you well, need me to fetch something for you. Oh, there we go. He want, this is the quest. Into a dangerous ruin in Straight to the point. They, I, uh, learned oh, okay, there we go. Bleak Falls Barrow quest line. Find this tablet, Four, no okay. In the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. All right, there we go. That's our quest. You lost? Jesus Christ. We, okay, we'll try the other tavern once on our way out. Once. Hall of the Hi. Dead, Smith. Why would the vampire be in the Hall of the Dead? What is it, Khajiit? I'm checking there? it, and if it's in there, I'm going to lose my mind. I swear if the vampire's in here. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Farewell. See? None. Oh, Shrine of Arcade. I'll activate that. 25 extra health is actually useful. None. No vampire. No vampire at all. Why would there even be a vampire in the Hall of the Dead? It makes no sense. Why would I listen to you? Why would I listen to you? I mean, at least we found the Shrine of RK. That is actually a benefit. I'll take that. Maybe they just show up at night. No, we saw them in the daytime, and then we took the quest to kill them. What can I do for and then ever since then, I haven't been able to find them. It's not you. Did no, you're the grey main woman. Right, we'll try the other pub. And that's it. Hello, who are you? You're Mikhail. Are you drinking bread? It's another man drinking bread! What is what is with these weird people of White Run? Bread drinkers. Let me know if you see anything you like. Nope. Nope. None whatsoever. 
No vampire. No vampire at all. God damn. Right. That's it, we're leaving. We're leaving. <laughs> After Bleak Falls Barrow we go. Check the top floor of the bannered mare. Check the top floor of the bloody bannered bin. Oh my god. Drinking tr drinking bread is a white run delicacy. Oh, I, I wasn't aware of that age-old tradition of bread drinking. Bellafor's shop, maybe. Chat. Keep. I'm going to. I. I'm at my limit. I'm. I'm positively at my limit. <laughs> I don't know where the. I don't know where it is. If you're in the market, I don't want to know where it is. What are you hunting? At this point, mind, I've given up. I don't want to know. All right. What have you got? You've got arrows. I could take. Dwarven arrows are good, but we might... We don't really need them. Bone mold arrows? Hmm. They kind of sound fun. And they sound like I might be able to make them. So, thank you for reminding me that bone mold arrows exist. Right. I know many of you were like, Oh, just fast travel to Dawnstar and do go work in the mines. Nope. Nope. We are going up to Bleak Falls Barrow. We should be able to do this... We should be able to do this dungeon. Okay, I believe in us. We've got... Still a giant quantity of food, a giant quantity of potions. There are multiple, like, rest points in there that we can use. I'm pretty sure we have some firewood as well. Yeah, I've got some firewood. Irlef, I'm pretty sure you're also holding some firewood for me. So if needs be, we can... Wait, are they in here, maybe? Because there's another tavern here. I swear if they're in here. Well... <sighs> Let me know if you want anything. I think I got a clean mug around here somewhere. Hello, stranger. Is there a vampire in here? No, there's not. Okay. Right, well that's fine. That's a okay. I just I just thought there was a small chance they were staying in the other inn added into the game. Oh dear. Right. Over towards um Bleak Falls Barrow we go. I think if we try and climb up the mountain from this side, it should be a good idea. It makes more sense than walking all the way back up to Riverwood. Although I know there is a pathway along the top, which can make more sense. But no, no, this this is fine. This will be okay. If we run into too many problems, we can just run back to the guard's tower, which is useful. And I think we should still be... Oh. I missed entirely, didn't I? I just missed that one entirely as well. Yeet. Oh, you dodge! That's not fair. Bloody heck. Oh, well. Oh, hello. Oh, that was only not enough damage. Okay, come on. Come back, dear. Come back. Oh, oh, oh. Ah! Ah, there's a skeever! Oh! Ow, 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 Back off. Back off, skeevy. Back off, Skeevy. I can't see him in the long grass. I can't see him in the long grass. Is he there? No, he's not. Uh, hello, Skeevy. Ah, whoa, whoa. There we go, he's dead. Oh, Jesus. That was dangerous. Skeevy tail. We'll take that. Skeevy meat. No, thank you. That will give us disease. Bloody heck. Activate the vampire quest. I activated the vampire quest. It's right here. Track down and kill the vampire in Whiterun. What is wrong with you, chat? One person says, spreads deliberate misinformation and the rest of you are like, hmm, yes, this seems like completely valid misinformation. Yes, I will, I will now painstake my entire reputation on chat that this misinf- There's a saber cat. There's a saber cat. Come on, 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 come on. We can do this, we can do this, we can do this. We've got this, we've got this. His health is getting kind of low. Oh, good stuff. Oh, we did it. Well, I guess we also might as well kill the deer. Okay, no, the deer lives. Unless it doesn't. Janassa has decided no, the deer does not live today. Take your iron arrow. Saber cat, thank you very much. Take all of that. Right, continue up the mountain we go. We just want to steer clear of those, uh, those giants and we should be okay. Oh. 
It's not active. It it is active. It is genuinely active. I've chat I've done these missives before. You it is it is active. God damn, I just shot an iron arrow in rage. It is active. Ooh. 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 You thought you could get away with being there. Think again! Yeet! We did it! Good shot. Good shot indeed. Any other wolves? No, nope, that's it. Okay, snowberries. Offering resist fire. Oh, and is this iron ore? Iron ore. Oh, it is good. Right, we'll take that. And we'll get mining. Click the mission once. Diamond becomes arrow. Yeah, but the issue is we can't use... Um... Oh my goodness, what's happened here? Oh, shit. Oh, shit, it's bugged. Okay, I think that fixes it. Yep, me sitting down has fixed that. Oh, bloody heck. Sometimes the uh, the graphics bug when I'm in, not in first person. There we go, much better. Yeah, uh, uh, clicking on it doesn't make a difference. Read the missive, it should point you in the right direction. It told us the one pub we visited four bloody times, chat. Good mining. <clears throat> oh, by the way, P Mux seventy nine. Thank you very much for a donation of five pounds to say they might all be vampires. Best to kill them all, Can just I to be sure. You? This is splendid advice of that we course. are not following. We're of course not going to kill everyone we run into. Dear God, we need at least some friends in the world, and everyone pretty much already hates us. Right, how much firewood do you have? You got seven kindling, which I'm go. pretty sure can be used as firewood for a campfire. Which should be useful if we need to sleep. Oh, and I think my character also said they needed a drink, so quick swig of wine. And a quick little bit of dog meat. Mmm, yummy, yummy dog meat. I'm now well fed. Whoa, there we go. Alright, up we go. Up to Bleak Falls Barrow. I don't think we have any more like wildlife threats until we actually reach the top. Janassa, can you come up, please? Jeez, woman. She's just so slow sometimes. And I'm pretty certain we killed the bandits on the other side of this ridge line last time. Um, God, I thought that was a dragon for a moment, but no, it's just a bird. The last time we were up here. Um, and you look at that. There looks to be a man. Is that a bandit? Are you a bandit? I can't... Oh, he, he pulled out a thing. Okay, that implies hostility. Yeah, he's a bandit. There we go, we almost just killed him. Oh, good stuff. Look at that. Archer has increased to 40, which means... We can put the perk in. Bows have a 50% chance to stagger enemies. That's what we want to see. That is what we want. Slim Slimmons donates twenty dollars to say love you Spiff, but hard to disagree. Rebella and Ed, totally normal to be into older guys. I've hooked up with plenty of cent <laughs> centenarians, uh, and not all of them were dead. Oh well, that's that's good for you. That's good. That's nice to know. <laughs> that's really nice to know. You found you found love in some of the coldest embraces. <laughs> God, thanks for the donation. <laughs> Right, we're going to try and skirt on the outside because they've got some wizards over here, I remember. There's a bow person. Wizards are super dangerous, especially up here in the cold. It's good that we came here at night. Janessa, where the, where the hell are you going, Janessa? Be careful. Just got to wait for them to come to the edge. Once one of them stands near the edge, we should have a clear line of sight onto them. Um, what about jumping up here? Okay, come on. Up. Jump. There we go. Okay, jump. Okay, nothing. Okay, I, can't, I don't think I can do this running jump. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I did see someone up there. Ooh, right, okay, we can stand on top of this. Yeah, look, there's a man. 
There we go. Good first hit. Good first hit. And the follow-up was not there. But the first hit was good. Despite the fact that it was from stealth, it did only do 10 damage. Because evidently this guy's wearing, like, heavy armor or something. Right. Janassa, how, how dangerous are we? Where are we? Oh, there's one. Oh, Jesus Christ, they're level 5. Janassa, you know what to do. Okay, poison, 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 poison. Weak poison, apply. Right, we can get this one bandit. Actually, I don't even think it's worth killing that one bandit. They were so low level. Right, bandit outlaw. Oh, we're getting shot at by the archer, but we've got to kill this one. Ah, there you go. He tried to use his healing potion and we got him. Jesus Christ, where's the other shot coming in from? Oh, and there's the wizard. There's the wizard. Right, I think we did get one hit on the wizard. Bloody heck, run, 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 run. Back, 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 back. Wizard's super dangerous, so let's reapply the poison. All right, we've got to get our shot onto the wizard here. Come on, get, get the wizard, get the wizard. Janassa, out the way, out the way, out the way, out the way. Out the way. Okay, God damn it, the bandit fug. Right, okay, I think I got the bandit fug. No, I hit Janassa. Fuck. I did. Oh, no, no, the bandit fug is actually losing health. Oh my god, Janassa, please don't die, please don't die, please don't die, please don't die. Okay, come on. The bandit wizard is almost dead. Bandit wizard, bandit wizard, come on. Don't use healing on yourself, woman! Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. We can get you, we can get you. There we go, shot to the wizard, good shot, good shot, good shot. Oh, you're dead, you're dead. Final bandit fog. Oh, this should be easy. Janassa's got them distracted. Oh, my God. Oh, what a fight. What have you got? Longbow, fine. Iron arrows, thank you. Fine Cyrodiilic hide armor? Not the worst. Oh, you've got, like, a staff. Staff of the skeleton? What the hell? That's so useful. I'm nabbing you. You sound well cool. Nice. Right, are we Bleak Falls? Yeah, we're at Bleak Falls. Draft of Invisibility? How many skull masks did you need as well? Jesus, you had all of the masks! Troll masks. Thank you for the mead, the lockpick, the arrow. That's all useful. And you. Reinforced fur armor with mantle. Still not as good as my current stuff, but that's A-OK. -okay. Right, good first section cleared out. Very good first section. And we didn't even take a lick of damage either. Oh, and they've got a little camp set up here. Oh, they killed a horse, a grey fell pony. Oh, we take his horse hide. We're not going to. You're a good little horse pony. Okay, campfire. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. Ah, where did that shot come from? Where the hell did that shot come from? Janassa, where? Okay, you're probably going in the right direction. Where the hell are they? There they are. Oh my god, they're level 9. Level 9! And I'm missing! Ooh, 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 ooh. There we go. Good hit, good hit. Good follow-up. Good additional. There we go, archery's up to- Oh, stop using your health potions! Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go, good damage is being done. That health potion is doing- Far too much. Shit, Janassa's down. Balls. No, no. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Ah, ah, jump. I don't want to be a rug. I want to be alive. Come back this way, come back this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you just stand there, you idiot. No, don't pull out the bow. <sighs> Shit. Whoa. Oh, Janassa's back. Janassa, you're back. Come on, fight him. Fight him, Janassa. Yes, Janassa. Yes. There we go, Janassa. Yes, this is how we do it. Completely fairly. I run around distracting them. And you kill them. Come on, get them, 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 get them. Good, good hit, good hit. I've only got 58 arrows. Good hit. Where the hell is this man going? I think I just shot Janassa there. He's down. Oh, God, what a fight. Oh, my God. We did it. 
Let's take the iron arrow. Janassa, you are covered in blood, but good job. Had a fine longbow, septims, superior armor. Anything good down here? I don't think there is anything of use. <sighs> Bloody heck. That was one hell of a fight. We got some, uh, there's some like fire salts here, which we took just before that chaos. Um, fire salts are actually very useful because they can have, um, they allow us to make fire arrows, which are actually a useful invention. Right, into the tomb we go. Ooh, damn, Bleakfall's got hands, I know. I know. It's so goddamn rough. We've got here another campfire. Knapsack. Healing potion. Honey. Honey. Ah, like Winnie the Pooh. Wonderful. Bit of firewood. Another campfire. A little tent here. Sadly, we can't use this tent. This would have been super nice if we could. But I know how things are. Alright, into the temple we go. Right, in we go. We naturally always know that there's two people at the end of here, which we should be able to pick off using our stealth. There we go, that's literally one dead immediately. And a hit onto the second. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You can't see me, I'm stealthy. Yeah, they generally can't see me. Oh, don't put that knife away! Oh, jeez, that could have been dangerous. Oh, but that's more arrows, so that's nice. We needed that. I'll pop on our night vision again so we can actually see. Bunch of skeevers. Nice. We could use that bandit. Septims, thank you. Uh, so yeah, we killed the two people here. No problem at all. That worked out really nicely. Great first shot onto this man. I had a jug of milk. That's not really needed. Um, there's the chest. We can lock pick this. Oh, come on, almost. There we go. Lockpicking experience and 15 fire arrows. That's going to be really useful. Oh, no, I don't need to sleep in the bedroll. Sorry, I accidentally just climbed into the bedroll. It's strange to think that these chambers were once <laughs> oh, home to the dear. ancient Nords. Yes, it is strange to think that these chambers were once home to the ancient Nords. Yes, I didn't realise you had a, um, had a degree in doesn't know when to shut the fuck up. Sorry, I mean, thank you for your insightful... Insightful information there, Janessa. <laughs> oh, dear. All right, onwards we go. This is going to be spooky, chat. Do you think we're going to be able to go through this dungeon without any deaths, chat? That's my question. Connor or mods, if you're watching, start a poll. I don't like the fact that they keep saying the world will end in multiple days. Oh dear. Oh dear. Um, in Bleed Falls Barrow, you go, you normally go left, but I'm noticing there's a right. Oh Jesus Christ. It's an entirely new maze, isn't it? It's an entirely new dungeon. Connor, you're not putting the pole up. Instead of putting the pole up, Connor just said no. So I can't tell if that's. Oh. Save. Shit, what is up here? There's a bunch of dead people here. Like, a load of dead bandits. Which is not a good sign. Money. Restless Draugr. Ancient Nord Drakkar. Oh, this isn't even real money that we can use. Ancient Nord Arrows. Ancient Nord Bow. Are those arrows better than mine? Yeah, let's use those instead. Can I go this way? I can. Now we've got to vaguely remember where we are on the map. So we're currently here. We can try... I think we try the high road. I have no idea where we're going. I hope you thank the person for the 300 donation. I did indeed. That was really unexpectedly generous. Thank you very much, Google user 3000. Let's take their weird foreign money. Some blister wart. What is this expert door? I can hear walking on the other side of that, which I really don't like. Really, really, really don't like. 
I don't like how you kind of glow blue. As if you've been killed by frost damage. Silver ring. More coins. Oh my god. Alright, up we go. Here's a doorway. Potion of healing. Money. Goodness, there's a lot of, like, ancient Nord currency in here. Okay, I'm going to take the preemptive notion to poison my bow. With frostbite venom, because that also does stamina damage. Alright, let's drop down a quick save. Expert iron door. Let's see if we can crack it. Oh my god, we cracked it. Fucking hell, we did it, we did it, we did it. We got one, we got one. There's more. There's more. I can hear it to the left. There it is. It's a white. It's level 13. Janessa, it can't, it hasn't detected us. It's blind. Because if we look at the real light, we are in literal pitch black darkness. Come on, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. You don't know where I am. You don't know where I am. Run! Janessa! Janessa? Janessa? Okay, shit, Janessa's fighting it. Okay, now we're, now we're just involved in this fight. Fight to the death. Janessa, please. Please, Janessa, I believe in you. We've got this, we've got this. This is by far the most dangerous thing we've fought. Whoa, good job, Janessa. More Ancient Nord arrows. Ancient Nord scepter. It's a pretty cool little thing. Right, please tell me there's no more in here. I don't like the corpse over there, Janessa. Why are you walking towards the weird corpse? Oh, shit, it woke up. Janassa! Oh my god, have I got any more poison? We've resisted my venom. Well, luckily, it's distractedly just looking at Janassa instead of me. So I guess this is fine. You know what? I'm going to take all of the cheese I can get, okay? Shit, most of my shots just flew over its head. Oh no, it's, it's moonwalking towards me. Let me. Just stay out of the light a bit. Search the chest. Shit, is it onto me? Is it onto me? <sighs> Fucking hell. You leave you leave me alone. You leave me alone. You leave me alone. Oh, this is genuinely the light we're working with. We'll loot you. We'll loot you. Fire arrows. <gasps> Fire arrows! This is our solution, right? We'll add the lightness back on so that we can actually see what the hell we're doing. Where the hell is this thing? No, that's Janessa. Where the hell it? There we go. Hit it with the fire. Hit it with the fire. Hit it with the fire. There we go. This does 40 damage each. Let's go. Let's go. 30 damage. Nice. And it's on fire. Oh my... Goodness, I'm slightly tired. Yeah, I'm feeling bloody petrified. Wide awake, actually. Oh, my God. Oh, dear. All right, well, we set it on fire. Oh, dear. So that was the one we killed. Oh, my God. This place is terrifying. So this was the other doorway we could have come through. Um... Alright, a bunch of weird stuff. Helmet, we don't need that. Coin purse, though. Take those. For these weird currencies that aren't real, but technically real. What have you got, chest? You had some stuff. Currency, wooden shield, soul gem, scroll of close greater wounds. There may be no enemy more far That's useless. What is around here? Anything? It seems like a dead end. There's someone's feet sticking out the wall. Do you think there's... That just gave me an idea. Not a good idea, but, like, do you think... Like, I mean, of course, glory holes exist, right? But what if it was just feet? <laughs> it's one of the worst, worst, worst things I've ever, like, 
questioned the existence of where, does this keep going? Do you know? I think this is the end. Uh, what have we got down here? Is it literally just a bench? It's a bench. All right, so this is a dead end. Oh my goodness. Um, I think we should still try going this way because it will just give us some lockpicking experience. Oh my god, I almost had that first time. Oh, come on, this way, this way. No, okay, a little bit more this way. Ah, it broke. We've got some lockpicks to spare, though. This is fine. Okay, like here. No, nope, that broke instantly. Okay, so like here. I feel the eyes of angry we did it. spirits upon us. Oh, there we go. And that's lock picking up to 27. Nice. All right, good progress. Good progress indeed. One section of the dungeon complete. Onwards with the next terrifyingly spooky section of the dungeon. Oh my god. Do 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 potion of healing. Where the hell do you go? Iron door. Well we can crack that, no problem. Anyone home? Anyone home? Hello? Friend? 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 I feel like if you just walk and say friend, then they have to be. Friend? Where the hell am I? Where the hell am I in this maze? I've completely lost track. Oh my god, it's a labyrinth. Some levers on a wall. <laughs> I just heard someone get shot by arrows. Okay, that means... The man who pulls the lever trap is over there. Which means this is definitely not the right way, no. Or is it? I have no fucking clue. Oh my god. This is the way I came from. This is the door I unlocked. Okay, right. Let's go this way. And then left. Forwards and left. This way. And then we went all the way up to here. And then there's some levers. Okay, right, let's pull the lever. Okay, the world will end in 84 days. That's good to know. This way, I'm reckoning it's opened the gate that we saw over here. Yes, it has. Fantastic. Oh my god, we're dungeoning. We're dungeoning so hard right now. Spooky. Spooky. Spooky friends, what do we say to the gods of the spooky friends? We say, no, not today. No spooks today, please. Thank you. Oh, search the urn for some ancient Nords monies. Why can I hear spiders? Oh. Whoop. 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 Ooh. Oh, I see. We're on the other side of the gate. We cut that section off. Okay. Um, there's if if that's the case that means there's skeevers down here Which we can kill if they come up the stairs come up here if you dare I've got fire arrows you stinky rats Come on up Come on up rats. Oh, they don't want to come up That's fine. I see how it is. Let me open the gate. Is that is that what triggers you guys to come up? Nope, they want to stay down there fine by me you would dare to trust right, Let me loot this guy Personal letter? Oh, let me guess. Don't go dungeoning, Daddy. Please, Daddy. I own you. You are mine. You'll do as you are told until the debt is paid. You're told to stay here and obey your orders. No more second chances or you'll pay a visit to your sister. Jeez. Okay, no, the poor guy was genuinely just forced to go into this nightmare dungeon. Poor guy. Oh, spelunking. Sorry. Well, thief. Scroll of Fire Rune. Um, we could use that. Oh, I'm peckish. Let me just have a quick munch on this piece of bread. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, what about the vampire quest? Shut up! We're not... We're not doing the vampire quest. Take the soul gem, though. Okay. 
There are rats down here. I know you're down here. Let me just hit a fire arrow down there. That worked. It says light armor is increased, so I guess I killed... Oh, there's a skeever. There's a skeever right there. Well, I just blew up a skeever. Oh, there's a second one. Ooh, I don't want to waste a fire arrow on you, so Janassa, this one's your job. I mean, of course, be careful when fighting it, because there's a chance you just get, like, you know, rat disease. And if that's the case, well, that's just bad. Oh, where's the rat going? To hell! Thank you. Alright, loot you all. Any fire arrows? No, I don't get anything back. Okay, I see how it is. What the hell is this place? What the hell is this? This is just downright spooky. Oh, now this is where we have to fight the giant spider. Ah. Uh, right, well, let's search his skeleton. Bone meal, thank you. Chest. Chest. Money and arrows. Arrows are useful. Our footsteps will echo in every chamber and tunnel. All right, we've got to be careful. So we know the giant spider descends from the ceiling. Now, the giant spider is not going to be hurt by our um, poison, but fire arrows should work. Now, what I'm going to do is I will summon a skeleton because that that should be able to... Um, there we go. Yeah, yeah. We can break this. There we go. All right, we drop down the safe. We can summon a skeleton, chat. Grab the scroll. We don't need a scroll where we're going. We've got Skeletor friend. Skeletor friend, go! Right now, Orcish bow, fire arrow. Let's go. Skeletor friend, attack! Attack, Skeletor friend! Skeletor friend, run, flee! Skeletor, Skeletor friend, fight! Or, or Skeletor friend, just stand there, stand there and awkwardly walk around. Each of those options are available. Oh my goodness, the spiders are just attacking him instead. I mean, hey, that makes my life a lot easier. That would work so much easier. Uh, hey, just go back. Did you say there's corpses in there? And feet? Yeah! Welcome to the greatest dungeon of all time. The foot corpse dungeon. Ooh, ring. Nice. Egg sacks. Very good. We want that. Help me out of here. Dude, you're already cut down. You're looking pretty fine. You did it. You killed it. Now cut me down. Cut me down. Sure, where's the golden claw? Hand over the claw first. Does it look like you can move? I mean, I've got to be honest. It does, actually. It really does. Now let me search you. So much frostbite venom. And we get four fire arrows back. That's really nice indeed. Thank you very much indeed. Lovely jubbly. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Right, um, can I get back up? No, apparently I can't. Let me back up. Thank you. Right, let's loot this egg sack over here for the spider egg. And um, I've got to be honest, it does really look like you can just cut yourself down. I really don't know why you're wanting the additional help, but I guess I can just shoot you, right? Or do I just need to pop the web behind you? It's coming loose. I can feel it. I can feel it too. I don't know how this is freeing you. Okay, let me just shoot an arrow at it. That worked. Hey, Arvo. You fool. You fool. Why should I share the treasure with anyone? <laughs> oh my god. You, you're absolute melon. You're just gonna die. You know that. You're just gonna die. Okay, he's going. He's going. Arvo the Swift. Good luck. Oh, jeez. He's coming back. Oh my god. He actually wants to fight. Ah, Janassa. Janassa, deal with him. He's a bloody lunatic. Stay away from me. Bugger off. Don't hit me. Oh my. Well, that worked, Janessa. Thank you. Golden Claw and his journal, which nobody needs. I'll take that money, though. Splendid. He's too swift. He's too swift. Alright, continue on we go. Oh my god, there's a pathway down there. The normal pathway is just forwards. Why is there a downstairs? Okay, that is so... A sleeping enemy. Trouble is in the air here. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Oh. Oh, a bit lower. Good hit. How was that not enough to kill? Oh my god. Oh my god. Come on, come on, come on. 
Luckily they're zombies, so they're not exactly good with spatial sense, but even so... Bloody heck, you guys are terrifying. Like, a hundred health? What am I meant to do to kill something with a hundred health? There's another one over there. Alright, line it up. Good first hit. Good secondary hit. Good tertiary hit. And good quanto finale hit. Whoa! There's another one. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You don't see me. You don't see me. You have no idea where I could be. Just forget I ever existed. Get staggered by my... Oh, shit. <sighs> Bloody heck, Janessa. This is spooky. Spooky stuff indeed. I think that is all of them defeated now, though. Take you money. All right, let's walk forwards. What did you have? Bit of bone meal. Bit of bone meal. You look like you're dead as well. Iron plate armor. Pff, that would be expensive, but I'm not carrying that. Um, there's the trap that if we stand on triggers, which we don't want to do. Oh, I see there's another way around there. Now, Janassa, we can't loot that body because there's a very high chance you're just going to set off the trap. So instead, we're going to go around the trap. Very intelligently, Janassa. Around the trap. Very intelligently. Very intelligently indeed! Oh, that is so an enemy. A little bit lower. There we go. 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 Come on. We can kill him before he even stands up. We can get him before he even stands up. There you go. You didn't even have a chance. Didn't even have a chance. That's what it's all about. Removing the ability to fight back from your opponents via a series of plentiful arrow shots. Oh dear. There's a trap coming up. There's another one over there. Oh my god, there's another one in front of us. Janassa, this one's only level one, though. This one's only level one. He's a, he's a little boy. He's a little boy. He doesn't know how to deal with us. There you go. You can die. You can die. Oh my goodness. You seem kind of scary, but you're actually completely fine. In fact, both of you guys were just really low level. Okay. Okay, not so bad. Not so bad. We can manage. We can manage the level one enemies. Oh my goodness. Oh, that was a welcome refresher of... Especially because I'm down to 35 arrows. Oh, God. Not good. Can I climb this? Um, no, I don't think I can. I'll just walk on up. Prentice chest. Oh, Ninanor, thank you very much for 10 gifted memberships. People who like salt and vinegar prefer coffee to tea. Well, that's just not true. I love tea. I hate coffee, and I love salt and vinegar. Big fan of it. Oh, there we go. A bit more lock picking, and that's even a level up. Right, Janassa. Is that an enemy? Are you an enemy? Oh my god, you are. Janassa, he's just woken up. Janassa, he's just... Janassa, he's behind you and he's just woken up. And he looks pretty darn angry. Oh my goodness. Don't hit me with that weird angry language. Jesus Christ, he's got big swings on him. Still, we are a brilliant tag team because I'm able to stagger while Janassa's is able to throw all of her shots into a wall as opposed to the actual enemy. That's okay, Janassa. I've got this one. Bomp. You fool. Kneel before me. Chairman Meow. Oh, you should have some arrows on you. Yes, 19 ancient Nord arrows. Brilliant. Okay, let me equip those bad boys. Okay, um... Chat, we are now about to do something exceedingly dangerous. We are going to run to the other side and pull the lever. Janassa, you can you can stay over there doing whatever it is you're doing. But I think if we run to the other side and pull the lever, we sh we're, we're quite fast. So we should be able to do this. Run, run. Oh, my. Ow, my pinky. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm pretty sure like half an arm just went flying there. But it's okay. We'll just chuck the potion bottle. Janassa, I've stopped the trap so you can come along and join us now. Let me try this iron door. Right, iron door. I don't like how spooky this entire section looks, but that's a okay. We crack the door, which... Okay, does this open to the same place? No, this takes us down. Why are there three different routes? Chat. 
Ooh, hello. <sighs> yes. Good kill. Good kill. These ancient Lord arrows are much better at killing our evil enemies. Oh, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Oh. Bit awkward. Right, you're dead. Thank you for my arrow back. Anyone else around here? Nope. No one else wants to fight? Good stuff, good stuff. Take that. Oh, hello, there's an enemy, there's an enemy. Yeet. Sneak, oh, ooh. you don't see me, you don't see me. It's, you don't even see me. Sh ah, there's a restless, there's a restless mage. There's a restless mage. Janassa, now is not the time to do the 360 spins of death. Shit, I just shot Janassa. Oh my goodness. Janata, now is not the time for this. Oh my, don't hit me, don't hit me. Oh, we got him, we got him, we got him. Oh dear. Yeah, magic is no joke. Magic is like almost an instant death sentence in this game. Weak lingering stamina poison is not bad. What is down here? This requires a key. Where the hell am I meant to get a key from? This requires some kind of mechanism to open that I do not have access to. Janassa, calm down, woman. Let's try up here. Bleak falls in a sanctum. Okay, this is probably progressing, progressing forwards. Okay, what do we got over here? Rune books, iron greatsword. More rune books. Is there enemies over here? Chat, I'm going to predict that we might be about to encounter enemies. Why are there so many people wrapped up in bags? Ooh, there's a chest down there. I want to loot the chest. If we if we talk quietly, they won't be able to see me looting the chest. Yes, much better. Loot the chest. It's just gold. That's useless. What have we got up here? Iron helmet. Soul gem. Oh, I'm trying to climb. No, I don't want to climb. I don't like how quiet it is in here. Um, right, let's try this way. My god, why is it so big? <sighs> Shit, you've got so much life. Oh my god, both of them do. Both of them have so much life. Oh my god. Goodness, I'm going to use up so many arrows going through here. Still, I'm able to help a bit. There we go. We've got this one down. Janassa, how are you doing with the other one? We've got it relatively low and kept it busy. Okay, right. Let's just kill him. Okay, I really think Janassa should probably be swapped out for some kind of combat mage. Because I've got to be honest, she just she just misses like 99% of her attacks. She's still good at distracting them though. I won't, I won't doubt that. It's just I feel like she could be better at her job. Anyway, that's more dead. This is two weird doorways. Iron doorway number one. And iron doorway number two. I have no idea which way either of them goes, but we will go the highway. Oh my goodness, your grandma donated 20 gifted memberships. Thank you very much. Mod key, hot keys, mod pack hot key for potions V, B and N. I am indeed aware of them. The fact I'm aware of them does not mean that I don't ignore them. Here it is. This is actually it. I think we've made it. We've made progress, right? Yeah, there's the door. So what's in here? Is this just like another path? Potentially, there's a chest. Ooh. <gasps> just gold. Okay, fine. Fine. Nothing useful. Onwards we go. Leak Falls Sanctum. I don't like that I can hear enemies immediately. You can't see me. You don't even know I'm here. Let me just switch to a fire arrow. Okay, I think we need to kill the archer first. Oh, that was good! Jeez, we yeeted the archer. And let's kill the next one. Come on, sneak attack, sneak attack. You have no idea. You have no idea. He had no idea. 
We got him. You know, give Janassa better equipment. Well, Janassa can just work with what she's given, goddammit. Not all of us are handed everything. Some of us have to work hard. Oh, I see. This is an alternative route through to this area. Okay, cool. So, we need to continue our way this way. Over the bridge. Jeez. It's not nice to be standing on fire. This is a dangerous spot to be. Actually, I kind of want to go down and loot that body because I don't think that guy wakes up, so we should be okay. Because, yeah. Oh! <gasps> Nord Bow of Invenerating deals 8 Magicka damage. That's actually really good. And more ancient Nord arrows. Oh, he's getting up! Janassa, he's woken up! Janassa, the man has woken up. Janassa, please deal with the man who is now wide awake when we specifically asked no one to be awake at this time of night. Don't you know it's your bedtime? Oh my goodness, good job knocking him to the ground. Oh, that was a meaty fud onto Janassa. Like, give him a big... Oh. Poor Janassa. She kind of just gets, like, knocked slightly off by the enemies we're fighting. But still, you're dead. Whew. Take that, take that. And apparently I need a drink. Um, what do we got around here? Draft of Frost Resistance. Is that seriously all I got? Well, I guess that and the arrows. Still nothing too great. Back up we go. Back up we go. Do 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 Woo, first Spiff live stream. Welcome, Jacob Cart. Hope you're enjoying the show. Through the dungeon we go. Through the dungeon we stroll. Making my way through the dungeon. Ah, oh, it's the bit where we do the claw game. Chat. What what's what's the what's the answer? Oh dear, let me just activate it. No, that wasn't correct. Chat, how on earth are we meant to solve the the greatest puzzle in video game history? Oh my goodness. It's Bear Butterfly Owl. Woo, we did it, chat. We solved the puzzle. We did it. Down we go. Down we go into the dungeons. All right, jump on over. Now, we still only have like 80-something days left to solve the game, but this is good because this is where we're going to learn our like first word of power. Wait, I've got to remember to have some ale. A little bit of mead. There we go. That increases my stamina too. Sweet. Yeah, we've got a big fight ahead of us. I'm... <sighs> Fucking hell, bats. Jeez. Um, yeah, we've got a big fight ahead of us. This guy is probably not going to be easy, but if we have a little wander around, I think we should be okay. We've got Janassa here. Janassa can distract. It's basically as long as Janassa can take enough hits for me to plow in fire arrows, we should be a-okay. I do not like the sting of music. Damn, that's quite a sight. I know, it's really quite a sight, but I don't like the music. Up we go. What do we got here? Can we loot his chest? It's adept. Quick, let's crack it. God, I need to crack it before he wakes up. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. He only wakes up when we look at the wall. So we just don't look at the wall. Bugger. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Of course it's right at the top. Whew, that was a challenging one. Imperial Bow of Depletion. Circle of Minor Illusion. Weak fear poison. Okay, potentially we could just make him flee from combat. Frenzy poison. Mm, that's not useful. Okay, chat. Here we go. The greatest fight of our lives is about to begin. We could deal some extra magicka damage, but no, I just feel like... He doesn't really use magic, if I remember correctly. Or does he? No, we'll just use the fire. We'll just use the fire. This will solve it. Um... There's no point using Frostbite Venom because he's he should be immune to poison. Let's try my weak... Let's try my weak... Uh, no, I don't think we should try it. We can fortify Marksman. That'll work. Extra 20% damage. Use the rune. Oh, that's a really good idea, chat. Yeah, because otherwise we, we're just never going to use it. So, 
Pop the rune down. Smart chat. Very smart. Thank you. Thank you, chat. Let's drop down a quick save. Let's learn a word of power. Word learned. Force, unrelenting force. Here comes daddy. Right, he activates the rune. Holy shit! 500 health! What? Right, chug our potion, chug our potion. Potion of Moxman. Oh my god. Okay, right. Potion of Moxman chugged. Yeah, he doesn't have a magic bar. Sorry, Janassa, you're kind of in the firing line a bit. Oh my god. I feel like I'm doing more damage. I'm doing more damage to Janassa than I am to him. Let's summon the skeleton. Skeleton, go! Uh, Janassa's about to get dropped. Uh, Orcish bow, ancient Nord arrows. Oh, fuck, he's after me! Don't you, you... You bugger off, you. I've got him down. He's down to 135. 104. Skelly boy, go! Now's your time. Yes, Skelly boy. You distract. You distract whilst I do the important work. Yes, Skelly... Skelly Bob, go! I believe in you, Skelly Bob. The final hit's yours. No, Janass is stealing it. Of course, Janass is stealing it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. We did it. What a fight. All right, we'll take that. We'll take the fire arrows. We'll take the dragonstone. We'll take your money. Janassa, we going. did it. Let's get going, indeed. Chairman Meow Skeleton. Skelebob. We salute you, sir. We salute you. Chat salutes for Skelebob. The glorious hero we needed when Janassa faltered. What a man. Actually, we should take this. This is worth like 85. It's worth a, It's a bit heavy, but not too bad. Alright, let's go. Back out into the wider world. Four. Skelebob, what a hero. What a hero. Wait, hang on a second. <gasps> There's a chest down there! I see you. Oh, broke it. There we go, success. Thank you everyone for saluting our brave hero. Gold ingot, nice. 150 gold as well. Ooh. Very good. Very, very good. Oh, dear. Oh, accidentally activated our magic favorite slot. We don't have favorite magic. We don't like magic. Except that fire rune, which was pretty rad. Hats off to the person in chat. I don't know who you are. I wish I could give you, like, um... Like a, a VIP badge just for the br amazing suggestion of use the fire rune. Oh, that was so useful. Aeson uh, here says, um, love your content. First time being here, Spiff, forever. Welcome, friend. Yeah, if, like, there's quite a lot of people who are watching this series who have never seen a Spiffing Brit run before. And it's basically just normal Skyrim, except because I've set myself such a ridiculous challenge, I kind of have to exploit the game in order to survive. And that means currently my character has such exceedingly high stealth that provided I'm in a vaguely dark area, enemies just can't perceive me. However, my damage is still hot garbage and if there's an enemy that can see me like, say, a dragon, I'm pretty dead. Goodness, it's a bit dark out here. Oh, what's this? Potion of the Merchant. That's nice. That's really nice. Is this where the cabin is? Uh, wait, no, we're on the lake. So the cabin's still off to our left. Right, let's unvision, well, revision, sorry. Hello, Janassa, thanks for just teleporting here. What have we got here? More weird ore that we don't need. Okay, let's make our way along the coastline back to Riverwood. Maybe stay the night in there, in, um, as opposed to traveling the roads. Yeah, he missed a chest. I missed a chest. It's one chest, chat, okay? We can we can manage the loss of one chest. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. What did it what would it even contain? This is when it contained the greatest bow and arrow ever conceived. Oh, what's this? Camp. No camp. What's, what is this? Oh dear. Oh. Farmore's soldier. Exquisite light armor. Oh, this is good. This is way better than my armor. 
Thank you for donating this. You kind soul. You had some orders. I'm not sure what they were. Wait, hang a second. You were an elf. Thank you for donating this, you horrible bastard. You disgusting abomination. There we go. Much better. Let's equip this. Oh, my armor rating is so much better than 118. Actually, wait. We need to keep our boots on, don't we, though? Um, where's my boots? There we go. It lowers my armor rating, but I just need them for the stealth. Yes! Stealth cat. Stealth cat continues. Chest contains the vampire item. Oh, of course it does. Contains the item you need to kickstart the vampire quest line. I should have known. I should have known. I'm such a fool. Guys, we're going to have to do Bleak Fool's Barrow again. <laughs> oh, dear. Now, right, back to... Oh, look, it's a little hut where we killed the old lady. Little crazy witch hut. This is where the crazy witch lives. We tried to be her friend. And by be her friend, I mean we killed her. And her body corpse somewhere. Well, her body is somewhere around here. I'm unsure as to where. Pretty sure we, like, killed her over there. I mean, it's probably become a pile of bones now. Because we did kill her several, like, last week. Let's look at all the people on the road at night. It's busy. It's made me want to go go actually walk on the main pathway as opposed to my weird weird skedabbling route. That's a bit cold. Oh, but the water washes the dirt and filth off my body. Lovely. Ah. Chat. Some of you are giving me solutions to the game. What the hell is over there? What the hell is going on over there? Um, that looks really dangerous. I don't intend to deal with any of whatever that is. Four people running around with torches is never a good sign. Bloody heck. These guys seem... They're fighting something. Probably something not worth our time. Not at all. Definitely not what we want. Nope, 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 nope. Where's Feindel, Spiff? Feindel was killed in a bandit in incident. Um, and he never survived, unfortunately. No, we can we can actually rest in his house. We can do that. Yeah, let's rest in his... Oh, actually, is the Riverwood Trader open at this time? Because we can hand in the claw to get the money. Hello, you've tidied it up in here now. The Riverwood Trader is everywhere. Hello, what happened in yeah. here? There was a break-in. They stole a dragon claw. What do you mean? This golden claw? There we go. There we go. Give me some money. I'm gonna put this back where it belongs. Come on, give me my money. Give me my money. Give me my money. You've done a great thing for me and my sister. Yeah, I've done a great thing. Now pay me. 150 gold. Thank you so much for taking care of those thieves. That's not very good. Some may call this junk. That's not the best. You've got no nothing good there. Any good armor? Nope. I can sell you some of my crap, though. Take these necklaces and rings I found. Useless things. Um, you can take this Nordic leather armor I have and my Vegabond armor. My old helmet. You can take all of this. You can take this minor illusion. I don't need that. Um, honestly, that's a good bunch of loot we just sold. Really good. We can sell the amethyst as well. And the flawless garnet. And the garnet. And the ruby. Oh my goodness, we're almost up to 3,000 gold again. Very nice indeed. Very, very nice. Good trading. Good trading. Right. Oh, exchange of the coins. Oh, thanks for the reminder. Oh dear. Now he's locked. Okay, he's closed for the day. He's literally staying open so that someone could bring back the claw. Alright, let's go into Feindel's house. F, F in the chat for Feindel. Remember his noble sacrifice. We will see his corpse tomorrow um, for the final burial, actually. We can bury him, I think. Hopefully, if we can find his body. I think we can find his body. He wasn't exactly a big guy. Bro sold a quest item. What? It's it's the... It's the Bleak Fool's... It's the Gold Claw. You don't need the... You don't need it again. You don't need it again. When do you need the golden claw back? You never need the golden claw back. What? What is? What is wrong with me? 
What is what is going on? What is going on here? What is going on for you, friend? What can I do for you? Um help. Let me see if I can line up with a chair. That should fix me. Open to Skyrim. Okay, let's try going out in Skyrim. Does that fix me? Yeah, I think that fixed my animation. Oh my god, right. Sit in chair. Sit in chair. Yeah, sometimes the animation system bugs out if you're in, like, first person or third person. It just depends. It genuinely just depends. Alright, let's have a rest. The circlet. Oh, you need the golden claw for your decorations, of course. The circlet of illusion. Oh, wait, yeah. Do I need this? <laughs> oh, my God. Looks like we can't use the bed. I'm going to guess we can't use the bed. Because if I wait, yeah, I don't rest. <laughs> oh, my God, this is funny. This is funny. I would like a little what fish. Can you, what can I do for you? Pfft, honestly, Janassa. I think, what can I do for myself at this point? Oh, okay, that fixed me. What is wrong with you, bed? I'm just going to say that that bed's cursed and we're going to have to go sleep in the inn. F in the chat for gravity, lads? Yeah. It just works. Who are you? Oh, you're an adventurer. Hello. Morgia. Morgia. What a silly name. Anyway, let's go try to find Feindel, because at least Feindel died near a bandit camp, so we can always just steal their... steal their, um... their, like, beds, I guess. I need to have a chomp on some food, though. Um... Boiled cream treat. Yeah, let's have a chomp on that. Make sure to pull your some venison all the way back. chew as well would be a good idea. So you probably also want some beer, if I'm guessing. A little bit of honey brew mead. Alright, let's go up here. Speedy adventure time! To Feindel's corpse to give it a proper burial. And by burial, I naturally mean... Potentially eat it. You know, if it's tasty. Oh, this is where the bandit camp was. This goddamn horrendous bandit camp. I wonder if we could actually kill them now that we're a little bit stronger. You're not... You're pretty weak, actually. Okay. Okay, I don't think I can actually fight you because you ran away back behind the corner. Actually, maybe I can help Janassa. My archery, di my archery genuinely did just increase to 46. Oh my goodness, this man's using healing potions... Janassa, Janassa, let's run. Janassa, let's run. Let's just walk walk away. Be the bigger man today. Be the bigger man. Actually, maybe I could use some... No, be the bigger man and run. Ow, I just got hit by an arrow. Oh my god. They, they can't hit me over here. They can hit me over here. Let me take the iron arrows. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Okay, climb up. Let's go around. Can I find where their archer is? Here's their archer. Oh my god, there. God, did their, did their bandit genuinely just poison Janassa? I think they did. Right, I'm going to need a poison myself. So um, let's go for a weak poison onto the uh, bandit boss. Or well, bandit outlaw, who's not even a boss, but honestly he feels like one. So now we're doing more damage than his healing potion did. Did I just get another arrow come flying at me? I feel like I did. I'm going to choose to ignore it. How many healing potions does this man have? Jesus Christ. Oh my. Alright, let's uh, use a uh, frostbite venom. Let's go. Where's my arrows? Okay, there we go. There we go. Frostbite venom was successful. He's still got potions! Oh my goodness, this man! Come on. No, go into the leg. He's back up to 100 health! Oh my god. 
Now let me grab Ancient Lord Arrow. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Honestly, I've been asking myself this question. Bandit Outlaw. Right, power attack. Draw it back. Good shot to the chest. There we go. Oh my god. I feel like I put like 700 arrows into this man. Bloody heck. Well, he's finally dead. Let me try and take some of these arrows off of the floor. And um, search this bandit. Iron Dagger of Weariness. Oh, it wasn't poison. He's just got like a weird thing. Okay, well, there's still a mage up there, which we can't really deal with. So we'll leave B for now, and we'll walk by. Orc is OP. Yeah, the Orc is genuinely a terrifying race in this game because they have much more health, much higher damage resistance, much higher health regeneration. Like, if you are playing a close combat individual, Orcs are genuinely super spooky. First time catching Spiffing Brit live. Any CK3 coming soon? Um, there is no... Not CK3 coming soon for the main channel. There is a CK3 members video coming soon. Um, which should hopefully be ready in the next few days before we go away. Um, it is a 100 babies challenge. Which was very silly. And went as about as well as a man trying to manage 100 babies in a family. Could possibly wish for. Um, meaning it was utter chaos. Glorious utter chaos. Right, I think the bandit camp was around here somewhere. Um, maybe... Yeah, here's the bandit camp. Okay, I don't even know if Feindel's body would still be here. Wait, this is the camp. I can remember it. So, we were over here vaguely. Here's where I dropped a bunch of stuff. Feindel's body would be... Logically about here? Somewhere around here. So we're looking for some bones, maybe. Because he generally might have just been reduced to bones. There's the people doing their Talos worship up there. Or at least they were. I don't know if they're still there. Yeah, I think Feindel's bones have deteriorated. I don't think he's still around, chat. Our brave, brave hero. Oh, yeah. I think he's gone. He's gone. He's gone to a better place, chat. Which is, honestly, for the best, I think. Forgot the circlet. I don't care about the circlet. Who cares? Was it Was it a generally a mission? Let's catch a horse. Investigate the ritual site. Was it a miscellaneous thing? Retrieve the ancient circlet of minor illusion. Shit, it was. God damn it. Fine, we're going back for the circlet. We're going back for the circlet. Why can't I use the bed? Why am I unable to use bed? Right, come on, use bed correctly this time. <coughs> that seemed better, but still not necessarily fixed. Nope, that did not rest. Okay, right. That bed did not work. Neither did the previous beds. I am scared, because if I'm unable to sleep, this will be a big problem. Oh, God. Right, well, we came all this way out to see Feindel, and Feindel ain't here. Let's go see if the Talos Shrine is still up and running. Yeah, it is. These guys remember Feindel. You remember him? The brave, brave Feindel. Who came over here and died valiantly. Might be in the wrong place, friend. Yes, I am in the wrong place. Oh dear. Sleep is for the weak. Sleep is not for the weak. Sleep is very much needed. Oh bloody heck. Right, all the way back to Riverwood we go. Where hopefully we can find a working bed. And we can get that circle back. And we can return the Dragonstone. And we can make some cold hard cash. At least pray for the poor guy. I do pray for Feindel. I pray that he is free. Free from the bond of, of unrequited love. And free to explore new wonderful bromances in the bright of tomorrow. Ah, there's some stormcloaks wandering around. What the heck are you guys doing here? Best not cause any trouble Hello, mind guard. 
Oh wait, no, you're just all mine guards. Okay. I'm not sure you belong here, Khajiit. But how many racists are there in Skyrim? Next thing you'll be telling me that Nords are generally disliking of other races. Phew, curious. Oh, like number 4,400. Good notice, chat. Thank you very much for the 4,400 likes. And also, Ben Snow donated $10 to say, ESO Danny did a Skyrim stream some years ago, and the Outmary Dom and at the Outmary Dominion place, one of the soldiers got stuck like you just did fighting him. It was the funniest thing, yelling his taunts. Yeah, honestly, when the AI bugs out and they just start screaming at you as they, like, spin around in circles, it is highly entertaining. Darkside Boss one thank you very much for the generous donation of $50. Love your video, Supreme Lord Spiff. Good luck on your challenge. I'll be watching the video once I'm home from work. Sadly, can't watch now. That's fine. Safe travels home from work. Right, let's see if this sleep roll works. If it doesn't, I might have to restart my game. Uh, I'm going to say that didn't work. <laughs> All right. Let me do a quick um, save. Back out to menu, Sky. and then we'll load back in, and that m should probably fix it. If it doesn't, then we can do a full, full restart of the game. Oh dear! Why well, you got the dragon stone on your back? Because I'm questing. I'm questing. I've just gone and picked this bad boy up. What am I gonna do? Fit it into my backpack? Have you seen how big the thing is? It's giant. It's absolutely massive. Uh. Right, we're back. Sleep in bed. This seems better. This seems much better. It actually lined up. It lined up. We're in the bed. We can sleep. Okay, let's sleep for six hours. It takes us to 6 p.m., but our character is actually really tired. And you don't want to do anything whilst you're tired. Wait, hang on a second. The shop might not be open now. Beans. Right, let's get some more stamina. A bit more health. Point into archery, maybe. Chance of critical damage. Can I help you? Faster drawn. Mm. No, I think I'll save the perks for later. Right, let's get up quick. We got to get into the shop before he closes, so I can buy the circlet of minor illusion back and give it to. Um, who who actually wanted it? Was it Farandel? Farangar? I think it was Farangars. I hope the circlet isn't gone now. I hope it's not gone either. Also, for a moment, ah, I... Goodness. Right, what do you have for sale? Some may call this junk. Me, I call... Circles of Minor Illusion. 2,457 gold! Oh, wait, was it this one? Oh, this one's also 2,400 gold! It was a pleasure. I'm sorry, Farangar. I couldn't find it. Yeah, Farangar isn't going to give us 2,000 gold for retrieving it. Oh, hi, Sold. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Oh, what's this? Let's see here. Looks like that's it. Oh, a dinner invitation. Oh, I like a nice dinner invitation. You've been cordially invited to the dinner and drinks at Blood Chill Manor as an honoured guest. You're encouraged to come early and mingle with other attendees. I mean, this just sounds like a vampire event. I don't want to deal with vampires. Thank you, Sold, for the letter to the weird vampire thing. Are the vampires mocking me? Steal it? No. God, we're not using that. Oh, use the potion of Hagney. Yeah, I'm sure that 20% better prices will make the 2,000 gold more palatable. Bloody heck. I mean, if we look, if we hand it to, if we handed it to Farangar, we get like 500 gold maximum for retrieving it. 500 gold. Do you have any idea how much money we would lose? We would lose. It's just, it's not happening. It is not happening. He can keep his stupid circle of minor illusion. And Farangar will never know. Like, we tried, we were there, we got the dragon stone, so that proves we were in the right location. We just couldn't find it, so he must have got his notes wrong. Must have, must have just, the notes were wrong. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There's some elks over there. Will even be. Who's this? Some random man? Afflicted refugee. Are you finished ogling the grotesque? 
Oh, you're afflicted. I I should be grateful you didn't simply your skin, me. are you ill? I'm one of the afflicted. Oh, you're one of the afflicted. I'd have been dead from this plague a year oh, ago. Oh dear. Yeah, yeah you've got the weird plague thing. Returning to High Rock, our shepherd lost his way, and oh, I fear Harryite's wrath may consume those who remain with him. Oh Cash dear. could tell you more. I just went out of Skyrim as quickly as possible. Yeah, so this man is a weird, afflicted individual. He's got the plague. Um, where have you sent me to? Let me see. Yeah, runoff. Is it runoff caverns? Oh no, here it is. Shrine of Payrite, which is where the plague victims hang out. We don't want to ma mess with them because, like, generally, if we get close to them, we can get the plague, and that would be a nightmare to try and get. Uh, the potion restoration glitch is apparently patched in this. It is. Uh, it is patched, so we have to find other ways to become ungodly powerful, which I'd say we are doing with minor success currently. I'm very happy with our ongoing smithing adventures. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Hello, Mango. Hello, Georgie. Hello, Georgie. Who's a good girl? Who's a good baby cactus? I mean, she's a corgi, but, like, sometimes she's a cactus. Because she's so prickly. And by prickly, I mean she's super soft. Yes, you are. You know, the fluffiest little cactus. Oh, she's a good girl. He's the vampire. He's not the vampire, chat. Sorry for the drunken driving of my character. I'm trying to pet a corgi with one hand and navigate with the other. Oh, Georgie. Oh. Mango's got Georgie swaddled like a baby currently. It's very cute. Very cute indeed. She just wants noodles. <laughs> yeah, she just wants the noodles that I haven't finished eating on my desk. Thank you very much, Psycho Panther, for ten gifts. You know what? I wonder if that. I wonder if the the vampires here. And you, I'll even mark the miscellaneous quest of hunting the vampire. How's that, chat? I swear, if if we do that and the vampire now appears, I'm going to be so incredibly annoyed. Oh dear. Yeah, thank you for the cup of tea. No, I'm okay. I'm okay. Thank you, though, Mango. Alright, over to the tavern we go. Do-do-do-do-do. Uh, There's Heavy Plate Man, but no, you are John Battleborn. Goodbye, Mango. Bye. Chad, say bye to Mango and bye to Georgie. Uh, Georgie's staying. Oh, Georgie's staying. Georgie is actually staying. She's next to me. You ever use a controller in Skyrim? I don't. Mango Come does, though. In. She plays with a controller. Let me know if you need anything. <gasps> Oh my god, I thought it was you. Oh, there once was a hero named it's not you. It's not you. It's not even you. They're not down here. Where? <gasps> here you are! Oh my god, here you are! What do you need, handsome? <laughs> Your flirtatious words do not work on me. Right. Excuse me. Excuse me. Get out of the way. I need to kill this vampire woman. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. Apparently, she uh, she can't find me. Oh my goodness, you silly woman. Goodbye. She's fleeing. She's trying to flee. She went invisible. Oh, oh, oh. Where did she go? Where did she go? She's around here somewhere. I see you. I can see your glowy bloody hands. We got her. See? It's fine. She was a vampire. Four. Right. Cooked beef. Gold. Human heart. You take all this. Sorry, Georgie. Apologies. Apologies. There we go. We got everything. Oh, my goodness. We did it. <sighs> Thank you, chat. Chat for the win. Chat for the win. My God, how many mods do you have enabled? Um, a little, little over one thousand. All right. So now that we've completed that, <coughs> oh, cheer. Sorry, Georgie. Georgie did, in fact, not want to stay in my room. 
Uh, apparently I need to report the vampire's death to the Vigilant of Stendar. So they're just south of Dawnstar, so we'd have to fast travel to Dawnstar to do that. But that's okay, because I reckon for killing a vampire, that's easily like 500 gold. If only it's, if only someone had pointed that out before. If only, Malok, please. It took me to come up with the solution myself, using my own mind, before we could actually um reach that point. So, yeah, honestly, that's just entirely on my incredible ability to play video games. Yeah. Oh my god, the map, this map actually um, shows roads. It shows roads, but it doesn't even show where I'm located. That's the great thing. Um, I've legit been watching this stream for 45 minutes. You've only just realized it's live. <laughs> oh, bless you, friend in chat. Bless you. All right, let's give uh, Farangar his, uh, his tablet. Oh, it's Delphine as well. Hello, Delphine. This is a copy of a much older text. All right, Farangar. Ah, the, the Dragonstone of Bleak Falls Barrow. Barrow. Yes. I am a cut above. I killed a bunch of weird old bone boys. So about my reward. Mm, yes. Okay, I'll see the yarl. I'm sure one of them will pay oh, good. We can get some money from this. My associate here will be pleased to see your handiwork. She discovered its location by means she has so far declined to share with me. So your information was correct after all. And we have our friend here to thank for Powerful recovering it for us. You went into Bleak Falls Barrow and got that? Nice work. Thank you, Delphine. Just send me a copy when you decipher this. Oh dear. Apparently we're needed. Oh god, a dragon's been sighted nearby. You know what I don't understand? Why Delphine doesn't help with this brand new dragon that's been sighted nearby? Like, she can actually fight dragons. Oh dear. Right. So yeah, this is going to be our first fight against a dragon. Are we ready for this? I don't know if we are. I don't even feel like I have enough arrows to deal with a dragon. I guess we don't get a say. Western Watchtower? Yes, my lord. Tell him what you told me about the dragon. Tell me about the dragon. Oh, that's right. Did it do the roar? Did it do the roar? Faster than anything I've ever oh. seen. Is her hair poking out of her hood? Indeed it is. It's attacking the Watchtower. No, my lord. Oh, my God. Just circling overhead when I left. I never ran so fast in my life. I thought it would have come after me for sure. Good work, son. We'll take it from here. Head down to the barracks for some food and rest. You've earned it. Here, let We'd better gather some guardsmen and get down there. <sighs> better gather some guards and get down there. The What's the point of a... What, like, Good. some guards? Why not just summon, like, literally all of the There's entire no levy? Stand on ceremony, my friend. Okay. I need your help again. Yeah, well, give me a better I weapon. To go with and help her I will... I'll help this crazy woman fight a dragon. Elgin. So you have more I have more experience, experience with dragons than anyone else. Anyone else the experience being I ran I from one whilst it destroyed the entire city. The what experience is that? Yeah. As a token of my <laughs> oh my god. I swear he just is. I'm allowed permitted to purchase property. Please accept this gift from my I can purchase arm. property. Seriously. This guy's, this guy's generous reward, okay? Generous reward... Is that I'm able to give him money, and I get some light armor braces, which are useless. Thanks, Yarly Poo. Hello, Stuart. Oh, great! I spent five thousand gold to buy a house. Five thousand gold. Five thousand bloody gold. Well, at least I can train up some lock picking on this. Let me see if I can crack this. Oh, almost, almost. Sweet. Nice. And I think that means I now have a new skill in lock picking. Do do do, because it was 30, right? Uh, you can pick locks without being seen. Okay, that's useless. Oh my goodness. Why is he wearing a napkin? I'm not wearing a napkin. I'm a stylish cat. Okay. What do, um, what do I want, cat? Stop being racist towards me! These guards! Right, hey, Farangar. What have you got for sale? For have you got any great weapons? No. I can sell you my Staff of Skeleton, but I might actually need that. I'll sell you the gold necklace, though. Uh, you've got nothing useful here. Nothing useful here, either. 
All right, let me um, use the alchemy lab. Uh, what do we got? Pff, resist fire. This could be really useful in an attack against a dragon. So I'm just going to make some of these bad boys. <laughs> Damage magicka? Yeah, I can make a couple of these. Just in case we fight a mage. Oh, I accidentally pressed tab whilst exiting. That was not a good idea. It just freezes up the game. Arcane Enchanter. Ooh. We can do some disenchantment here. Um, I think if we deplete the Imperial Bow, it destroys the item, but I think it's worthwhile. Because we don't need this. Because I feel like our, better, our other thing is better. We don't need this either, so this can just give us experience. This is the thing that Yael Belgrave just gave us. We don't need the Iron Dagger of Weariness, but the enchantment experience would be good. And we don't need the War Axe of Frost, but this is good because we can take this enchantment and stick it on a bow, potentially. So there we go. Fantastic. Right, can I... Uh, I already have the thing for that, so I don't need that. Okay, right. And then, if I were to take my Orcish Bow, would I be able to put damage, frost damage on it? Insufficient charge for this enchantment. Oh, I see. I don't have enough soul gem in my inventory. Well, that's fine. That's okay. We need a bigger soul gem. But that is really, really useful now because we can make some better weapons. Get more arrows first. Yeah, I'll quickly do that. I'm going to make my way down to um, the smith because I have... Actually, I was going to say, I've got some fire swords on me so I can buy some um, I can buy some fire arrows. But I realize we're about to fight a dragon. So fire arrows aren't exactly going to be the solution here, are they? <gasps> Stop being racist towards me! What's my reputation at? Reputation unknown. Yeah, I'm just assumed untrustworthy. Jeez. Buy Feindel's house and create a shrine to him. I mean, no one owns Feindel's house now, so it's practically just owned by me. Look rather pale. Hello, Arcadia. Be it's quite a problem back home in oh. oh, Glaucius, thank you very much for your five dollar donation. I watch all your videos. Love your content. Also, you're also are you sure you're ready to fight a dragon? I don't think I am. But part of Part of being Kinuf is knowing to give it a go anyway. To say screw it to the naysayers and just having a having a go. Seeing what can be done. Seeing if sure it might not be the best idea, but what if it was an idea that you could do? Because you just dreamed. You dreamed big. Um I think it's like negative value. Here we go. Iron arrows. Firewood and iron ingot. Ice arrows require frost salts. We definitely don't have those. Lightning arrows require void salts. Cork bulb is useless. Okay, so we need iron ingot. Luckily for me, a certain Janassa has some iron ingots for me. What can I do for you? What can you do for me? I need to trade be some things sure with you. Put it to good use. I will, of course, be sure to put whatever you give me to good use as well. Um... Give me your iron ore, and then I need to Let's chop some go. wood quickly. And then we should be able to make a bunch of iron arrows. Oh, quick chopping. Oh, next mod, have Donkey and his dragon wife as a boss fight. Um, Yeah, no one actually really talks about the fact that Donkey has a dragon as a wife, which technically means Donkey is probably one of the most powerful beings in the Shrek canon. And, like... If you have a dragon as a wife, surely you could just control, like, entire kingdoms. Why does Donkey not just become a dictator? Poll for how many days will be lost to dragons? Honestly, I think the poll should just be, will Spiff die to the dragon? Because I might not. I might prove all of you wrong. And I might be the best dragon fighter in the world. We just have no way of knowing. Right, here we go. Iron arrow time. So what's the highest value thing I need to make? Oh, gold necklace. Yeah, I might as well make that. That gives me a bunch of experience. Let's just make some iron arrows now. 
Splendid, there we go. Smithing is increased to level 20. <gasps> Skills. Level 20 smithing. Perks. You can create steel and lever items. We can finally make steel arrows. Why did I just bother making iron arrows? Now I need to go cut some more logs. Oh my god, cut some more logs. Oh my god, steel arrows. Chat, you have no idea how happy I am. He dead, boys. Goodbye, Smith. Chat, stop being... Stop being so negative. Okay, if you believe in Spiff, give the video a like. If you don't believe in Spiff, give it a like anyway. Opinions are a lie. Nothing matters. Only I matter. <sighs> Enough wrong video lol. Okay, good point. Good point. Mm. Okay, some new firewood. Where Janassa, hello. You've got my steel what ingots. What is it? You've got my goods on me. Give me my I steel ingots. Steel ingots, thank you. Six steel ingots. Nice. Are you ready? Are you ready, Janassa? We're about to go kill something big. Like real big. Alright, Blacksmith's Forge. Value low. Value high? Oh, I can make an Imperial bow myself. It's pretty fancy. But no, steel arrows, here we go. Bam. 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 This actually levels us up. Not too badly. Yeah, we leveled up again. Not bad. Not bad at all. We're level 13 now, so we might be able to, like, just have a rest at our little camp. That might not be a bad idea. Our orcish bow is up to doing 27 damage now, so if we equip that, and our 155 steel arrows. We are in such a good spot. Alright, I don't think we should fight the dragon at night. I think we should rest on my little camp bed. Get ourselves yep. prepped for the following day. I like that man who just said, yep, and just disappeared. Oh, oh you can make a lot for cheap. Yeah, I mean, the issue is they don't really have any sell value. Like, I think iron arrows sell for literally zero gold. So it's not, not even necessarily worth making them for money. But definitely... Um, I know in base Skyrim they can sell for more, which can make them useful in terms of money making in base Skyrim, but even then. Alright, down we go. Make it quick. You seem quite spicy. You were excused. Uh Khajiit, do you have anything useful? Khajiit has wares. If Why does time not pass when crafting things? I don't know actually. Um you can you can ask the uh the mod makers for that. Blessed bun hunting bow. <laughs> I was gonna say blessed bunting bow. Goblin totem staff? That seems absolutely insane. Um, Gloves of the Pugilist. Uh, nope. Okay. All of this seems useless to me. Burden poison. Reduce enemy movement and attack speed for 30% by 60 per for 60 seconds. That's pretty good. Um, I just kind of feel concerned that Poison here wouldn't work. Silence poison could be really good though. Weak command poison. Jeez, these could be really powerful. Um, do we want to try a weak burden? I mean, it could be effective. I just don't know if it would make a difference. Corrosion damage actually would work. Reduce enemy's armor rating by 100 for 60 seconds. It costs a lot of money, but I genuinely think it's worth it. In return, we can sell our potion of um, water breathing, because we're never going underwater. And, jeez, how many fire resistance potions do I have? I can sell some of the old ones, because I don't need all of them. Um, yeah. Let's get to work. The potion of armor resistance doesn't seem like it's actually that useful, but trust me, like lowering an enemy's armor by 100 massively improves the amount of damage we can do to them. What day are we on? Uh, I'm not sure. We can sleep and find out. Um, I think we've still got 80 days until the world ends. So we're not in too much of a rush, but considering how 
little progress we've made in terms of the main quest line, I am a little bit concerned. We really have to like pick up the pace here. Alright, over to my little campfire. There's a little battle born farm, super little, super cute little place. Um, and then I think it's the yeah next little section over. Let me make my way up here. Around we go. Over to my hidden campsite up here on the hill. Splendid stuff. Lovely little area. Nobody seems to notice or mind. Is my campfire still here? No, my campfire's gone. That's fine. Um, I can still use my bedding, so. I'll crawl into this and sleep until let's go for like this is 4am let's go for like 5am I think bright nice and early is a good time to start something noticed you whilst you're sleeping great so there's an enemy nearby oh shit that's a bear that's a oh it's a wolf it's, it's a wolf and a bear what in the fresh hell it's a level 12 bear Shit, my shot missed anyway. Why can't I hit the bear? The bear has no perceivable form. Janassa? Can I help you? Can I help you? Yeah. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna say, Bear, I don't think you have a physical form. I don't think you do. I think we're fine. I think this can be friend bear. Let's just have a chomp on some food. A little bit of cooked beef, that should do it. And then uh, chug of mead. Yeah, you know what, bear? I think we can leave you be. Goodbye, friend bear. Chat, say goodbye to the bear. Goodbye, friend bear. There we go, he's just... He's fine. We don't need to worry about him now. Now we've got to worry about fighting a bloody dragon. Oh, oh chat says upgrade her gear so she doesn't get fainted. Well, give her some boots. I haven't really got anything for her. Could she use any of this? Stuff of the skeleton? Okay, let's see. Janessa, um, do you want to trade some what stuff? Do you need? Um, do you want to try these boots? What about this bow? And if you take the ancient Nord arrows, they'll do some more damage for you. What about um, this elven weapon? That could be better than... Yeah, that seems to be your better weapon now. Okay, cool. There we go. We've given her a better weapon. That's, that's progress, chat. Don't say I didn't give her it. I didn't even level up. I did level up. I just didn't put a perk point in. Don't worry. We can do that later. And by later, I mean right now. Uh, leather armor can be more effective. Let's get specialists so that we get a 25% armor bonus. Stamina re regeneration when you're wearing three pieces of light armor. Yep, this is really good. Armor weight doesn't slow you down. Athletics, you move faster. Yep, okay. So what is my armor rating now up to? 145. Very good indeed. Very, very good indeed. Right, let's go fight a dragon chat. Completed investigating dragons. How did I do that? Oh, I guess that was the first quest. I've still got to meet her near the watch. I was like, did, did the guards kill the dragon themselves? Do I have to do anything now? And it's like, yeah, yeah, I still do. I still got to do stuff. All right, over we go. Oh, actually, I realize I could give, I could give Janessa like um, a backpack and then she could carry more stuff. That'd be actually a really good idea. I uh, do remember you can now make steel ingots with one iron ore and one corundum ore. You have a good amount of corundum doing nothing in Janessa. I do, I just need some iron ore now and then I can just pump out steel ingots. And then we should be able to smash out our smithing level. 
Do you have fire resist po potions? Of course I have fire resist potions. I can resist 17% of fire damage now. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Oh Jesus Christ. Hello. Have you got something for me? Oh. Got something I'm supposed to Your hands only. Letter, letter from a Yarl. Nice. I'm moving up in the world. Looks like that's it. Okay, cool. I thought he was just going to give me a letter which was like, I've got a letter for you. And just a letter that says, you're dead. <laughs> you're an idiot. Oh, hello. Maik oh, it's Maik the liar. Maik knows why farmer are blind. Oh. It has nothing to do with his weapon disappearing. You seem interesting. Hello. Good morning. Oh, jeez. How's travel these Most days? Most of the Hold's fighting men committed to the war. There are fewer swords to keep the road safe from brigands and wild This is true. This is known. Mm -hmm. This is known. All right. Okay. Look at the poll. Um, let me take a look at the poll. Sometimes I choose not to. Um, does Janassa have fire resistance potions? Uh, uh, no. Some budgetary sacrifices were made. I won't lie. And I'm afraid Janassa was involved in the necessary list of financial budgetary limitations. Repair your armor. No, my armor's fine. Like, um, the way the armor works is it's exquisite, and then when it's not exquisite, it drops down to superior, and it loses, like, a little bit of armor rating. Um, so the percentage is basically how close it is to dropping down to the next level. So it's not too... It's, it's not bad. When, the, when it drops down, it doesn't break the armor. The armor is still working. It's just not quite as good. But it's a difference of like five armor rating, and let's be real. Um, if I'm gonna get killed by a dragon, I'm gonna get killed by a dragon. Now I'm gonna drop a save down here. What day is it? 26th of last seed, so general stats. Nine days have passed. And on the tenth day, he slayed a dragon. Let's give it a go. Look, we've got we've got friends here. We've got friends here. Yeah, no signs of any dragon. It does, I just a little bit. Bad, we've got to figure out what happened. We we have. Dragon is still skulking around somewhere. Let's give it a go, Irolef. Let's spread out and look for, and look for clues. Let's go, Scooby Gang. Okay, right, so the dragon's gonna come in from over there. Um what is the first shot we want to get onto it? Probably the um Oh hello guards. Oh, we've got quite a few guards here. Still here somewhere. Get back, it's still here somewhere. Okay. I'm going to apply the necessary poison. There he is. Look at him. Jesus Christ, look at him. He is a spooky boy. Right, inside we go. Um, corrosion poison. Let's lower his uh, armor. Jesus Christ, this is on fire. Uh, Janessa, you know what to do. Holy moly, he's got 900 health! Oh my god. Land, 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 land. Okay, he's just lying there. That's fine. Oh god, I think we hit him with our poison. That's weakened his armor, which means all other shots now will do more damage. Okay, can we do more normal poison? There we go. I've hit him with some normal poison. We can do this. Don't resist it. He didn't resist it. There we go. He's on 455. We've got this. We've got this. Provided we have six additional friends, we can do this. Okay, he's he's down. He's got one third of his health left. Oh my god, he just fired out some flames. Uh, what other poison do we have? Weak magic poison. Let's hit him with a frostbite venom. Oh, and actually, potion of fire resistance. Ah, uh, fire resistance. Chug, 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 chug. Chug, chug, chug. Where the hell is this dragon? Where the hell is it? Oh, there he is. Yeet. Good poison. Good poison. Oh, my goodness. I genuinely think our armor poison made all of the difference here. Otherwise, we would have been so screwed we got the final hit. No. Dovakin is... Oh, we did it. Oh my god, we did it! Why don't you ever use your dragon shouts? Because I don't have them yet! This is where I get them. Hello. Hello. I'm going to absorb your soul. Thank you for the steel arrows, stormcloak bolts, iron arrows, gold, garnet, 
I'll take the scales and bones, why not? I absorbed it. I did it! I can now do unrelenting force! I learnt it! I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> Janassa, you're kind of ruining my cutscene experience. Dragonborn, what do you mean? Back from when oh. you were still dragons in Sky the dragons would dragon slay the... Slay yes, yes, we can slay the dragons, them. yes. That's what you do. I absorbed its power. Absorbed the dragon's power. I did, I think you may be right. One way to Try to shout. To legends, only the dragonborn can shout without training. Oh, okay. Right, let me give let me give the shout a try. Let me give the shout a try. Foos! I did it! I summoned the foom! Ooh! Alright, Janassa, I need you to carry some of my crap. What was that? Um, I feel a new power coursing through my veins. Yes, Janassa, that's the spirit. Janassa loves murdering people. Yes, Yarl Balgraf will want to know what just happened here. Um, let's trade some things. I need you to hold on to all of these bones that I've found. There we go, dragon bones. Splendid. Oh dear. Here's a dead dragon, and that's but I don't need some. There we go. Fantastic. We did it. We can now foos. Foos. Now we get uh, and eventually we'll get to Fusrodar. I think um we're two missions away. We need to go up to see the Greybeards, and then after that we can we can get Fusrodar. Is there a chest up here? I feel like there is. No, there's nothing up here. Okay. Curious. Curious indeed. Still, we've now tidied up this place, so it is back to um, back to White Run we go to um, tell them the good news. We killed the dragon. Foos. Foos, foos, foos. You know what? That's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Take the bones. I've taken the bones. I've taken quite a few of the bones. Not all of them, because it's, they're just bloody heavy. I don't want to carry them around. Now, um, the reason that fight was so easy is due to the way armor rating works in the game. So, as a way to like mitigate um, damage, the armor rating can go... If, if armor is positive, you take less damage. But if your armor is low, uh, you take, of course, full damage. And if your armor is negative... What the fuck? Oh, it's the Greybeards shouting for Doberkin. That's good. That just means they want to say hi. Um, and if you are you have negative armor, you actually take an increased amount of damage. So my reckoning is that Dragon probably only has like 50 armor. And then by hitting him with the Corrosion, it, his armor drops to negative 50, which means he probably takes like two times as much damage. Or at the very least, he got down to zero. Um, so yeah. Damn, that was effective. On the 10th day, we killed a dragon. And we've still only got like 80 days to go, but we're off to a cracking start. So, yeah, let's hand this in. Go up and see the Greybeards and um, learn the next Fusro. Oh, hello. I help my mother, Arab, with the hunt. We bring much meat the orcs are just wandering around, as always. 83, day li 83 days left, pretty short. Yeah, I think that's probably about right. Ah. <sighs> Already have been told you're not allowed here. Let's get going. Nope, Do 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 do. Up uh, to Dragon's Reach we go. Hello, who are you? Something? Oh, you're a battleborn. Um why is... out of trouble, Kaji. Why are they so racist to me? Stay out of trouble, Kaji. Are you friendly to me? Out of my way, stranger. Out of my way, stranger. You're not even friendly to me. I could give you ten gold. I could give you money. All right, then. Why don't you want... Okay, you know, actually I should, because it'll give me the gift of charity, which I can then use to sell these dragon oh, bones. Thank you. Divine yeah, bless divines you. bless my kind heart indeed. I'm going to use your charity gift to give me more money for selling my bones. All right, up the stairs we go. Right into Dragon's Reach. Ah, on the tenth day of Yarmus, Biff just said to the Fus <laughs> Rodar, 
Anyway, hello there, my good friend. You're finally here. Who are you talking to? We oh, the Yarl's brother. You. My brother needs a word with you. Oh, your brother needs a word. Hello, Yarl Belgriff. So what happened at the watch? What happened to the watcher? Was the dragon there? Dragon there? He was there. Um, but we killed it. I knew I could count on Irelef. Yeah, Irelef did it. But there must be more. But there must be more to it than that. Um, turns out I may be something called a dragonborn. Dragonborn. What do you know about the dragonborn? Also, wash and bathe. Yep, we will do. When I killed the dragon, I absorbed some kind of power from it. The gray beards yes, the greybeards were something. Okay, yeah, we have got 83 days left. The greybeards. The the yes, they're up on the throat of the world. High on the slopes of the throat of the world. Mm. The what do the greybeards want with me? To be uniquely gifted in the voice. The ability to focus, oh, your vital focus my vital essence into a, a thum. Thum. Or shot. A thum, indeed. If you read Greybeards. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Of course, Preventus is going to be like, oh, what a bunch of Nord nonsense. Summoning you to high said Preventus. Said, call it Nord nonsense. Centuries, at least. Not since Tiber Septim himself oh. was summoned when he was still Talos of Atmora. Yeah, that's right. I'm Starborn, chat. I'm Starborn. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend? Here? Nord nonsense? How could you call it Nord nonsense? I don't see any signs of him being. I'm actually Cat. This is Cat nonsense. Kajit nonsense, I'll have you know. Why, you puffed up ignorant. These are our sacred traditions to go back to I am Dragon Cat. Prongar, don't be so hard on Avenich. I meant no disrespect, of course. It's just that. What do these greybeards want with me? Yes, what do these greybeards want with me? Hmm, yes, curious. Is it because I'm so dashingly awesome and handsome and just the coolest being ever? Chairman Meow. It, they did hear it. If they think you're dragonborn, who are we to argue? You are not to argue. You'd better get up to High Hrothgar immediately. There is no There's refusing. No refusing the summons of the Greybeards. It's a tremendous honor. It is indeed a tremendous honor. I will go up there. I envy you. You know, <sighs> I climbed the seven thousand steps again. I made the pilgrimage once. Did you know that? Ah. <sighs> Hi, Hrothgar is a very Yo, Bogov, can you stop like reminiscing and just give me my goddamn prize for killing a dragon? Troubles of this world. Mm, yes, yes, very disconnected. Yes, 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 yes. notice what's going on down here. They haven't seemed to care before. No matter. Go to High Hrothgar. Learn what the Greybeards can teach you. <sighs> can I watch from the start somehow? Yeah, you should be able to on uh, YouTube. They have like a DVR that allows you to scroll back. In time for the stream. Yes, I've done a great service for your city. Now please give me something good. Blade of White Run. Okay, and I've also. I also get Lydia. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to. We are honored to have you as Thane of our city, Dragon. Oh, there we go. Fantastic. So I've been made a Thane. We still have a city to defend. Oh, okay, right. What is this weapon I got? The sword carries the embers of the Skyforge. Each hit deals an additional 15 points of fire damage. Hot damn, that's a good weapon. Janassa, do you want this? Do you want this crazy good weapon? Where are you even at, Janassa? Let me pull out my bow. You should come over. Where are you located? Somewhere. Oh, there you are. Janassa, hey, I've got a super cool new weapon for you. Um, I have something what to trade. Need to take take uh, this sword, please. Blade of White Run. I can't give you. Don't have enough space. Um, give me one of the bones, and I will give you the Blade of White Run. There you go. You look way cooler with that. Super need cool. Farangar. Come to Dragon. Hello. To the I don't suppose you want to buy Dragon Bones. Do you, would you like dragon bones? You don't want dragon bones. You strike me as the kind of guy who would. You really strike me as that kind of dude. Like, you're exactly the kind of person who would love dragon bones. Oh, check your reputation. Yeah, my reputation is... Um, actually, it should go up. Oh, no, it's, it's still unknown. I'm still unknown. Yeah, the problem is, as a Khajiit, with unknown reputation, people just still presume you're a thief. Hello, Lydia. Jarl has appointed me to be your house, Carl. Hello, it's Lydia. To serve you. Um, that's that's wonderful. 
What does the house call do? As my fane, I'm sworn to your service. I'll guard you and all you own with my life. Ah, very impressive. Chat, should we um Farewell. Should we hire Lydia? Well, should we get Lydia? I don't know. I I do like Janassa. She's a fun fun little adventuring companion. Um I'll let you guys choose, but I think we we could keep Janassa. I don't think Brick reads chat. No, I do indeed read chat. Um it is indeed something I do. What a nice, lovely day it is outside. Why are all these people standing out here? What the hell is going on? Oh, are these guys being celebrated because they slayed a dragon? Oh, I see everyone celebrating because we slayed a dragon together. This is very jazzy. What's your business here? Why? Why are they still so standoffish? I help slay a dragon, and everyone's over here like, yes, everyone but you is happy. Oh my god. Lydia has better armor. Why not both? Both is better. I don't think we can take both. Bellafor, do you want my shitty dragon stuff? Can I knock? Are you in Bellafor? No answer. Okay, Bellafor is not in. What about you? Would yes. you like Take Would you like my bones? Um, bones? No, you don't want bones. Uh, victory reef. <gasps> you? Oh, I got a reef. I got a reef. Oh my god, I'm so cute! Good to see you. Get to see me indeed! You buy some produce from Carlotta's stall. Most oh my god. Life's hard enough with all these men propositioning me. This is great. Hello. Fresh from the wild. I don't suppose you'd oh, like... Bit of this you'd bit. like, um, some dragon bones. No, you don't want it. Uh, could you actually exchange some coins? There we go. Take all of my dracker. Oh, 85 septims I get Good for hunting. that. Ah, eh, not bad, not bad. Bellafor, can you go back to your shop? Huh? Do 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 do. Do you need help with anything? Now that I there's nobody to hunt down the bandits. What with all I'm sure you can handle some bandits. Oh, Bellafor wants me to kill some bandits. I can actually do that. Thank you. I will not forget this. Oh, that's actually quite nice. Okay. Bellafor wants me to kill some bandits. Bellafor, can you go to your shop so that I can sell you? Well, so that I can buy stuff from you. Okay, there we go. I think he has gone back to his shop now. Oh, sell them to the alchemist. Oh, okay, good idea. Thank you, chat. All right, if I... Do, 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 do. Gift of charity is still active, so let me do a quick wash and rinse. Don't mind the cat that just got s stripped naked in the center. Child, run away! I don't have any clothes on. Flee! That's much better. Flee! Splendid. Ah, right, into the alchemy shop we go. Hopefully she'll buy my, my dragon bones. I'm carrying too much to be able to run. Oh, I'm not, I'm not. I'm fine. I guess I didn't have my backpack on, which means for a moment I'm not. Yeah, that makes sense. Hello, Arcadia. Right, um... Welcome. What, what can, can I, I do for you? you? What have you got for can sale? Tell me. Would you like to buy Dragonbone? 165 gold? Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Do you want to buy... Uh, my fire resistance potions? Yeah, 10 gold? That's not really worth it. Okay, um, I need to... Where's Janassa? Janassa? Janassa, you... Janassa, you have the rest of my bones. Where the hell is Janassa? There you are. Janassa, hello. Can I help you? Um, I'd like to trade what something you with need? you. Give me the bones. Right, bones, bone scales. Thank you. Let's go. Let's go indeed. Right, back in we go. Got a pretty full stock of potions and alchemy reagents. Spiff say uwu. No, I won't. I refuse. I have several so <laughs> right, What have you got for sale? Uh, please take my bone woman. 
Oh, splendid. That's some good money. That is some good money. We're up to 4,000 gold. Splendid. Splendid, splendid, splendid stuff. Mm hmm. Mm hmm, indeed. And to White Run we go. Goodness, we're in a really strong position now. I think, um, let's go deal with those bandits that Bellifor want us to deal with. Whereabouts was it? Was it Valheim Towers? Kill the bandit leader at Valheim Towers in Whiterun. Okay, let's do this. Yeah, we can do that. As it's actually... Is it en route to the Greybeards? High Hrothgar is up here. So Valheim Towers is there. It is kind of on our way. But then how do we get back from High Hrothgar to Whiterun? That's kind of like nigh impossible. I, I think it's worth doing this mission because we'll get some money from it and then we can make our way back and hopefully buy a horse. What do we got? Tree for heirloom? No. I don't think so. Alright, onwards we go. You there. Oh, We're you there. For someone in white run. Oh. We'll pay good money for information. You'll pay good money for information. Okay, who are you looking a for? A foreigner in these a lands. A foreigner in these lands. It best not be a goddamn cat. You best not be another one of these cat racists. We will pay for any information oh. regarding her location. Any information regarding her location. We are location. Not welcome here in White Run. So we will um. be in Rorikstead if you learn anything. Okay, right. They're going to be off in Rorikstead. They're looking, of course, I'm pretty sure for the woman who works in the tavern. Um, but we don't need to do that. That's not a quest line that we need to worry about. It means we have to go to Rorikstead. And who there wants to go to Rorikstead? Of all places. Smith buy a backpack for Janassa. I can just make one, I think. Um, which isn't too bad. That's probably what we'll do. Because we have the ability to craft. Let me create item. Uh, rough bedding, fur armor, fur plates, fur cloaks. Where is it? I forgot the ability to make a backpack. Okay, well, we can buy one from um, the merchants down here at least. Let me jump on up. Little bit of parkour cat in my life. Better than Assassin's Creed. Oh, yes. That's right. All right let's have a chat with you, Kizjit. You should have what I'm looking for. This one. Take a look. Well, you should at least have one backpack. Backpack with brown fur. Dark leather backpack. Um, 75 carry weight. Reduces. Hinders your movement. Reduces your maximum magicka and stamina. This just seems terrible. Why would you want that? Hunter backpack. We could get a second one. But I think we just get a cheap one. Just get these standard leather backpacks. They, they just make sense. I right, wouldn't we'll have that. Uh, you haven't got anything of crazy value that I want to nab. Potions. Nothing crazy here either. And... Just some cooking recipes. Brilliant. Alright, uh, Janassa, I've got a gift for you. Um, I've got a backpack. It is the least you can do. Exactly. I've paid you 500 gold. You can at least enjoy this backpack. There we go. Look at that. Now she can carry more of my crap. Um, also, I should probably put my helmet back on now that we're done with trading. Um, there we go. Look at us. Glorious battle cat. Let's go slay some bandits. Get some skooma. We're not buying skooma. Skooma's dangerous. Skooma's like so dangerous in this game. Don't do drugs. Don't do drugs, cats. Fellow cats watching. Cool cat says no to drugs. <laughs> Chairman Meow strongly opposes um, drugs. Um, <laughs> 83 days until Alvin wins. I know. Actually, I think it's down to 82 now. Actually. Um... Either way, not the best. Do 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 do, do 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 do. You know, it would be great if this amazing mod pack just had like my idiot son Rufus mod. If you don't know what the mod is, it's in one of my videos. But it just adds a follower that you can never dismiss, and it's just terrible. Like he'll just activate traps. He can't be killed. He's called Rufus. Jesus Christ. Spooky. Oh, it's catnip. Okay, fine. That's that's the one drug that Khajiits are okay with. 
Catnip. Tasty, tasty catnip. Wait, you know what? We can get a revenge on the sorcerer here. We can. Let's do it. Oh, my God, what the hell is going on here? Um, I don't know who's bad. Bandit outlaw? What? Oh, Lydia. Lydia, I can help you. Let's... Let, we're genuinely assisting Lydia. Lydia's not even our follower. She's just out here adventuring on her own. But... Oh. Jeez, oh, Lydia. Okay, that's a bit racist. Die orc filth. Bloody heck. I don't know how you'd be okay with um with me, but... Honour to you, my fame. Thank you. Um, Jeez, she's a bit intense, isn't she? Uh, fatigue mace. That's actually worth taking. And then a honey nut treat. Thank you. Lydia, are you sure this was an evil man? Kind of just looked like she was beating up an orc out of weird racism reasons. But... Who am I to judge? Who am I to judge? I think Lydia might be racist, chat. I genuinely think she could be a racist. Okay, now there's a necromancer standing right there. Who last time we tried to kill, just one hit us. So, I'm thinking... What if we just hit him with a fire arrow from, like, over here? There we go. See, look. She's summoning some skeletons, but I get the feeling she doesn't really know how to deal with me. Because I'm, like, way over here, yeeting fire arrows across the map. I'm using the spontaneous artillery barrage strategy. There we go. Yeah, she's losing health. A bit more health lost. A bit more again. Okay, I can probably hit that skeleton. Okay, skeleton dead. Where's the mage? Okay. There's another skeleton there. You can probably die. I missed you entirely. Right, let's try and close in on the mage. Oh, there she is, there she is. Oh, oh my god! Whoa, my health! What the hell is this? Oh my god! Oh my god! That was a single ice bolt! Quick. Potion, 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 potion. Uh, the hotkey didn't work. The hotkey didn't work. Janassa, assistance. Assistance. Holy moly! Half my life just gone. There she is, there she is. I see her, I see her. She's low on health. She's low on health. We almost got her. We almost got her. Whoa, okay, final fire. Arrow. Final fire. Arrow. You're about there. She just used a healing potion. Shit. Steel arrows. Um. Um. Uh, quick potion of healing. And then let's use some frostbite venom, I guess. Um. Yeah, frostbite venom. Oh my god, Janassa just got her! Janassa, you just straight up killed the... You did! Oh, Janassa, you're so much more powerful. You're so good. You're so, so good. Thank you very much, Janassa, for the assistance. Good stuff indeed. Right, up here we go. To the weird little necromancy tower. Oh, to the ritual stone. There we go. That person genuinely... Almost one-shot us. Consumes all magicka, summons an undying ghost for 60 seconds. The ghost attributes equal to twice the amount of magicka consumed, up to 600. So, I guess we can summon a ghost, but it's useless. And we could use the ritual stone. Um, can summon or reanimate one additional minion, but their summoning and reanimation spells last half as long. Ah... So, because, of course, they've all been... The stones have been balanced. The ritual stone now kind of sucks. Yeah, that's not useful at all. That's a real shame. It's a big shame. Still, the necromancer that defeated us is no more. And Janassa the goat once again proves her power. Ninanor donated 50 knocks to say, I'm going to England soon to buy Yorkshire tea and pork pies. And also visit my boyfriend and take him back to Norway. Well... 
honestly, enjoy your time. Um, and also, enjoy dragging your boyfriend off to Norway. I'm sure he'll have a grand time. Uh, thank you very much for your donation. Oh, wait. We need to use our Fus Rodar on our next... Well, oh, just our Fus, actually. It's not quite as powerful. On our next enemies. Because um, that would be cool. Do, 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 do. How OP is the Ritual Stone? Yeah, there we go. We just checked. Basically not at all. So it would allow you to, say, have two skeletons, but all skeletons would last for half the amount of time, which is 30 seconds, which just isn't good at all. Yeet. I can't believe I just actually wasted poison on that. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. You don't notice me. It's like I'm not even there. It's like I'm basically not even there. Oh god, you've just gone. Well, that's fine. We killed one, one elk. Thank you for the antlers. I should take the hide. An hour and a half. Well, half. Yeah, an hour and a half passes whilst I do that. Or you guys are just going to get stuck in the water again? That would be great if you. Oh, you survived. What about you? Oh, you survived as well. Oh, great. Fine, you live for today. Okay, now there are definitely some evil bandits up here, the kind that we want to kill. Um, like, look, there's one definitely up there. There's one guarding here. But we should be able to get them, no problem. Oh, Poop Scoop offers you his protection. Thank you, Poop Scoop. 2000 for the $10, for £10, pounds, sorry. <laughs> Thank you for offering your protection in this trying time. Ooh, Frenzy Poison. How do you, do you know, this is a really good idea. Oh. Oh. Why run calls on her feigns? What is this? Read the message. Uh, keeping the pieces become increasingly difficult with fewer patrols on the road. Bandits and other outlaws have become emboldened. We've gotten words that clan raiders have been amassing for our assault. We ask that you as a fane of White Run join us in defending our lands. Um, awaits your arrival at White Watch Tower, which guards the road to the east. Okay, so we've been summoned to Whitewatch Tower which guards the road to the east. Where on earth is well, if it's to the east, I guess it's over here somewhere. Okay, cool. Let's um Where on earth is that located though? Okay, it is over here. To the east, that's to the north. Oh well. Anyway, I put Frenzy Poison on this bow, I'm pretty certain. Yeah, I did. So my plan is, if I can hit that man up there, he's an archer, he's then going to, you know, get frenzied. And there we go, now he's going to just start attacking all of his friends. So we don't have to worry about it. Come on, don't attack me, don't attack me. There we go. There we go, come on, attack your friend. Attack your friend, do it. Why did you just put your bow away? Oh. Or you could just do that. Yeah, you could just do that instead. Right, well, you're going to die now. Yeet! Oh, what a good shot. Dead cat. Dead cat. Right, there's evidently a bandit there. You are so a bandit. I'm not even going to have to ask questions. Level 14 bandit highwayman! Well, good thing I've got two potential assistants here to help with what we're about to do. Let's add some poison to my bow. Add some poison. Got to show. Shoot. There we go. Poison. There we go. Ow. Ow. Don't. Ow, 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 ow. Stay away. Stay away from me. Stay away from me, band. Ah, ah, ah. Stay away. Stay away. Piss off. Oh. You did actually stop. Ooh, 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 Janessa, I'm gonna need some, like, better assistance here. Whoa, oh, 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 my limbs. My safe, comfortable limbs. I prefer them attached to my body. Whoop! No! Oh, beans. Oh. <sighs> Well, we lose a day. That's the first death of the stream and everything. I still think we can beat them, though. I still think it's worth keeping going. 
But end times, no longer day 92, now day 91. Oh, bugger. Right, have I got any more stronger poisons? How do you do, Thane? Here you go. Oh, thank you for the letter. Bye-bye, Carla. The portly. Who doesn't want to help. I should have used my push, shouldn't I? Is this the first day? No, this is, like, death. Um, we've, we've had quite a few deaths, but this is, yeah, definitely not one of the better ones. Okay, Frostbite Venom. It's so good. I just, I wish it was more effective here. Let me try and attach more Frostbite Venom here. There we go. So as soon as it weakens, you hit, hit you with another one. There we go. Right. And then if you want to come at me, you can. Oh, you're just going to stop. Sweet. Crouch. Stealth. There we go. Oh, shit. I tried to press Fuss, but I had my bow out. Oh, not another one! How do you do? Um, hey Spiff, so salt uh, cream or sour? Wait, hey Spiff, so salt cream or sour vinegar crisps? What is salt cream? What is? How's that an option anyway? We lost another day. Um, thank you for the donation of thirteen Canadian dollars, though, to ask a, a abominable question. Shit! Don't lock the above options. I accidentally pressed the lock options again. Uh, I've got to now... Um, I have to now um, close down the entire game uh, using Alt F4 and load back in. <laughs> Let's quickly um, disable the game screen. <laughs> this happens like every time. Oh, there we go. One second, one second. Um, right, so we now just have to close down the game. Load it back up nice and swiftly. Um, yeah, basically if I accidentally lock the options, it means we can't lower the, uh, the day closer to, um, to the end, which is, of course, what we need to do. There we go. Save file has been uploaded to the cloud. Let's just load it up again. These things happen. You can unlock it next time, right? That's what they say, but I don't trust that. I genuinely think that was just chat trolling me when they said, oh, you can just unlock it the next time. I don't believe chat. How can we believe chat? But yeah, that is unfortunately a second death. Hmm. This is an interesting UI design. Yeah, this is just a temporary um, menu, don't worry, as I load into the game. Oh, bless me. Hiccups. Yeah, um, it's temporary loading screens I load back into the game. Spiff, stand on top of a rock next time. Yeah, it's probably a good idea. I probably should have. I mean, I really felt like I had a good a good setup there. And the one issue I ran into was I just I real I in my mind I was like, I'm gonna use Fusrodar. Yeah, it was noodles by the way, good good prediction. I was like, I'm gonna use Fusrodar and there's gonna be no problem there. However, um it it was just simply a case of when you have your bow, there's a slight delay of you being able to use the Fusrodar. Yeah, and that really let me down there. Yeah, I still think it's a we can do this. Like, it is just a, it's still a one v two, and we can we can then we can get two stealth hits off because it seems like this enemy we can get at least one stealth hit off when they're at a distance, and then when they close the gap, they unaggro for some reason and then walk back. So, I think it's doable. I've just loaded into How the game, and I'll get you your footage back now, chat. Do to do to do. Right, loading back on it. Splendid. You should now be able to see the game. I'm hoping. There we go. Lovely. Here you go. 
And I get my lovely Everyone. letter from you. Thank you, Carl and Portly. Right. Um, well, frenzy poison? No, there's no point trying it. We tried frenzy poison. Did bugger all. Right, let's drop down that quick save. Oh, wait. i got to lower the days, of course. MCM, end times. Lower the day down to 90. Accept. Back on out. Drop down a new save. We have died 10 times. Damn it. Oh, my God goodness come on we can actually i think we can we can do it before they even close the gap we can do it before they close the gap let's go con 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 oh shit they see me oh but they're a they're aggroed on janassa now this one's aggroed on janassa okay we've got it we've got it if they're aggroed on janassa we have no problem beyond the archers on the uh hills and the oh, i've just been hit by an arrow Whoa, let me stand behind here. Okay. Uh, we're just going to stay here for a bit. And then apply some more venom to our bow. And pop a quick heal. Wait, Bandit Highway Woman. Did you just say... Yeah, Bandit Highway Woman literally just got back up and reinitiated the combat. Oh, she's dead now. She's probably dead. Okay, let's see if we can get the people now on top of the tower who were shooting at us but gave up. Right, so you're... Oh, that actually, I think, went through your legs. Yeet. Good first shot, second shot. Good second shot. Okay, you're now still alive, though, so I don't know if I can get you. Let's see if I can get you. Oh, that seemed good. That seemed, like, really good. Oh, no. He's mo it's hard to hit this moving target. Okay, let's try and loot this one person. This person was level 14. Mercenary Iron Sword Superior. Or Carlingut. Nice. Steel arrows. Brilliant. Okay, good loot. Oh, and there's someone on the bridge. That looks like the person who I shot. See if I can get this next person on the bridge. It's also someone on the other side of the bridge over there. Oh, jeez, you literally just stopped. Right, what if I aim for here? Yeet. Oh, it's so hard to hit. All right, I'm just going to stealth my way. Stealth my way in. We've got this. Uh, let's have a quick chug on something to eat. Uh, what do we got? Ra salmon steak. There you go. I'm now well fed. Sip of mead. I don't feel stressed anymore. Let's open up the wooden door. We've got in here. There's definitely a trap there. So let's uh, get rid of this trap. There we go. Which means we can now search the chest safely. Take all of that loot. Take these heal potions. There's our target. Shit. That was an awkward miss. Did they notice? Do you think they noticed? I don't think they noticed. Let's try this man over here. Oh, wait, there we go. That was a good shot onto that one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ouch! Oh. Okay, we're now we're now engaging in um, Operation Long Distance Arrow Fight. Yeet. That was a good shot. That was a kill. Okay, right. We're going to need to chug a potion quickly. Janassa, if you want to go out there and fight them, that would be great. Right. Heal potion used. Right. There's that one on the bridge. Janassa's going in for him. Janassa's doing it. Go on, Janassa. I believe in you. Okay. Janassa is poisoned. What's the bow? Oh, look at him go. He fell. He fell in the river. He's a sitting target down there. He's no longer a sitting target. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Do you know that was gonna happen. I saw Janassa walk in front of me. And I was like, surely she'll absorb the shot. <laughs> it's like, no. <nope. laughs> oh my god. Three deaths. 
day 89. It's fine. Say okay. It's okay. Now we know the guy on the bridge is bloody terrifying. And not to be trifled with. Not at all. Oh, beans. Of course I break my pick here. Splendid. Right. Opens up nonetheless. 200 gold. Potion of healing. Amethyst. Right. I think if we can get a nice stealth hit off onto Bridge Boy um, and see if we can kill him. I mean, honestly, hitting him with a frenzy might not be a bad idea because this guy seems pretty darn powerful in comparison to the others. The issue we run into is like, am I even able to hit him? Yes. Right, so we hit him. Now is he going to start a fight with a friend? Come on, please start a fight with a friend. I swear, if he rounds this doorway. He doesn't know where I am, so he shouldn't come to... Okay, I don't think it worked. World will end in 79 days. Someone Great. There? Someone there? No, there's no one there. There's no one there at all. Mm, am I completely out of poison? I think I am. Fear poison, lingering stamina poison. I mean, I can hit him with a stamina poison, but I don't think it's going to make much of a difference at all. Fire arrow, maybe? I've only got one of these left. I'm aiming for here. Okay, we got one hit on him. I got a sneak attack onto his head. That was good. That was actually good. I had another hit onto him. Okay, he sees me. He's looking vaguely at my gen general direction. You can't see me. Stop looking at me. He's losing stamina whilst drawing his bow, okay? Good hit. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, it's annoying. You can't see me and I can see you. But eventually you'll put the bow down. Put the bow down. Put the bow down. Thank you. Oh, I missed. Let me do the wiggle. Do the wiggle. Oh, oh. wiggle works. Wiggle works. Wiggle works. Wiggling is a very dangerous game, but it works. Wiggling works. That one was really dangerous. Wiggling. Wiggling. Whoa, my. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle with the best of them. Okay, wait for my stamina to regenerate. There's an. He's still looking at me. It's okay. We can just drink a stamina potion. There we go, much better. <sighs> My god, chat. I know I can't. Shit, come back, come back, come back. I can't hit you there. Come on. No, no. Ooh. Come on. There we go, he missed, he missed, he missed. It's my chance. He's low, he's low, he's low, he's low. He's low. Right, we got him. Okay, if we come up here. We can do this. Final shot. Final two shots. There's an archer looking at me on the right. Jeez, he's running away. I don't think I can get him. He's just bolting it. He's just genuinely legged it. He's made it out. Oh my god, I genuinely... I thought I almost had him. There's an enemy above me as well, I know. Oh my god. Oh, he's coming back. He's coming back. He's got one life. Uh, there's, a, there's a man with a shield running at me. Whoa! Don't you do! Woo! Okay, okay, you back off, bandit fuck. Uh, quick, 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 quick. Potion of healing, potion of healing. Yes, push them off, push them off, Janata. Push them off. Push them off. There goes, he's gone, he's fallen off. Okay. 
Um, there's another one up here. Yes, there is. There's a cat. He's dead, he's dead. We got him. Okay, right, come on up. Right, what have you got? Bow of fire damage. Nice, I'll actually take that. Oh dear, you're trying to hit me. You're probably incredibly dangerous as well. There we go, that was good damage. Don't use the healing potion. That's incredibly rude. Yeah, I've leveled up. Level 15. Okay. Can I use... Is the fire bow better? I mean, no. I feel like it's not necessarily as good. Okay, let's loot this body as well. Thank you. Um, let's go find this orc fighting Janassa and see if we can help. Janassa, where is the hell is this fight happening? Oh my god, you're fighting two of them. Alright, we can help. We can help Janassa. Hit, hit the bandit with the foos. Come on, Janassa, we're doing it. We're doing it, Janassa. Okay, get this guy before he can heal. There he goes, low, he's low, he's dead, he's dead. We've got him. Right, next guy. We can get him. He's only an archer, he's only level five. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, this is one hell of a fight. Hey, no. No healing. Naughty. Oh my goodness, he's doing power attacks. Right, yeah, right there we go, shot. Shot. He's low, he's low, he's low, he's low. Don't let him heal, don't let him heal. There we go, he's dead, he's dead. You deserve to be dead, friend. Farewell. Oh, my arrow just accidentally bounced off of him. There we go. Splendid. Whew, okay. Um, I think we've almost dealt with them. I think there's maybe one left on the other side. Somewhere. Because I don't think any of you guys are a bandit chief. You do have a fine steel helmet on you. Value 145. Um, might be worth taking. Yeah, you're not too heavy. Let's drop down a quick save. Janassa MVP. Janassa is genuinely coming in clutch so incredibly well. Right, now it did say kill the bandit leader and we still haven't killed the bandit leader, which means there's a bandit leader on top of this area. Some iron ore over there as well. That's actually good. What did you have? Imperial bow superior. This is better than my bow. Take a look at mine. Orcish bow 28. Imperial bow superior. Mm. Okay, I actually don't think it is. I could be wrong. No, it doesn't look like it is. Still, potentially worth selling. What the hell is this? Wanderer? Journal piece potters? Oh, he's got 40 clay on him and some ale. Oh, these poor little guys wandered here. We've got Nord Warrior, a bunch of money, and then Final Wanderer. I can't even reach your corpse. There we go. Letter Orc Wanderer, Ruby Septims, Pheasant Stew, Wine. These poor guys wandered by, tried to pay the toll and died. This is why these bandits can't be allowed to live. They're too dangerous. Who are you? Oh, you're another dead wanderer. Oh, these poor guys. They probably lived here. Alright, our bandit chief is above us. Stuff of Skeleton is pretty much the best I've got. Hmm. Really, genuinely no poisons. I have a weak fear poison, but that's probably useless. Alright, Janassa, I still think we can do this. We can still do this, chat. I believe in us. There they are, they're up here. Oh, there's an alchemy table. We can make some poison. We can. We genuinely might be able to. Do the chest. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Lovely. Some potions, nothing crazy. Dresser, what have we got in here? Nothing useful. Right, potion making time. Uh, damage magicka. Damage health. Have I got no other ingredients that let me damage health? Surely, like, one of these. 
uh, Eye of the Saber Cat and Impstool combine. Uh, I made a potion of magic resistance plus one. <laughs> that was just useless. Right, Impstool. What else have I got? Oh my god. Human heart. That's damage, right? Weak poison. Splendid. Right, that's the best I can do. Two, an additional poison. Let's pop this bad boy on. Bandit. Bandit leader. He's up there. Oh my goodness, I get to loot all of this. He can't even tell. Okay. He doesn't even know we're here. He doesn't even know it. He doesn't even know we're here. Shit. Come on, come on, come on. It's like here. Oh my god, lockpicking can be so much more challenging sometimes. Amulet of Akatosh, you gain 10% more experience. A new oh, fuck the beacon! The beacon. Shh, shut up! Listen, hear me and obey. Oh, my A goodness. foul darkness has seeped into my Oh, a darkness. No! Silence, woman! Oh my god. Oh, the black I arrow. My oh, Mount Shut up! Shut up, please! I will make you the instrument. Oh my god, leave me alone! Jesus Christ, she's such a needy woman, right? Let's um let's get this bandit lord. He's only level six. Okay, this isn't actually too bad. We can do this. Come down the stairs, come down the stairs. Oh, drop down, drop down, drop down. Thank you, Janassa. You hear me? Dead. There we go, there we go. Good damage, good damage. Good damage. Good damage. Bandit Chief uses wiggle attack. There we go. He submits. Kill him. Brilliant. Oh my goodness, we actually managed it. Iron Warhammer of Sparks. That's useful. Um, this is worth... Jeez, this is worth... 466. Honestly, Janassa, I think we should, I should give this to what you. Can I do for you. This looks way better than anything you have. If that is what you wish. Take a look at this, Janassa. Um, four. Um, you can probably take this steel helmet, actually, because I realize you don't have this. And, yeah, take the armor. Might as well take this jewelry as well. Why not wear some earrings? Um, oh, my God. This amulet. Amulet's good. I'm excited about that. What I'm not excited about is that stupid bloody beacon. I need you to hold on to that. You're actually full up now. What am I holding that's too heavy? Maybe some of these iron arrows I can drop because they are quite heavy. I drop like a hundred of them. There we go. That's freed up my space. God damn this stupid beacon. Where is it? It's over here on, like, quest items, isn't it? I suppose I could get rid of the beacon. Is that a thing? Uh... Isn't it, like, Meridia's beacon? No. Well, I guess we now have it, and it's somehow attached to my body. And I just don't know where. It goes Cheese Wedge. Imperial Bow of bow Burning. It's actually really good. 15 points of fire damage. God damn it, I take that and now I'm over encumbered. Alright, let's drop this Imperial Bow. Let's drop this Iron Sword. Let's drop this thing as well and these Stormcloak Bolts I don't need. Cool. Good loot deployment. It's going to say now would be a great time to do some mining, but how much space have I got? Oh, okay, I've got enough space now. We've got Iron Ore Vein. Let's get to work. Oh, damn. It's under M, okay. Oh. You went what? You went by it like 13 times. Look, okay, sometimes streamer blind. S streamer blindness disorder is a real disability and it could affect one in 10 streamers that you know. Symptoms include being being able to miss the painstakingly obvious. Right, what are you, are you iron? No, you're corundum. Uh, I don't really need more of you, I've got like loads. Yeah, I'll leave you be. Alright, back to Whiterun we go, because uh, we can now hand in this quest, which was, in my opinion, quite worthwhile. We got, like, a few hundred gold from looting the place, good amount of experience, and a 
cool amulet that gives me more experience than I currently have. Well, 10% experience gain, which is nice. Almost as good as my shout amulet. Oh, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Little bit of stealth in my life. A little bit of kill the dairies. Oh, oh. That one went through your head, little deer. That's not fair. That is not fair at all. You guys saw that. Uh, Corinda makes steel. I know, but I've got like 32 of it on one of my followers' inventories. Alright, back we go. Speaking of which, where on earth is she? I hope she didn't fall off the bridge and die. That would be quite embarrassing. Especially because I'll probably need her on the walk back to Whiterun. I mean, this place is dangerous. Look, there's giants up there. Bloody heck. Giants. What the hell am I meant to do against that? Oh no, I can see her running along back there. White run looks really nice off in the distance, though. The beacon is the worst quest. I mean, it is, because it provides, like, the worst reward. Like, when you get the beacon quest, you're already, like, level 15, I think, minimum, or something like that. Um, and then the actual quest itself, the reward is, like, a weapon, like, a usually, like, an iron sword that does, like, 15 damage so by the time you complete the quest you've got a usually a weapon for a build that you're not even running and it's useless and it does more damage against the undead and it's like well what's the point what is genuinely what is the point of that it is just so useless so mind-bogglingly useless look at janassa catching up in a brand new plate mail she's doing great buy a house for storage honestly yeah it is probably worthwhile um how much? I've got 4,700 gold. I think I needed 4,000 to buy the homestead. Um, oh, look, there's the uh, there's the bandit we killed earlier. Who's hanging around here? Is this... Um, Want to hear a little Lord Wisdom? Oh, is it? It's you. Ufgrid the Unbroken. I'm more woman than you can handle. Yeah, you're more woman than you can yeah, handle. Chat time's over. Pretty cool. Yeah, she's, uh, she's a grumpy woman. Pretty grumpy. Which, am I hungry? I am. Let me have a little bit of this salmon steak. Chompy, chompy, chompy. Okay, onward to right, white room we go. Take away your followers' bow slash arrows to f force them to fight in melee. I mean, Janassa's mostly fighting in melee, so it's no problem. Uh, well, cool guy, donates. Thank you for using our brand new beacon messaging system. You now have one new message. To hear this message, simply say yes. To remove this message, simply say remove. And confirm with yes. We thank you for using us. And just so you know, you'll never lose us. Have a good day. And you know what that means, chat. That means we've got a one cooler guy donation. And you know what happens when there's a one cooler guy donation? You know exactly what happens when there's a one cooler guy donation? I don't even know if this system's going to work anymore. <laughs> it works still! <laughs> Yay! Oh my god. <laughs> I hope that still worked. Uh, I love it. <laughs> oh dear, I love my job. I love my job so much. <laughs> it's so stupid. Oh dear. Oh dear. I hope you like that one, caller guy. Um. <laughs> you just got Australian posted chat. Um, what the fuck was that? <laughs> Look, you you and me both. I spent like two hours making it so that no one else would have to. Was it was it worthwhile? Did it transform the donator experience enough? I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't. I'm not sure. Oh it's dear. So fun getting pushed around all the time. Actually, wait. I realise we could buy a house, or alternatively, we could buy a horse. How much is a horse? Let's see, how much are you? Hello, there, Hello Skova. What can, I help you what can I help with you with? Uh, can I buy a horse? So, got one on 1,000 gold. Honestly, try, I think a horse is a good idea. I think a horse is a really good idea. But yeah, thanks, cool guy, for your donation. Um, yeah. Waiting for that one guy to donate 42069. That's cool guy who does that. He is the 42069 Australian dollar man. Um, respect our anthem, please. <laughs> no, I will not. 5k for home. Mm, I feel like horse is way more worth it than a home because we can attach like saddles to the horse. 
So, a free horse if you can catch it? Yeah, I mean, sure, that's the same with the real world. There's a free horse outside my house if I want to go hunt it down. I hear there's free sheep too if I can wrangle them. Yeah, I feel like horse is a better idea. Because if I get a free horse, I can now summon the horse. It's the one, it's the one with, with the saddle. Sound. saddle, okay, right. One with the saddle, hello. Queen Alfskir. Oh, it's my queen! My queen horse, my queen horse. Hello, my queen horse. The world will end in 79 days. So, now if I remember correctly, I can summon you, queen horse. Um... I can't remember how, is it like you said? <laughs> Shit! I accidentally just forced on my horse. It's not that. Is it X? I don't know. I swear, there's something I can do that allows me to summon the horse. Um, there's something we can do. How do I... Um, I'd like to change my horse's saddle. Yes, this is a good idea. Uh, white, white saddle, stormcloak saddle, imperial saddle. Um, let's go for white saddle. Why not? Let's see what that has changed. That has changed literally nothing. I want to put storage slots onto you, horse. But until that time, you're partly useless to me. Only for some private. Don't for I I can't believe he fussed a horse. I forced my horse, okay. Horse summoning is a shout. Is it now? Summoning the horse might be the whistle power if that mod is part of the pack. I'm 90% certain that mod is part of the pack. So yeah, it is, it's like the whistle power. But I don't think we get that until after we gain some horse-based knowledge, which I only think we get after we go on a bit more of a horse adventure. Steel armor looks better than elven horse armor. Okay, right, well maybe I'll get steel armor for my horse. Horse armor DLC type. I mean, the blacksmiths can provide. And I did just do a quest, so I feel like I have some money to, to splash. Um, so let's have a chat with the blacksmith. Are you the blacksmith? You Hi, Titus. Is down the road Thank you, Titus. Let me know if you see anything you like. He fussed on a horse live on stream. Look, don't judge me. Stop bringing it back up. Right, Adriana. You, um, uh, can you... Do you sell horse armor? Of course. Of course you do. Could I buy steel ho horse armor? Um, yeah, I'll buy steel horse How armor. Can I argue with that? How can yeah exactly? How can you argue with literal money? Take a so look. what have you got for sale? And would you like to buy some of my crap? I've got um, bow of burning. I feel like I only need one of these because like I can't actually use this, and I'll use one to get the enchantment. I need you for the enchantment. I need you for the enchantment as well, I think. Probably. And I don't need you. Um, what else have I got? Iron ore, leather strips. Okay, nothing too crazy. Okay, right. Back on out. As you wish, my friend. Spiff, in anniversary edition, edition, there is free wild horses that you can catch. I am aware of this information. I choose to ignore this information. Anybody else looking forward to rewatching this? Well, you best. How else am I going to make my bloody money back? I've spent six hours playing Skyrim. <laughs> well, we've got one hour to go on the stream. Um, I miss it, board. Do, do, do. Come on, surely we've got a mission. Retrieve heirloom, gather juniper berries. For mead, probably. Uh, deliver weapon to Riverwood. Deliver weapon to Dragon Bridge. Deliver a letter to Raven Rock. Okay, we don't need any of those. Um... Let me see if Bellafall's goods is still open. It's not. Okay, well, I guess we go into here and see if Bellafall's around. House over horse. Well, we've got horse now. So enjoy it. Bellafall, are you around? I feel like Bellafall doesn't hang out here. Yeah, Bellafall isn't around here. Um, to do, speak to the voice, deliver the fucking beacon. No, we're not doing that. Uh, we could do the skirmish of White Run mission. Tell Bellafor the bandit leader's dead. Where is Bellafor? He's outside. Uh, you can check for horse whistle key bind in MCM. Okay, we can do that. Do 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 do. Um, horse whistle. Actually, maybe I should just like. 
chomp down on some of these ingredients because I need to discover them. That was restore stamina. What are you? Your resist poison. How do you do? Your weakness to fire. Your damage stamina. Your restore health. Bone meal. Fortify conjuration. That makes sense. Charred skeever hide is something. Fire salts. Well, you're probably fire resistance, right? Um, glowing mushroom. Resist shock. Juniper berries. That is weakness to fire. Large antlers. Restore stamina. Um, pine fresh egg. Restore Hello, stamina. Friend. Hello, friend, as well. Saber cat tooth. Salt pile. Reflect damage. Reflect damage. Holy moly! We can we can make reflect damage spells. Small antlers. Spider egg is damage stamina. Sprig and sap is damage armor. Torch bug forex. Troll fat. Vampire dust. We can chomp on that. White cap is weakness to frost. My character is literally just eating a bunch of poisonous be berries. God, my character looks so sick. But look, come on, how else was I meant to learn alchemy? All right, where is Bellafor hanging out? He's in the Drunken Huntsman. Let's go. Atlas one two seven. Um, congratulations on the engagement, my man. Uh, love the content delivery. Uh, oh, love the content. The delivery on your comedy is a chef's kiss. Truly great work, my man. Looking forward to your future content. Thank you very much, Atlas, for the $10. For you, and Forgotten Law, thank you as well for the donation. Um, Bellafor, where are you, my friend? You look strong. Oh, it's Farkas. Hello. You did look like Farkas. Um, Bellafor, hello. What are you doing back here? Huh? So I dealt with those bandits for you. Excellent. Excellent. Here's your reward. Here is what your is reward. it? 100 gold. Pleasure. I feel like that was worth more than 100 gold. I died like three times. At least it felt like three times. <sighs> Not bad. Alchemy skill level 20 lets you know every use of an ingredient. Seriously. Alchemy. Experimenter. Eating an ingredient reveals all of its effects. God damn, that's so useful. We're ready to level up as well. So let's just go. Let's go sleep and pick that up. That's like, that's our potion making is about to like hit the bloody stratosphere chat. You have no idea. We're going to be able to make so many more potions. I'm already eagerly harvesting everything I can find. We're going to make so much poison. Poison? Poison. Seems like they added oblivion spells to Skyrim. Yeah, there's a bunch of like, um, of like various lost features of Skyrim. What day? It doesn't matter what day it is. What matters is how many days we have left. And I think the answer is 78? 78 days left to save the day. Let me climb up. Parkour. Look at the cat parkour. Cat can parkour. Cat parkour. We. Alright, let's run on over. All for sale at fair prices. Why is it when they say it like that? It doesn't feel true. <gasps> Here's my steel horse armor. Look at you. You look great. Good job, horsey. Right, let's ride horsey over to my camp. Come on, horsey. Let's go. Let's go, horsey. Let's go. Riding horsey to the camp. Horsey doesn't feel that fast. But we're improving. The horsey is improving. One day horsey will be super good. But until then... They're really slow. Horsey, why are you so slow? Oh, I need to press space. Does that help? Jeez, the horse is just... I feel like I can run a lot faster than this. Is it the steel armor? Is it because... Is it because I have... I have the steel armor? If this is the case, then... Oh, beans. Oh, beans. <laughs> Come on, horse. You've got to be faster than this. You've got to, I mean, it looks faster when I'm in first person. I'll give it that. It's a pony. Genuinely, I feel like I've got the slowest horse. Is the horse, horse slow because of the steel armor is heavy? I mean, maybe. I mean, that probably would make sense. God, it, it's, it looks so slow when you're in first person. Does my horse have, like, a stamina bar? It's wearing steel, dude. I don't care. It's just it's a horse. House would have been better. I can't ride a house. 
Oh, look, our bear friend's still up there. He's still hanging out by my camp. <laughs> hey, bear friend. Right, horsey, I'm gonna... Oh, he's disappeared again. I'm gonna disembark off of horsey friend. Uh, let's go see bear friend. Yeah, look, there's bear friend. Is bear friend still non-corporeal? Yeah, genuinely, I can't, I can't hit the bear. Like, this is a really dangerous creature. But, it, it doesn't exist. I, am I even able to sleep here? Yeah, I can actually. All right, well, um, how about I, um, how about I harvest some wood nearby? There we go. You cannot harvest wood while in combat. Great. So the bears ruined. This area. So I can't harvest wood in this area. Okay, right. Well, instead, we're going to now have to set up camp over by the homestead over here. I mean, that's fine. It's, it's a little bit brighter. Um, right, I need some more firewood, so I will chop dead wood. This does cause some time to pass, but with the dead wood, I should now be able to build a campfire. Right, let's place it here. Place here, use campfire, use, and build and light the campfire. There we go. Splendid. Use the command console and kill it. No, I'm, I'm quite happy with, with the forever ghost bear friend um, that will perpetually haunt our dreams and never leave us alone. Um, right, I think I still I have a new skill in like hunting. Let's take a look. Oh, no, this is bear trapping. Uh, is it? Or is it actually in this one? Is it this this one? Yeah, it is here. Okay, I can do the harvest and bury fallen comrades. By remaining still and focusing on your surroundings, you can find animals or trapper or beastry of the north. I feel like we want to go beastry of the north because it's going to help us fight wild animals. Um, oh, this exit skills. And now I need to go and get my bedroll back from the bear. Apologies, bear. I've just got to pick up my bed. Is bear gone? Oh, bear's gone. Oh, let's pack it up. Oh, he's over there. He's fighting my horse. What the hell? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. My horse is almost dead. Jeez, my horse. All right, God, we've got it. We've got it. Bear's dead. Stop that. Stop that indeed. Stop that bear. Oh, my God. Horsey, you okay now? Oh, poor horsey. Poor horsey. Good job. Good job, queen. Oh, my God. We got a, That was really close. We almost lost our entire horse there. That would have been really bad. All right, let's pop down our rough bedding. Um, yeah, let's place it down here. This is nice. Place here. Okay, um, let's use our bedding and sleep until the morning. So a nice eight hours ought to do it. We get, of course, a level up, I think. Chat says a house can't die. God damn it. Um, oh, I had a dream. Lovely. Or is this a nightmare? That seemed like a nightmare. All right, point into health and perk into alchemy. There we go. Eating an ingredient reveals all effects. Brilliant. There we go. Lingering nightmare added. Okay, so I had a nightmare. What is the continuous effect? For eight hours, stamina is lowered, lowered by ten. Well, that's, that's pretty bad. <laughs> that's just not good, is it? Just not good at all. Oh, well. That's okay. Uh, now I can at least eat all of these ingredients and learn exactly what they do. So we're going to learn all that. Bees, you learn, we learn command, fortify stamina. Blue butterfly wings. Damage weapon, fortify sneak attacks. Fortify conjuration power, fortify health, damage armor. Bone meal has a become ethereal, butterfly wing. Fortify barter, that could be useful. Chicken's egg, oh, we might as well use that. Dragon's tongue, your fortify barter as well. Elves ear. Fortify marksman, that is useful. I have Saber Cat, we learned you have Fortify Help. I don't really need to use the rest of you. Fly Amatia. Fortify Two-Handed. Frost Miriam. Fortify Sneak. 
Garlic, fortify stamina and health regeneration. Moss was just bad stuff. This this bad boy has burden. That burden was did seem useful. Lavender has silence. Lunar Moth Wing has invisibility, fortify power attacks. Mora Tempelia has frenzy. Orange Dark Wing has silence. Jeez, okay, we got a lot of stuff here. Salt Pile, Burden, Perch, Skeever Tail has Calm. And Water Walking? Water Walking is an ability? I've got questions, but that's fine. Okay, right, I've chugged through most of my inventory um, to the point where I'm happy that I've learned a lot of stuff. Holy moly, that was good. Jeez, we learned some good stuff there. Right, let's uh, read this note. Um, the White Run calls for Fanes because it's going to tell us to go just over there and help out with a fight, which we can do. So let's quickly eat some pheasant stew and then make our way over to White Watch Tower. All right, let's go. <laughs> Chat saying, uh, large onion fortified crying resistance. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, that's exactly what happens. But can I pull out a bow? <gasps> I can use my bow on my horse. Oh my God, ladies and gentlemen, this is the greatest. The horse is now the greatest thing that's ever been found. Yeet, okay, I missed. Yeet. Yeet. Yes. Yeet! We did it! We killed a creature from horseback! We killed a creature from horseback! We did it! We did it! I know. It's literally the best. It's literally the best. I'm literally Mongolian horse archery. The single greatest thing that's ever happened. Um, anyway, right. I think we need to help out with this area. As Here we go. Mercenary aid. Um, I think this is the place where we need to help fight the bandits. So this is exactly what we'll do. We've made our way over here. And there appear to be bandits here. So we can hit them. Here we go. With our bow. There we go. Highly effective. Highly effective. Yeet. You're dead. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, use my horse. Use my horse. Jeez, there's quite a lot of bandits, actually. Are you a bandit? Yes, you're dead, though. Let's make my way over here. Bloody heck, there's a lot of fighting going on here. All the bandits over here seem to be dead. Okay, you know what? That seems successful. That was successful. What a glorious success. Oh, okay. Are you the person I need to talk well, to? May we all fight or die well. Oh, I see. You're the person who wanted me to go, um, to go continue fighting. Quickly. Oh my god, who are you? What now? Jeez, you look like an insane fighter. Typical outlander weakling. Typical outlander weakling? What the hell? I'm just here. I'm just a normal person. What the hell? Now, let me loot the novice chest. Um, get any bright ideas. That was really successful, though. Like... We just turned up on a horse, shot a bunch of people with arrows. Job done. Oh dear, I don't think I was meant to do that. Um, got the message. What's this all about? I'm going to guess I wasn't meant to loot that. The worst type of scum. Actually, the worst type of scum is lime scale. It gets into your kettle and it ruins it. Not good at all. Okay. Um, so, I guess I... Did get your message. So keep an eye out for trouble. So there's going to be an additional bandit raid, I guess. Hello, bandit. What have you got on you? Nothing of use. And you... Jeez, the bandits have just been picked clean by the guards. But there's a... I know you. Wait, I know you. What? You're making a mistake. What? Um... Um... I'm a fane. I demand you let me go at once. We'll look the other okay. Way this time. Four. Even yeah, okay, so it was illegal for me to look in that chest. That was a fine of five gold. 
All right, let me uh, also go into the journal and set skirmish at white watch. Uh, make small talk with the other fanes. Optional. Um, are you are you a fane? Welcome to Eldar's Junk Emporium. Oh no, you're just Eldar's I'll Junk Emporium. You, found on your travels you want me? Oh, you take junk from my That's inventory. Right. A flat fee of twenty gold for taking your junk off your hands. I'll also th now you can hand over any items to me, or you can. So drop what you can, take what you must. That's what the hell is this man? This man just takes junk off your inventory. Khajiit. Khajiit. Yep, that's me. Um, what's White Run like? White Run Hold, the biggest and best of the nine holds of Skyrim. Okay, so this man is just a Skyrim or well, White Run, White Run simp, I guess. Just gotta wait, I guess, for um, the evil bandits to arrive from somewhere. You look like um, you could give me some combat tips. Got any tips? If you see a big wind up, get out of the way or talk to Bjorn? I don't want to talk to Bjorn. Attack yeah, that voice right acting was something. Look, we're not going to comment about it. Some of the voice acting in this mod, cap, mod pack is Tab amazing. Outsiders. Other stuff is weak. Yes. This is Bjorn. Um, Bjorn can be a companion. An observant one, aren't you? No, I'm no... Um, and we can recruit him. He's pretty good, but he's not as good as Janassa. And uh, we actually had him in the members-only live stream. That we did a few weeks back and um he kind of got shot in the eye and became useless of course you can trust me but anyway he's pretty good unless another exciting opportunity presents itself he's an okay being do i need to talk to you i assume you it's part of the temple of kinnereth people want danica to do something okay have i done my small talk now by the nine i hate the waiting the goddamned waiting i've completed okay that was my scenario that was the other one um, so, where are those bandits of yours? You sure? You sure this is maybe this gonna be a raid? So of you, they ran away. Yeah, maybe they are so scared of me they ran away. Maybe, that's what I hope. Why am I stuck in conversation? Where are these? Where are these bandits? Silence, junk man! Your voice acting is so bad. Bunch of foreign troublemakers. Oh, that was it. That was it. Oh my God! There they come! Jeez, they've got bows and arrows! Phew, that will actually look dangerous. They blew a horn, fired a bunch of arrows. I'm guessing that's them over there. Yeah, that looks like them. Have I got fire arrows? Because they would be really effective here. No, I don't. Um. Jeez, look at them. Look at them, there's so many of them. I genuinely wasn't expecting there to be so many bandits, but there's the Tundra Raider. Um. Jeez, this is actually going to be a proper fight, isn't it? And there's more bandits over there. Oh my goodness. I've got to be careful because all of these guys can pretty much one-hit me. Thank you, Bjorn, for helping out, by the way. Jesus Christ. Are you running away, White Run Guard? I understand. I completely understand. Holy moly, this is a fight. This is one hell of a fight. Stop using your potions. Have I got any poisons? Poisons, poisons, poisons. Fear poison. I can make uh, one of these guys flee. There we go, I can make this guy flee. Let's do that. Shit, I accidentally just hit one of our own. I hit the junk man. That gave me a bounty. Fuck, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I really didn't mean to. I apologize. I feel like my community service here should lower my my rate. Look, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I hit you. Please. Oh, God. Am I getting attacked by everyone? Oh, no. You're, you're a Tundra Raider. Janassa has died. What? What? No. No, 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 no. No. Oh, no, 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 no. You don't. You don't do that. Which one of you killed Janassa? Where is she? Where is my Janassa? Oh my god. Oh my god, this is one hell of a fight. Janassa! There's another dead. Okay, this, this last one here doesn't seem to be doing too much. Oh my god. There's an explosion over there, but I'm going to choose to say I have no idea what's happening there. This Tundra Raider at least is being nice by just spinning around slowly and getting shot repeatedly. 
It's very generous of him. Right, it should be almost dead soon. And final hit here, hopefully. There we go, he's dead. Oh, splendid. Oh, shit, they're all gonna... What the hell? I'm on your side, goddammit. I know I shot one guy. I shot one guy with a fear poison by accident. And then you just kill me. Oh my god, where's our last save? It's after we wake up, isn't it? It's here. Oh my god, Janessa's back. We lost a day. We lost a day. Day 88 is when the world ends. Time goes low, chat. Time goes low. God damn it. Alright, let's have a sleep. Oh, let's have a sleep. Um, I mean, what do we learn? We learn... We learn that that siege is way more challenging than we were expecting. Like, that was incredibly dangerous. And at the same time... I feel like we need more poison. We need a lot more poison than what we had access to. So I'm going to chug all of our Magicka potions um, for the sole reason that it's going to free up uh, empty potion bottles, which we can use to make actual good potions out of. So yeah, I'm just going to chug all of the Magicka potions. Oh my goodness. While you're here, claim the house. I can't claim the house. I need to pay, the, pay for the house. Um, I think it's uh, a little bit of cash. Georgie's just come barging in. Oh, and it's even missing a staircase. How lovely. Let, let me grab as much of this, uh, like, loot around here as I can. Because we might need it for our potions. But yeah, we'll give, we'll give that raid another go. But this time with less friendly fire. And hopefully more success. And more preparations. More bees, more honeycombs. Good stuff. Good loot. Good loot indeed. Splendid stuff. Right. I'm hoping we can make some pretty dangerous poisons from this. A little farm back here. Potato plants. Tundra homestead. Very cute little area. Alright. Um, there are goat horns. I don't think goat horns have any value. I don't think we can like use them for alchemy. Grab the tundra cotton though. Disenchant your stuff uh, when you go make potions. A uh, good reminder. Good reminder. Very, very useful. We got the bear claws off of you. Yeah, we did. Okay, so you are useless now. Back we go. I suppose I could probably also grab the wheat. Ninety percent certain taking the wheat is stealing, but if no one sees me do it, then no one sees me do it. So that's the policy we got to take. Take the wheat. There we go. Nobody saw it. It was legal. Chicken's nest. Nobody saw this. Chickens don't detect human beings. Okay. We're up nice and early. Someone else could have come along and picked all of the crops. How are we to know? The cloak is possessed by Fandle's restless spirit. <laughs> this is probably canonically accurate. I'm, I'm willing to add that to canon. The disembodied spirit of Fandle lives on. Yoink. Yoink. You seem base Skyrim, none of this counts as stealing. It's just completely fine to rob people's crops. Uh, but not in this version. <sighs> yeah, that fight was brutal though. Like, I was not expecting for us to lose Janassa. Actually, here's a question. Because Janassa died, do we count that as an additional day lost? Like, if a companion dies, is that an additional day? Because if so, we then have to count two losses because Janassa died. And, of course, the time went back. And then, um... Feindl died. Uh, it's just a question, chat. It's up to you. Like, I'd understand if uh, that was the rules we went by, but I'd also understand if that wasn't. I feel like both options are quite, quite doable. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, cool. Glad we're on the same page that it is my deaths that matter. Cool. 
That's that's nice to know. I am the main character. I am the most important. Need something? I am the best. Risk of the job. <laughs> okay, cool. That's good to know, chat. No. Okay. Thank you, chat, for your opinion. Um, right. In we go. I think if we make a quick swing into the left side of White Run, there should also be some more ingredients for us to nab. How many mods did it take to make Morrowind look like this? You don't want to know. So many. So many. But now Morrowind is canonically the best game of the year. Honestly, this new mod pack, in my opinion, does make Skyrim the best game of the year for me. <laughs> like, I've had so much fun with this mod pack in comparison to normal, normal, like, gaming experiences as of late like i've spent most of the week really 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 looking forward to doing this stream i can't even express just how much joy this little weird thing brings me all right up behind here we go loads more alchemical ingredients for me to nab thank you very much thank you mountain flower Also normally butterflies around here, but there doesn't appear to be any today, which is okay. Alright, now I think there's like an apiary here, which I should be able to take stuff from. Yes, honeycomb, thank you. Yunk all of these. When's that nightshade? Yes, thank you. Yunk, yunk, yunk. Okay, I feel like that's most of the good alchemical ingredients I've now stolen from this area, which is what I wanted to do. do, 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 do. Yoink. <laughs> Wait, is this the Sky Oblivion mod? No, no, it's not. It's not. This is um, this is uh, Skyrim of like a thousand mods. I mean, it's it's not too far off of Sky Oblivion because this mod pack does actually have part of Oblivion in the game, so we can we can go to um, uh, Bruma. Um, that is a region in this game, um, or in this mod. Uh, it's actually really pretty cool. It's um, it's the city as well as like a good amount of the surrounding areas. Uh, when the follower dies, enchant a jewelry item and name it in their memory. <laughs> oh, that's a great idea, Ryan James. <laughs> we need to make some. Yeah, we need to make like the locket of Vandal or something. Just like a tiny piece of jewelry, but just in his honor, our beloved. He died for our sins, probably. <laughs> oh, dear. Butterflies are at the Waterfall Bridge, east of Whiterun. Yeah, but there's also some butterflies in Whiterun. Just depends on the time of day. Do, 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 do. Uh, if you want less crashing, use a mod pack with uh, Mod Manager 2 and not Vortex. Vortex is a steaming pile of puppy poo. Okay, well, I mean... Considering I've been playing this for 12 hours and I've had two crashes, I think Vortex isn't doing too badly. <laughs> Pretty chuffed with how well it's managed. Alright, let's go through all of these ingredients. Bees, beehive husk, maple crown, butterfly wings, blue flower bone meal. Yoink, 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 honeycomb, lavender, unamoth. All of the poisonous ingredients must be consumed so that I may become the best alchemist in the universe. There we go. All of the poisons. We did it. We learned everything. Right, now for my bleeding eyes. What, po what poisons could I make? Okay, we can now make a command poison. This could actually be quite useful. We can make a burden. Um, damage armor. Using Nightshade and Blue Mountain Flower. This was really good. This was really, really effective. I think this is definitely worth doing. Really, really a cool idea. Um, fortified Barter. What kind of stuff are we looking at? 7% better prices? Okay. Even if I include the additional. <laughs> Fortify Marksman uh, is Spider Egg and Elves Ear. 17% extra damage. Yeah, I'm willing to craft that. That's a really good potion. Um, 
This is Fortify Health. Uh, fortify Health Regeneration. Um, fortify Power Attacks. Fortify Shouts. Shouts is 17% stronger. Okay, not too bad. Fortify Sneak. Fortify Stamina. Fortify Unarmed. Lingering Damage Health. Deals 1 poison damage per second for 30 seconds. Muffle. You move silently for 20 seconds. That's pretty cool. Reflect damage. You reflect 17% of incoming melee damage. It's not bad. And of course, yeah, a healing potion. You can make these bad boys. And silence could be pretty good. Went off the stream end. Uh, in about 30 minutes, the stream will end. Disenchant. Oh, thanks for the reminder, chat. I will remember to do that. Okay, I think uh, we want some... A few lingering damage... Uh, yeah, one lingering damage of health. A straight-up damage health. Two poison damage per second for ten seconds. I'm happy for that. And then damage armor, I think, is a really important idea. <gasps> Weak corrosion and poison. So this reduces enemy armor and it poisons them at the same time. Now that's a potion. That's a really good potion. We could also have command. Command could be really good. Burden isn't bad. Large antlers and salt pile. We'll make that. Damage weapon. Reduce enemy weapon damage by 17%. Okay, we can do that. A weird thing to do, but not bad. And then... Merchant potion. Why not? Just for fun. Good stuff. Good stuff, Meow. Alright, arcane enchantment. Let us... Oh, we could... I don't want to disassemble the victory reef, because that's actually useful. Um, but the iron warhammer of sparks needs to go. Goodbye. Um, and the iron bow of embers I want to disassemble. Thank you. Cool. Um... Yeah, I think I'll keep the Victory Reef because it's just useful and it's really lightweight. Um, so I don't feel like there's an there's a moment where that isn't useful. Uh, Farangar, damnable conflict what can I sell you? Everyone take a look. Would you like my weapon? You want the Staff of the Skeleton, and I will give it to you because I'm not using it and I don't think I am going to use it. Um, yeah, that's not bad at all. Have you got any ingredients on you? No, you don't sell ingredients. Okay. You know, if you've got the aptitude, you should join the Mages College. All right, let's pop down a save, and then we'll go and uh, enjoy the fights, I guess. Oh. Corrosion Pog. Yeah, honestly. I, I don't know if it's a Skyrim war crime to inflict acid onto an enemy, but it does feel kind of war crimey. Like, just a little bit. A little bit of war crime. But then again, you got to remember... A little bit of war crime in my life. There's a dark wing. There's an orange one. Any more? Any more little butterflies? Any more little butterflies? Want to say hello to daddy? Among us? He said among us. I heard him. <laughs> Let's nab all of your lavender. Yoink. 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 Oh, butterfly, butterfly, butterfly. Uh, yoink. Oh, more butterflies. Ha, ah, ha, ah, come back. Blue butterfly, come back. Where's the orange one gone? Okay, I feel like we might have already got that. Good. Um, good stuff. Good loot. It is my honor to stand before you. And, how do you do, Thane? It's, it's an honor for that as well. Uh, who are the Alakur? Who are they? Oh, bunch of foreign troublemakers. Oh, bunch of foreign troublemakers. Scaring the citizens. Mm, They've naughty. been told to stay out of the city, but keep trying to get back in. Naughty, naughty. Watch over here. Honestly, the guards are actually quite nice to me now. Uh, is my is my general vibe better? Reputation Fane! I see, so when I'm in Whiterun, my reputation is higher. That's pretty darn cool. That's actually really cool. Damn, that's good. Ooh, Dragon's Tongue, what are you? Fortify two-handed and fortify carry weight. Which is pretty fun. Um, just yoink some more of you. Uh, do 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 do. Yoink yoink. Alright, out of white run we go. 
I think this has been a successful loot haul. Orange butterfly on tree. I'm Look, there's a delay on the stream. So when you say there's a butterfly on a tree, I'm never going to go back and get that butterfly. It, there's like at least 20 seconds between what you say and me getting it because there's also the mental brain lag between me reading something. <laughs> Overcoming racism. <laughs> yeah, it turns out the best way to overcome racism is to become, you know, the like effectively this universe's version of Jesus. So that's a handy dandy tip to any and all people facing <laughs> facing racism in your day to day life. <laughs> just become the just become the messiah of your own universe, <laughs> and people will be nice to you and forgive your crimes <laughs> when you do them in their face. <laughs> Oh, God. Hello, Rissad. What have you got for sale? Have you got any new weapons for me? Bow of weariness. Cork bow barrows. Ah, cork bow barrows actually here. Might be a pretty decent idea. God, they're expensive, though. Can I get, like... No, I don't even think one of them's worth it. Hide braces. Iron armor of restoration. Steel soldier helmet. Damn, that's a cool helmet. That's a super cool helmet. That's a really cool helmet. And a wolf skin back backpack. I kind of like that. That was not bad. Um, you've got disintegration poison, which just sounds absolutely wild. Um, it's like straight up disintegrate an enemy's um, an enemy's weapon whilst they're holding it in their own hands. And let me have a chomp on some stew. Oh dear. Wear your flower hat. I don't want to wear my flower hat unless I'm unless I know I'm going to buy something. And if I know I'm going to buy something, then I'll equip the flower hat. I wonder if they actually fix the exploit in this version because there is there's like an exploit in base in the base version of Skyrim whereby if you say equip an item that adds 50 magicka what you can do is you can equip it add the 50 magicka and then if you remove it you still keep the 50 magicka and you can just re-equip something over and over again in the middle of combat really really quickly in that game and just use it to effectively have infinite magicka it's absurdly tedious but if you bind it using like say your favorite keys it just makes it possible to never run out of magic. Which, as a mage, and considering how overpowered mage builds were, it's pretty good. Pretty good indeed. Is the courier after me? I feel like the courier is trying to hunt me down. Hello. Golden Shaft, thank you very much for $10. Say love you, Spiff. Thank you, Golden you. Shaft. All right, what have you got for me? Looks like that's it. That's it. A letter asking for your kindness. Well, I'll see how kind I'm feeling. Um... I hope the career finds you swiftly, Chairman Meow, and in good spirits. I saw your kind deed in Whiterun, offering to help the one in need. You've struck me as a helpful soul, and I thereby sincerely ask you to help me with my troubles. Although we will discuss the details in person, you can rest assured for the help you can grant me. I will repay handsomely. Okay, that actually seems like a pretty good idea. Yeah, that doesn't seem like a bad idea at all. I need to read that message as well. I mean, yeah, doing a little mission where we go and um, we go and have a uh, we go and help a woman, repay some kindness. That sounds like a good idea, especially if we get paid. Wait one second, real time spiffing content. I know it's crazy, truly, truly crazy. But yeah, we're already much more powerful than we were. We're just gonna do this nice little final fight, and then we should be done. So we just gotta survive in the grand siege. And Mango has come into my office because Georgie, I believe, is asleep under my chair. Is she? She's not asleep. She's, She's not asleep. She's just chilling. Being super cute. Why can I hear coughing? Oh dear, there's an adventurer. Are you okay? Give healing potion. Yeah, but I'm dying. Uh, it's not, no, not you. Not you. There's the adventurer in game, Mango. Not you. Someone else is diseased. Thank there you me. go. Here. This is for you. Oh, for me. See you. Oh, silver garnet ring. Thank you very much, adventurer. Honestly, healing potion for silver garnet ring is actually a really good deal for me. Oh, Manko just gave me a silver garnet ring. <laughs> I think this is my engagement ring. <laughs> Shit, the wedding's off, guys. <laughs> I give you one healing potion, and now the wedding's off. Great. Uh, Sarah Vaughan, thank you very much for twenty dollars. I live in Louisiana by accident <laughs> to take care of my grandparents. Today's voting day. Go to I don't. I can, I'm afraid I don't speak the Latin there on the end. But thank you very much. I can't believe you live in Louisiana by accident. How do you accidentally live in a state? Oh dear, oh dear I tripped and I've stumbled into Albuquerque. <laughs> what an accident. Oh dear. Okay, right. So we got one big mercenary fight going on in front of us. 
and then of course we'll help out with the second bandit fight because of course there's two bandit fights happening simultaneously as it would just be too easy to have only one bandit fight where the hell are you going Lost. come back come back mm -hmm. you meant to help with the bandit fight not flee you fool right. oh my goodness look at the amount of bandit outlaws here please are you a bandit chief or are you no you're a stranger you're fine Okay, you're definitely a bandit, though. You hear me? He's using a healing potion. Get him, guys. Gang up on him whilst he's weak. Oh, my goodness. He's using a second healing potion. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. I've got to be careful I don't accidentally shoot any of the white run guards again, because that was really annoying. I also want to make sure I loot the corpse, because they looted those bad boys really swift. Pardon? Drop a save. Yeah, I'll drop a save. Okay, save down. Jeez, who's fighting here? Which one of you is the bandit fug? Oh, you're the bandit fug. The person without many clothes on. Right, yeet. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeet. Are they trying to run away a bit? Oh, no, they're doing the combat wiggle. They're dangerous. Oh, I got them right in the throat, though. Jeez, okay. Yeah, they look pretty dead to me now. God, there's just like four people surrounding them, pummeling them. Yeah, I'm going to say they don't need any help with this. Good job. They're dead. Oh, sack of flour. Oh, God, look at them loot the body. So fast I want some of that loot. I just want some of the loot. Why do they take everything? Okay, right. Um, let's have a chat with Hello, man. Yeah, you and Georgie can go to bed because Georgie seems super sleepy. Hello, yes. Bjorn. An observant one, aren't you? Okay, right. We'll just skip the conversation with Bjorn again. You can't end the stream. How am I supposed to keep my ADHD brain sufficiently stimulated when playing World of Warcraft? Just watch the VOD. If you didn't watch the first stream VOD, just watch that VOD instead. It's that easy. Right, there we go. This was a success. Oh, my goodness. Oh, 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 oh. Butterflies. Butterflies. More butterflies. I know there's combat happening, but think of the butterflies. We can actually help with this one. Jeez, this person looks like they have a pretty fancy weapon on them and everything. There we go, I got them in the foot. I got them in the foot. Yeet! They're dead. Good shot, good shot. Now, please don't loot, please don't loot. Let me loot. Let me loot. I just want to turn looting. A fine orcish sword. Damn, that looks good. I'll take that. Oh, right. Hello. Um, got the message. What's all this about? There's bandits coming. Okay. So bandits will come and they will attack and they'll be annoying about the whole thing. Now, we're not going to loot that chest. We remember that's back. Don't be mean to me, White Run Guard. There's no need to be racist. Again. Now, let's drop down a save. What the hell? Stop being racist to me. Oh, my goodness. Oh, dear. Uh, Bumpkin Inc. donates two dollars. Say vidIQ plus spiff equals inspiration for my small channel. Thanks. I'm glad you enjoyed the video, Bumpkin uh, Inc. For those of you that don't know, I did a video with vidIQ recently, whereby I basically went onto their channel and they asked me some questions about like how would you grow a channel from scratch. Yes. And so that's what I did. Um, I. Jeez, there's a bunch of wolves over there. Um. That one missed, of course. Um. Yeah, so I basically just gave out a bunch of like solutions to some of the um, the weird uh, the weird problems that some people have on on YouTube, and yeah, it was quite fun. I really enjoyed it. I'm glad other people did too. You never know what you'll find laying around in a crate or barrel. People toss the darndest things, man. Oh, right. <clears throat> save. Okay, yeah, I'll drop down a big save. Let's drop down a main save. We've got a big fight up ahead. I didn't realize how big this fight would be, but. I realize if I have a chat with you, we're gonna have a big fight. I hate the waiting. The maybe they're so scared of you, they ran away. Yeah, maybe. Okay, now I think they spawn in logically. Keep your eyes up. Looking to do some hunting? Avoid Brittle Shin Pass. It's southeast of here. Do -do 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 -do. There we go. There's the horn. There's the horn. Okay, so a bunch of weird. Look at all these arrows coming in. Jesus Christ! Look at that. I mean. I think they're just getting yeeted from the distance, but, um, yeah, there's definitely a lot of enemies coming. So let me quickly apply some poisons. Uh, what do we want? 
First, the corrosion plus poison poison is probably the best one we own. So let's get that applied to our bow. And let's find ourselves a raider to kill. That one was level one, so that one was useless. There's no need for us to apply weaknesses to that. Alright, come on, let's work together, guys. We've got to find these Tundra Raiders and evaporate them. Jeez, look at them. All right, there we go. We weakened one of them. Oh, jeez, I'm getting pushed forwards by the guards. That's not what we want. Bloody heck, how am I meant to tell friend from foe? Okay, let's try and work around on the outside and apply another poison. Oh, my goodness. Are you friend? Yeah, you're friend. You're the weird, weird loot man. Okay, you're definitely a, a bandit. Evil bandit. There we go. That's one damaged. We can, if we can assist like the Fanes. Oh my goodness. Some of them have so much armor and health on. We also need to keep an eye on Janassa because we don't want Janassa to go down. Okay, actually this one's low. This one's low. We can deal with that one. There we go. We've dealt with that one. We've just got to find where we can assist on the battlefield. Oh my god, new poison. Uh, burden poison? No, we want corrosion poison because it just weakens them. Oh, there we go. Corrosion, and then we hit him with arrows so he takes far more damage. I feel like there's a bandit missing and I feel like they might be coming after me. Yeah, there's one behind me. There's one behind me. Oh, you bugger off. No, that's a campfire. I don't want to place a campfire. Shit, that's not the power I wanted. That's not the power I wanted. Shit, place back. Now is not the time to place a campfire. Magic, powers. Uh, where's my voice power unrelenting force? There we go. I tried to just campfire a man to death. <laughs> right, quick potion of healing. Quick potion of healing. What poison have I got? Uh, weak poison. So I've got the weak lingering poison. Shit, I just got hit by an arrow. Flee, 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 flee. Ah, cha, 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 Oh my god. Are you a Tundra Raider? I think you're a Tundra Raider. It's so hard to tell sometimes. You're definitely a Tundra Raider. There you go, take that poison. There we go, there we go. Please tell me that Janassa is still alive. Oh my god, I can see one pointing an arrow at me. Hey, you get foosed off. Oh, he didn't. The foos did not work. The foos did not work on this man. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hey, 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 I see you, I see you, I see you. Yeah, you can back off. You can back off. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. Flee, 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 flee. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, you pull out that axe and you go fight someone else. No, not me, not me, not me, not me. Woo, not me. There we go. There we go. Whoa. We got him, we got him in the back of the head. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh my god, this is such a fight. There's a Tundra Raider down there. Uh, what poisons have I got? Um, no, that's not poison. Weak poison, here we go. Wait, I think that's a friendly over there trying to shoot an arrow. Oh, there we go. We've weakened this Tundra Raider. There we go, there we go. Good damage, good damage. Good damage, he's going to go down now. We've got him. Five life, come on, kill him. Okay, he actually got back up, but we did get him down. And there's some friends fighting over there. That's a Tundra Raider who's low. He's dead. Jesus Christ, this is like Skyrim World at War. What have you got? Longbow. There's a lot of really good equipments around here. Alright, Tundra Raider, you've got to die. Oh my god. This is one hell of a fight. Janassa, where are you? Can I help? You look like a Tundra Raider to me. Come on. There we go. Let me get you. Let me just jab you in the side. Thank goodness so many of you are just kind of like 
Oh no, no, he's doing the spin. Doing the spin, he's on five life. He's dead. You're dead. Okay, we got two of them. Good job, stranger. Oh my goodness. I think there's one left in that corner over there. There we go, I can get them. I can get them. There we go, he's dead. He's dead. We did it. Whoa, oh, that one's dead. I think there's one running away over here as well. Jeez, this one's level 25. Jeez, a level... He's using unarmed as well. What a baller. Um, let me hit him with a... Have I got a disintegration? Um... I've just got a weak poison, which I don't really think is the same idea. But a weak burden could actually work quite nicely on this guy. Because he is literally a boss. And let me also drop down a quick save in case I accidentally hit the wrong guy. There we go, right. We've hit him with his burden, so he's slower now. I don't know what potion he just chugged, but he's just put out a bow. Now let's get him, let's get him, come on. He might have a really high level bow, which if we can get from him would be awesome. Oh, okay, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Oh my goodness. Imperial bow exquisite, yoink. Fur armor exquisite. Septim, white wine. We, we did it. All enemies I think are dead. Oh my goodness, we did it. What a success. Hello. Uh, five minutes. Oh. We're done. Oh my goodness, thank you, Mango. I'm um, stealing him. I know, we're stealing. I'm being they stealing. Say the college has uh, Fain, we did it. <laughs> oh my god, Fain, it's okay. You don't have to no do that. That was a success, though. Um, speak to Horror at the White Watch after all of the towers of the guards are dead. Enemies are dead. I think you they're all dead. Possibly be the Dragonborn of Legend. I am the Dragonborn of Legend. Have you guys looted them all already? Guys, you didn't have to loot all of them. Oh, was that an ancient Orden amulet? Yeah, ancient Nord amulet. Uh, that's actually rubbish. Dog meat, I can take that. Any of this useful? None of that seems good. What about you? Iron arrow. Gold. Ancient Nord amulets. Just a bunch of weird hippies. But we did that. That was incredible. Chandra Raider. Iron sword. Iron shield. Steel daggers. What did you have? Iron arrows. Fur armor of destruction. That's actually really good. We'll yoink that. Thank you very much. Um, and you, Mr. White Run Guard. Uh, that would just be looting a fallen friend. That doesn't seem nice. But for oh, what a fight. What, what an actual fight. Bloody heck. I can't believe we actually managed to vaguely survive that by... A marginal quantity of life. Uh, if you feel like you and Call Me Kevin would... I feel like you and Call Me Kevin would make a great collab. Angus, we did one. We did a Project Zomboid one. And it was really, really fun. We definitely do make for quite a good collab. Um, yeah, it's definitely a good laugh. We did it, though. Uh, horror. Have summoned the Dragonborn you think that's all of them? No, I don't think oh, you so. don't think so? What? Keep your eyes open. Keep your eyes open. No. What? No, there can't be more. There genuinely can't be more. How can there be more? I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Hearing some strange tales of the I generally do not believe it. Say the one Fate drives you. And the other Holy! Oh my God! No! What in the f seven hells is going on? Chat. They have a catapult and a mammoth. We're going to end the stream here. <laughs> We're going to end the stream here. Oh my god. Um, chat, this is... This, we can't... We can't... Oh my god. Oh my god. Christopher Wilson um, says, Sorry I'm late. If you're struggling, use fire. If they're still alive, use fire. All problems in Skyrim can be solved by raining fire. Thank you, Christopher Wilson. I find that's not the case with fire dragons, though. Oh, my dear. Um, PJ, thank you for the donation of $10 today. To me, Starfield shows that Bethesda doesn't care about putting great ideas from mods into their games. Uh, yeah, I, I kind of feel the same. I feel like they focus too much on procedural generation than actual like fun gameplay. But yeah, cliffhanger. I know, cliffhanger. Look. This is like Lord of the Rings, right? 
Except you've just been watching the, the, the second film and the Battle of Helm's Deep has now just been delayed for the next season. I think it's going to be the coolest way to can well to open the next stream. Um, but we're gonna uh, on and on that bombshell, we'll we'll end it. But yeah, um, <laughs> we've literally got the fucking mammoth mammoths from well the elephants. What are they? They're elephants from Lord of the Rings have turned up. Uh, the Mooma kill. <laughs> oh my god, that's them. <laughs> yeah, they've turned up. But yeah. Thank you very much for putting a bunch of likes on the stream as well. That's really generous. I will stream the continuation of this when I return from my wedding. Um, I could probably schedule that now and then we could raid into it. Next Saturday, no, I, I'll be I'll be getting married. Um, so I won't be available, I'm afraid. Um, but yeah, we could... Um, I could, like, schedule the stream now and then we can raid into it. I feel like that's a good idea. I don't really know... Um, um, what effects that's going to have on YouTube, but I think that's probably going to be quite funny. So stick around to help with a YouTube exploit. Um, so what we want to do is I want to open up a new YouTube studio and then I want to create a go live page, schedule stream for, um, do, 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 do. I can reuse these settings. Yes. Um, and then I want to visibility. It is public and it will go live. When am I back? Um, November the 4th. There we go. 5 p.m. The Grand Return. There we go. We can save all of that. Um, oh, dear. Uh, there we go. This is going to be I Must Survive Skyrim 100 Days. Uh, let's pop that bad boy down. Uh... There we go. Sort out all of that. Splendid. It's the first time I've ever done like a live redirect to one of my own products. Or well, products, my own videos live, which is crazy. Lambo, thank you very much for gifting 20 memberships. That's really generous of you. Um, Bumpkin Inc. says, released my first Fallout New Vegas video. Thanks, Biff. Oh, congratulations. I hope it's, I hope it's a very jazzy, fun video and you had an enjoyable time making it. Alibu the first, thank you for 10 gifted memberships. Right, chat. Let's try and do something crazy. Let's redirect this stream into the next stream. It is going to be I Must Survive Skyrim 100 Days. Perfectly balanced hardcore Skyrim challenge live. There we go. I'll save that. So now when this stream ends, we should all end up over there. Anyway, I'll see each and every one of you over there in the next one. Make sure to set a reminder. And we'll see you in a few months' time for the ultimate cliffhanger. If you missed some of the stream, go back after we're done and watch the VOD. It's very much fun. Where's Queen Horse? I mean, it's a good thing I didn't bring the horse into this fight. Otherwise, the horse would definitely be dead. Um, it's a my birthday stream then. Happy wedding. Woo! Mort. Splendid. We'll celebrate your birthday then. Next stream. It's going to be glorious. Lambo, thank you very much for $20 for another set of drinks on my honeymoon. Lambo, I'm going to return an alcoholic now, thanks to you. But thank you, everyone, for watching. Let's see you over on the next stream.